Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 3rd? Th 3rd of April. We ran a little bit over time. It was just such a chill stream. We did some uh, all the things in and attempted to do Little Breezer challenges, but the thing kept making me do raids. Look, it's fine. We had a blast. I accidentally ran over time because we were just, everything was flowing so nicely. Uh, if you'd like to catch me live, you can do so at Twitch, excuse me, twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. You can add a forward slash schedule if you'd like to see what time I'll be going live in your time zone. Uh, and you can also catch me on social media. Please catch me on social media, particularly Instagram, uh, but also Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Those links are all down in the description box below. Uh, if you're feeling generous, it is free to follow, of course. So uh, do the thing if you if you want to. Please enjoy the VOD. Hopefully I'll see you live in chat next time. Storm. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to another fear stream. Hope you're all doing very, very well today. I just have new ones. Okay, it's not telling me I have any complete. Hi, the um, sun. Oh goodness gracious, Rel! Thank you so much for the Stay resub. Stay a while and listen. Ten months. My God, I, we also had one earlier. Where? Where is it? Here we go. Hi, the sun well. From Fairy as well, with six months total. And we are 30, we've got 30 seconds if we want to trigger a hype train. Just in case. Um, thank you both so, so much for the resubs. I hope you're having fantastic days. And I hope you're doing very, very well. Hello! Ah, oh, yes, captions. Oops. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, place your units. It is happening. Uh, I want that over there. It's good. Place your units. Stream Raiders battle is happening. Wonderful. And, uh, mount makeup for today. There is, there is mount makeup. I don't know, have I got my camera right today? I don't think that I have. I think it's a little bit wonky. I, I tweak my camera literally every time before I go live. But I think... I got it just a, a touch off today. I think that's probably a little bit closer. It is also trying to make it very, very warm. Yeah, I think that's probably closer to what I actually look like. Yeah, look, it's it's close enough. It's close enough. So, um, Mount Makeup today is a little bit of an interesting one uh, because a lot of the colors are very light and so you can't really see a whole lot. Um, but I do actually have a cream shade like a light, a very light kind of cream shade in my crease that you cannot see because it's essentially oh, Sunwell. Dunno with the resub. Thank you so much for your eleven months of support. My gosh, much appreciated. Um, and my lashes are coming loose as well because my eyes are watering today. Um, so cream eyeshadow in the crease. Uh, I've got like a, a brown, like a light brown. On, on the bit in the middle. The bit, the, co the color on the outside is a really, really interesting one. So um, the, the eyeshadow itself is brown, like a dark brown, but it has shimmer in it. And that shimmer is like teal green. So it's a super cool shadow. It's really, really funky. And when the light hits it right, it shines green. Otherwise it just, you see you can like, on this side, you can see it kind of looks brown, but then it looks green on this one a little bit or gray, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, so like, it's super cool. But yeah, those those ear colors. Um, it is a ground mount. I own it. Surprising nobody. <laughs> so have fun, enjoy. Best of luck. Uh, we are gonna do some super fun happy times today. We're starting with Bloody Hills Brad. Um. Uh, Old Hills, Breadfoot Hills, otherwise known as Escape from Dernhold Keep. Uh, and I'm going to be starting on my rogue, but because this is a dungeon, we're going to do a lack. So, where the hell am I? <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so, uh, Caverns of Time, Escape from Dernhold Keep. And because of all of the goddamn bullshit in terms of blabbing, I'm going to make it 60 because um, 
you need that amount of time to get through it <laughs> even more than like twice so um that's what we're gonna do uh i'm appearing offline phenomenal There we go. All right. So if you aren't online, so firstly, you need to be online to, to be able to get the thing, of course. Um, you need to have Loot Appraiser and Loot Appraiser Challenge installed. It's two separate add-ons, but they work together. So you need to install both of those. And you also need to have TSM set up to like the basic level. You don't need to be using it to do auctions and stuff like that, but you do need to have it set up so that it can pull the prices from somewhere. Um, it, you do also have to have the TSM desktop application because the desktop application pulls prices from the internet and then puts it into your add-on folders, essentially, so that it has the information. Um, so if you don't have TSM, it can't get prices. If you don't have the TSM desktop application, it can't pull the prices from the ether to put them into the TSM in, add-on. Yep, good. Um, you also need to have me on your friends list. On your battle net friends list you can be any faction you can also be from any region this is this is truly as close as we get to being able to include absolutely everybody in in content so don't hold keep is where we are going good all right well done zam on first well done fairy with also here Yori has grabbed last, Dupe has grabbed second, Rel has grabbed third, and Elray has dropped in. Hello, Elray. I hope you are doing well. Dunno is also here. Zam is bone storming. Good afternoon, Dupe. Thank you for encouraging others to listen to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Jay, how are you going? Greetings, Shiba. Look, it's my birthday. Everyone's right. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Yori. Happiest of days of birth. Or something, I don't know. Uh, looks very good. Thank you, Ore. Thank you. Chair has had a restyle. Yes! Chair has had a facelift and has visited the hairdresser. Um, yeah, I, uh, when just after, a couple days after surgery, uh, there was a, a Twitch thing, um, that was like partner event thing, and I had a ticket booked and I was going to attend, but, um, that was the day that I woke up and just was wrecked. Um, couldn't speak, couldn't do anything. It's when all the ulcers and stuff had kicked in in my throat. And so I was unable to attend, but they did a random like door prizes drawing of all the people who were there. And I won a chair. <laughs> I won a chair. Um, so I, yeah, they, they sent it out really quickly and uh, it arrived on fr Thursday. I think it arrived Thursday and I built it on Friday. So it was here for Friday's stream and now for today. I indeed wonder if the emote will get an update too, eventually, eventually. Uh, it's just a, a monetary thing, um, but um, Sheebs, uh, will, I'll need to double check what the cost will be for a recolor rather than, because I mean, you can purchase an emote from, from an artist where they have to design a whole thing from scratch essentially. Uh, and uh, a lot of emote artists will give you a cheaper rate if it's a recolor because they already have the art. They just have to go in and, and change some of the colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, there are some, some different sort of style elements and stuff like that. So I'll need to um, have a chat with Sheebs about how accurate we want the emote to be. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, it might involve more than just a recolor. It might be a little bit of tweaking of the design as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a discussion um, privately, he and I, and, uh, and come to an agreement on how much it will cost me. And then I will get money and then give it to him. And then, yes, you know, standard procedure with transactional things. Sandy Nightsaber, no. Brutusaur, no. White Kodo, no. Hello, Josh. Good afternoon to see you. I think I have. You'll find out. Uh, thank you. A lot of fun today. Super chilled out for my own time. Hey, Glass and Pico Creature nearing its end. Me top of another. Fantastic. Wonderful. Good afternoon, Seeker. Welcome back. Shipping people makes sense because Twitch event at all. It does. It does. Uh, <laughs> my brain wise fear early. Realizes daylight savings just finished. Correct. Correct. The times have, the clocks have changed for people who are not in Queensland. Um. <laughs> We'll come back to real time, indeed. Uh, can you answer something for me? Manuka versus Manuka. Which one is the honey versus the suburb? What? So get into the specific lack using your add-on settings. 
you will have received an invite in there if you've done it correctly. If you've not, then you shan't. Um, I'll send another one, see if people have logged on. Recent invite. Nope, no one else has logged on. Uh, oh no, there we go, four. We're up to four. So there you go, we've got four people who have received an invite. Um, no one yet has accepted. There we go. Brilliant. Um, so I'm going to pull up my ATT. Yeah, whenever you're installing a new add-on, really good idea to read the instructions. Uh, just in general. Because they'll usually tell you exactly how to use it. Because it's a little bit silly giving somebody a program, essentially, because add-ons are like mini programs, right? Giving somebody a program with zero instructions on how to use it. Not ideal. Uh, no, is it Wrath? Oh my god. No, no, no. God, I can never remember where these come from. BC, is it? Oh my god, it is. Jesus Christ. Okay. Ooh, all right. I didn't realize it was that old. That's fine. Oh, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I have a quest one. That's good. Um, I am going to start on heroic and then switch into normal. Of course, you all are welcome to do as you wish. Um, zoom in. Get ready to go. Um, Gorspine, no. Trained with a river wallow, no. Minukahani is very different than saying Minukan suburb. Pronounced Manika. I didn't know it was a suburb. There you go. <laughs> ask for a like invite, right, right, clicking for your new friends, listen, clicking, ask a like invite, that too. That too. He sounds like Manuka. Weird and odd and strange. Good. I did not know that there was a suburb. That's very interesting. Wonderful. All right. Shall we get things started? Uh, we shall. Uh, ready to check. Um, did that actually send? I think it did. I uh, can't really say nothing very particular about it. Interesting. Sits next to Parliament House. Ah, okay. Hmm, there you go. Um, June Scavenger, new. To see, you will need to go into your um, add on to your settings to accept that ready check. Um, I cannot start the challenge until you have done so. Um, there you go. Dust Man Die Wolf, no. I can't remember the tree ground is. Ah! Interesting. Interesting. Just waiting on to see to accept the ready check before I can kick off. Please jump into your add-on settings and do the thing so that I can press the go button. Thank you. We say things weird here. Uh, there is, yes, like that. Um, but if I don't have anyone accepting, I can't start a thing at all. But that's fine. I can just do. Uh, what is it called? There we go, and I can just start it myself. Oh, brilliant then, never mind. I didn't realize that. I've never had somebody send me a ready check for a challenge. <laughs> so there you go. Except that nothing happened. Right, okay, yeah, I'm not sure what I... <laughs> I don't know what a potato scallop is. Well. Well. You are oh my goodness. Not Hiccups! Prepared. Hello! Welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope you had a wonderful stream. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. 
I am a primarily World of Warcraft streamer with the occasional dabbling in, uh, what's the other thing? Variety. There we go. Uh, and I like to collect things. So most of my streams are centered around collections. Uh, and occasionally when I'm doing all the thingsing in dungeons, uh, we kick off the dungeon as a loot appraiser challenge, because why not? We might as well make some gold while we're getting some new transmogs, so that's what we do. Welcome on in. It is indeed a raid. Hello, Romantic. Hello, Byuk. Welcome on in. Thank you for the caster command, Shiba. Uh, white riding goat. Incorrect. That's what lucky running. Uh, well, right now I, I'm kicking off with um, Old Hills Red because that's where I need to go for my ATT. Uh, but no one is currently actually running it with me, so I've just got the solo timer going. Um, but the, oh, like the, the solo county thingy. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure what will be next. It will depend on, like, once I update my data for ATT with all my new fun things that I've got, uh, it will spit out the next dungeon to go to. And uh, we'll do that. We'll do that then. Good evening, Ivory Cloud Serpent. No. Uh, I am in the wrong spec. I want this one so I can do Fan of Knives. Uh, why people say mad names before just miss something obvious? Not a problem at all, Borsh. Every stream, most streams, I do mount makeup. So my, my makeup that I'm wearing today is inspired by a World of Warcraft mount. Um, I have some cream, light brown, dark brown, and green eyeshadow. Tealy sort of green eyeshadow on my face. And uh, those are the colors of a mount. They're the colors of a few mounts, but they're the colors of a particular mount that I have in mind. And um, why is that? That poison is irritating me. Why is that not? Look, just take that one. No? Okay, whatever. Um, maybe it's only a poison I can use in the other spec. Uh, I don't know how rogues work. Um, uh, so yes, the first person to guess which mount my makeup has been inspired by uh, wins a small token of appreciation, usually in the form of a steam key. Uh, but yeah, this happens usually at the beginning of each stream. Uh, but sometimes, if people get distracted by gameplay and stuff, it can it can sometimes not happen till later. But today, it's happening at the start. Uh, blue Drake, no, there is no blue on my face. <laughs> there is cream, brown, dark brown, and a tealy green sort of shade. All of those colors are on the mount that I have chosen, and there are no other major colors missing from my makeup. Otherwise, that would make the game entirely too difficult. Brown Kodo, no. Usually the beginning, then Shiba guesses the right answer. Correct. Sitili green, blue green isn't really blue to me. Yes, but all the other colors aren't there. <laughs> all the colors are included, not just one or two of them. And I usually try to get the, um, the, uh, ratios around the same. Sometimes I'm able to get the actual placements of the colors right as well. So I almost like recreate the mount on my face. Not like a piece of, like not artwork or anything, but like kind of getting there. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the blue drake would be a very blue look. Um, because there's quite a lot of blue on the blue drake mount, or, or blue green, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, yeah. I, I don't- I'm not trying to play tricks, I'm not trying to make you guys crack an incredibly difficult riddle or something like that, it's, um, I do my best to make it as easy as possible. Um, do we get hints? Uh, yep, the two hints that I've given so far are that it is a ground mount, and it is a mount that I own. Uh, and those mounts can be discovered by typing exclamation simple armory. Bring you up my, my simple armory page so you can see what I've got and what I don't. And if it's not guessed for an extended period of time, um, I start adding different clues like expansion or uh, faction, if it's a specific faction or a neutral mount, um, that kind of thing. But we haven't gotten to that point yet. It's still too early on for you to get any more clues. There. Fetch water quickly. Uh, yes, correct. Swift Rufest Ram. No. Enjoying this while that boy talents. Brilliant. 
Yes. Uh, usually goes own it and flies faction expansion. Yeah. Usually. I knew that about the simpler right? Yeah. There you go. How cool is that? Easy way to discover what I've got and what I don't got. I'm guessing wildly on this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The only issue with Simple Armory is that it only shows the icons of the mounts, and a lot of the icons look nothing like the mounts that they represent. So it kind of, yeah, <laughs> makes it a little bit tricky. Uh, Sundancer, no. This is what I look. There you go, there's another option. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well then. Let's go. Yes, let's indeed. Let's go. Ah, uh, at least you can then cross your names with my mounts. Squeakers! No. Brudo? Nope. Good guess though. Not the Brudo. It says 598 mounts collected. Um, yeah, that'll be because there's a few alliance only mounts that is not counting. The 650 that I'm sitting on currently is account wide. So if there are um, specific class mounts or faction mounts, things like that that, I, that cannot be collected on a horde mage, then it won't it won't count that number. I will not wait. Which actually might mean that there are some on there that I'm actually doing that are not on that list. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that will that will potentially cause some issues later down the line. But I have I have enough mounts to go through before we start having issues. Uh, Round riding camel, no. Jade primordial direhorn, no. Bone white primal raptor, no. Ground there, I retract that. No, no, it's okay. You don't have like a limited number of guesses or anything like that, so it's totally fine. If you kind of say something and you go, wait, shit, it's all good. It's not like you've spent a vote or anything. I've spent a guess, so no harm whatsoever. What? No. Hmm. A rider approaches. You're prepared for very loud voice line. Crawl. You didn't really think you would escape, did you? You and your allies shall answer to Blackmore. After I've had my fun. That's not the Griffins, surprisingly. Interesting. Hey. Got something. I've gotten quite a few greens that I've not learned, though. That's cool. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well. Terran Mill lies just west of here. Since time is of the essence. Let's oh. ride. Oh, and I got the recipe too. I should probably learn that. Just that off the list. Wonderful. I was on, what was I on? 34.15% complete and now we're at 43.9. So we're definitely getting somewhere in terms of increasing percentage. Oh, excuse me. Like it shows alliance only mounts you have, but not griffins. That's hilarious. Oh dear. Ren stalwart hound. No. To be fair, it's usually that we know. We'll narrow it down a bit, then Sheba guesses it. Sometimes Sheba just guesses it outright. Sometimes they're really, really obvious because I draw little details on my face and it can't, it couldn't possibly be anything else. Uh, but this one's definitely, a, this one's a, this one's a tricky one. It's an unknown entity, sort of like it's not a very well known one. Uh, Ironside Warwolf, no. Blonde Riding Yak, no. Frost Wolf Haller, no. Tundra Ice Wolf, no. Okay. 
If it was a new to the Raven Lord, that was super quick. Yep. Or like, or like, or like Celestial Steed. Or Astral Cloud Serpent. <laughs> Those ones were kind of like, uh-huh, yep. But they're like Astral Cloud, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mudback River Beast, no. Phalanx of Courage, no. Then the thing is, there are so, like, there are tons of mounts in the game that share colour schemes, which is what makes the guessing part of it fun. Great Grey Kodo, no. Loktar, friend. What is it you wish? Loktar, friend. Verity, let's go. What is it you wish? Wish for you to move faster. Very much like for like old, 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 old dungeons like this to have like, can I skip, please? <laughs> skip to next boss, please. Uh, sorry if this is guessed already. Is it Cerulean Ruins Rider? It's not. It's okay. No need to apologize. Um, we get duplicate guesses all the time simply because um, like people may not be here right at the start um, and they come in two minutes later and, and they, they re-guess everything that people have already guessed prior and stuff. Like there's, there's no harm in it. So no need to apologize. Uh, spring for alpaca? No. <clears throat> Taran mill pe peasant just banging away with a hammer there. Just, nah, it's fine. Just, just a giant green orc running past me. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, Jade Primordial Diehorn, nope. Uh, Jin Lao, nope. Tan Riding Camel, nope. Right. Oh, I've got a hair in my eye. Eyelash in my eye. That's oh, over there. Uh, Timberwolf. No, I feel like all of us are just scrolling our own lists. A lot of people do that, yes. Tundra Ice of. Nope, I think you fixed it. I'm going to the thing. Watch the next one. Uh, price source. Uh, it doesn't matter what you have set as the price source because when you join my challenge, it'll use my settings. So it does not matter. Uh, Wild Hunt Leg Splitter. No. Is that a. Interesting. Um. Rita's life hangs in the balance. Surely you no. care for her. Surely Come on. Let's go. Ah, there you are. I had hoped to accomplish this with a bit of subtlety, but I suppose direct confrontation was inevitable. Your future thrall must not and so, you and your troublesome friends must die. much of value dropping in here, let me tell you that. <laughs> really? Plate and mail. Oh god. Okay, yep, that's fine. Whatever. Sure. I didn't want transmog anyway. Oh lordy. Where do I turn? Draws destiny fulfilled. Oh, I have to wait, don't I? Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there we go. Um, uh, High Priest Slight Sworn Seeker. No. 
the beige. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Alliance Horde neutral. Uh, yeah, okay, we're getting close. Uh, no, you know what? I'll give you the clue when the battle happens. That's half an hour. That's enough. If no one's guessed by then. Any pick any for the guesses? Bronze Hiller said nope. Or Song Diafang. Nope, Scarlet Hill said I think it's called on Simple Armory. Uh, no, those are two different mounts, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but no. Grand Ice Mammoth. Nope. With a High Glyph Stomper. Nope. Don't know if you limit store mounts. Freedom Face Hunter. I don't. I have some store mounts. I don't have others. It's, um, it's kind of that... Oh, for God's sake, it's doing this thing again. Where I can't... There we go. Uh... Basically, yeah, the it, like, store mounts aren't excluded. It's just like if I have it, if I don't, it's it's that part of the thing. Uh, cool. All right, that's done. Onward we go out of the dungeon to reset and go again. Yay. Um, Great Northern Elderhorn. Nope. Uh, fuck off. Is it the brown ram? No. <laughs> are you are you upset with me, Sheba? You seem to be upset with me. It's a horde mount. That should narrow it down a fair bit. I own it. It's a ground mount and it's a horde mount. And this stupid saddle, I just know. <laughs> Armored brown bear. Nope. Swift brown wolf. Nope. This is great fun. We need more units. We need more units. Place on the battlefield. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Assist a... Excuse me. Uh, Caravan Hyena, nope. Off we go. Don't hold round two. I reckon I'm going to be able to get three runs into the hour because I'm sitting at just under 20 minutes now. Mm. Oh well. That's, look, I'm I'm above, like, if I put in the data now, it'll change the dungeon I'm running. So that's what we want. Molly. Nope. Goblin trike. Nope. Spring fur alpaca. Nope. The fuck? You are gonna you are gonna like be so angry with yourself, Sheba, when you realize what it is. Uh, Avenging Fell Crusher. Nope. I'm trying to remember what horde mounts I guessed. 
You know, so you can type slash user Shibasu and it'll bring up your chat history. Mod privilege. <clears throat> he needs to remember stuff when the internet remembers for you. <laughs> Did anyone say brown wolf? If so, I'm saying it. Uh, it is not the brown wolf. I'm so looking forward to dinner tonight. Oh my god. Ooh! My first ding! First price ding. Uh, where's the, there it is. Uh, tan riding camel. Nope. It's the white Kodo. Nope. White riding Talbuk. No. And free for all. <laughs> uh, exclamation FFA to join Seeker in a free for all with your, with your, um, koala coins. Dust main direwolf, nope. Frightened Kodo, nope. Big mad. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, dupe, well done. Well done on winning the free for all. Uh, Boreal Gulper, no. Uh, Pale Hide Direhorn, nope. So the last, so we had the first clues were that it was a ground mount and that I own it. Uh, and then we had the fact that it's a horde mount. So when I say horde mount, I mean horde only, not a mount that the horde can use. The answers to that clue can be either horde alliance or neutral, which means that any faction can use it. The mount that is on my face can only be used by horde characters. Uh, High Mountain Thunderhoof, nope. Swift Timberwolf, nope. Serenade, nope. Armored Frostwolf, nope. Too hard on tealy green, not brown. The, so, because so much of the eyeshadow look is brown, most of the mount is brown. There. But there's a green me. accent, and that's what's going to help you figure out the which of the 700 floor. brown mounts it actually is, kind of thing. So, yeah, that's how it usually ends up going. Uh, Frostwolf Power, no. Bronze Hiller said, nope. Fun game. I like this game. I hope you guys like it too. I know it can be frustrating at times, but I hope that you, like, enjoy it more than you dislike it. Uh, Bleak Hoof Ruin Strider, nope. Hell had die horn. Nope. Take a mount off, but harder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, tar, friend. It's good what fun. Every it? stream. Start of every stream. Well, then. Let's go. I usually start around about 45 minutes ago. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or, you know, whatever the respective time is in your, your time zone. Crap, right, I need to wait for this roll. Ugh. High Mountain Elderhorn, nope. Caravan Hyena, nope. Everyone has anyone said brown coat amount? They have. It was not the one. 
Great Northern Elder Horn, nope. Vicious War Fox, nope. Green Dragon Turtle, nope. So just a reminder for anyone who has jumped in, uh, so a rehash rather, not a reminder, a rehash for anyone who's jumped in a little bit later, the colours that I have on my face at the moment, uh, I have a brown shimmery eyeshadow on the lid in the middle bit here. The outside corner I've got, it's a brown eyeshadow but it's green when the light hits it, so that's dark brown and green. But I also have like a cream color in my crease that you can't really see because it's the same color as, it's almost the same color as my skin, but it is still part of the part of the whole thing. So yes, that's what Whoa. you're looking for. You didn't Creamy really sort of color, think you would escape, light brown, you? dark brown, You and your and allies green. shall answer to black green. more after I've had my fun. Out of my Guards. Ah, uh, Armored Brown Bear, no. Great Golden Kodo, no. Fear, fear. Is it the Great Brown Kodo? <laughs> Shiba successfully fucked with. Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. It's very, it's actually like, when, when you said Brown Kodo first off, I was like, oh, but the colors are actually a, quite a bit different. It's a different type of green and and like the armor plates and stuff are such a, a massive part of the great bra. So I almost gave it to you and then I decided not to because it's not the same. Like there are some where like you've got like a regular one and then an armored one, but the color scheme is like exactly the same. So yeah, but this one, it's, they're different. They're different. Number please, Shiba between one and 100 please the fucking saddle it is it's the drums it's the drums on the sides those are the green 32 all right wait a minute i'm glad everyone enjoyed well everyone seemed to enjoy the game today there'll be another round tomorrow uh in in uh, just over 23 hours <laughs> out of my way Community challenge is 75% complete. My gosh. We gotta get it to 100 today, remember? The challenge ends today. So if you want to see a pet battle stream. Ah! Gertie, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. If you would like to see. Was that a. That was a Ludopraiser thing, wasn't it? Ah! Brilliant. Okay. Um, I will kick this. Well, we've got. Actually, I can do a ready check there. Um, and I'll change this to 30 because, um, ah, crap, declined. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Um, but we'll, yeah, we'll, next dungeon I'm in, we'll kick off again. We'll, we'll try another, um, another challenge. So don't stress too much about that. Um, right. If you want to see me do a stream next month, May, uh, where I collect as many battle pets as I possibly can because... We need to go up those data for Azeroth rankings. Excuse me, hello. <laughs> um, then this is this is what to chip into. So the idea will be that I'll spend an entire stream collecting pets. Um, I, I'll do the pet battle dungeons because I still need pets from them. Uh, we'll probably spend some time in Xerath Mortis flying around because I haven't done any pet, uh, pet blah, 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 blah. I haven't done any battle pet collecting in ZM yet. Uh, so they're all still all awaiting capture. Uh, and yeah, just try to cross off as many as I can, basically. Good fun times. <clears throat> uh, so close yet so far. That was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Borsh. I'm glad you... But yes, every stream, unless I'm really, really unwell. Basically, if I'm... If it's taking all of my energy to go live, then I will not have spent an hour prior to stream doing my makeup. <laughs> but um I will I will let you guys know if that happens. If you ever want close-ups, like static shots of what's on my face, you can jump on Twitter. My go live tweet has a photo of me with my eyes open and my eyes closed, so you can see what's going on. And um there's also uh my go live story on Instagram, um, which I'm not sure if that'll really help with the game, but I mean it's there. 
case you want to follow me on Instagram, which you should absolutely do because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to build my Instagram following so I can make some money from sponsors and stuff like that. Uh, all the, all the like sponsorship money, 80% of it's on Instagram. Uh, so that's where I need to get a bigger following to be able to potentially go full time with my streaming. So if you'd like to support me, that's a really easy, super free way to do it. Drop me a follow on Insta. Uh, on the IG, 32. Is it, I don't know if it's Brigador or Brigader, uh, Up Armored Edition, but it's yours now. So that's not my problem anymore. <laughs> um, there you are. Paste. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. I hope it's a fantastic game and you have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, it was fun. Hard looking at my mount. So I'm logging out between laps. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, trying to get my respawns, of course, of course. Uh, and Gertie, thank you again for the cheer. Um, that's particularly good. Wait, what was the answer? Great brown Kodo. Did someone say WoW Pokemon stream? Yes. It's like, but you have to you have to chip in your channel points in order for me to actually do that. It has to get to one hundred percent. If it doesn't, then I won't do it in May. Oh, look at the hydrates. At uh, Calabalita Hill is next month May already. Don't I know? Look, I'm just I'm just doing my best. <laughs> Literally drowning fear. Yeah, it happens like a lot. <clears throat> it's gonna be May. Insert NSYNC meme. Correct. She's gonna need that chair stream there. But yeah, X always finishes it up with a chair stream, which I very much appreciate. Good just putting it out there. See you around. Come outside and triple hydrates. Try to drown the fear. Could you? <laughs> Fear gotchi. Oh lord. Um uh, Abandon it. Oh, it. oh my goodness. Let's get Fear who 2k followers. That would be amazing. 1k is first. I need to get to 1k. But like 2k would be just amazing. 10k is where it starts actually being a thing. 10k is what a lot of sponsors won't go any lower than 10k. Like if you don't have 10k followers, they won't even look twice at you um but because gaming is a bit of a different market one to 2k is kind of enough to get started but 10k is where it's at so i mean look we just gotta we gotta give it a go i don't even have 10k followers on twitch so <laughs> we'll get there one day we'll get there one day black <clears throat> Uh, thing do thing because supporter for free indeed completely free 100% free We're a Twitter person, but I'll do both. Thank you romantic. I really appreciate it What do you follow us? Ah my goodness, that's amazing It's amazing when one came in people such your interest because others have two. Yes, exactly. It is a it's an amazing starting point a really really good one All right out we get and hopefully come back in for another round good lord Actually, the rate we're going now, with the now that I'm not having to wait around for the quests and stuff, I might be able to squeeze a fourth run in. But we, we will see. Epoch Hunter just does not want to drop me something. Epoch Hunter has a massive loot table. It's entirely too big. Um, but we'll see how we go. We will see how we go. Mm, there's a um, there's an app called Tribe where uh, you can like pitch to brands. So a brand says, this is what, like we want to do a campaign around this. And then individual creators can say, look, this is how many followers I have. This is how much I will charge you. And here, like here are examples of my content kind of thing. And then you, you pitch them and then they pick however many they want, whatever they have the budget for and then go. Um, but in order to a be able to pitch on Tribe, you need 3000 followers minimum um so that's kind of do you know what i mean like that's sort of where we're and i'm just just under 3k on twitter <laughs> right like not instagram like twitter but yeah it's uh i i hate how much social counts count like you know i have an incredibly incredibly engaged audience you guys are massively engaged all of my engagement rates across all my social medias are bonkers high like they're really really good but that doesn't matter to, like they need 
it's all about the numbers to them. And although engagement rate being high is a good one, you know, like 50% of two followers is still one follower. Whereas 1% of a thousand followers is 10 followers being engaged. Do you know what I mean? So it's like they, they still, you need the big numbers before they'll even look at your engagement rates, unfortunately. So that, that's what I'm working towards at the moment is just trying to get it, just trying to get it going. Um, but it, I hoping, I'm hoping that it'll help now that I've actually started posting content to Insta again. Um, I, I took March off because it just too, too much stuff was going on. Uh, everything was a clusterfuck. Um, I was sick. There were the floods. Um, so I'd lost power for a week and then, um, I was a little bit unwell in the lead up to surgery. So I was trying to take care of myself and, and be okay with that. And then surgery recovery and stuff. So now I'm kind of back on track for April and, and hoping that that will, hoping that that'll make a difference, but we'll see how we go. Uh, like Fiverr, but for influencers. Kind of. I guess. I don't know. I've never really used Fiverr. I know, I know, I understand the concept, but I've never used it before. Waste Marauder. Alrighty. I can do that. Uh, speaking of socials, I noticed you started doing shorts on YouTube. I did. I did. When I realized how much... How, how little work it was taking stuff I was already posting on Instagram and TikTok and then putting it on YouTube as well. Um, it it literally adds so, such little to my to my workload. Uh, I don't know if it'll have an effect, um, but hey, we'll see. You know, it's 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 a small enough investment of time that I'm willing to give it a go and see what happens. Um, fungal giant. Seen you, I think, just after surgery. Surgery is so rough. I was surprised you would even stream. Yeah, look, um, it's dental surgery, which is a whole lot easier than some other types of surgery. It's still not easy. Don't get me wrong, but it is definitely easier. Uh, my first, my first surgery, um, was removal of a, a tooth and a bone graft, and it took me like a month. I'm, I'm not even kidding, like a full month to feel like myself again. Um, and then when I kind of went through why that was like I kind of broke down like what is what is why am I feeling like this is it am I eating like shit am I not sleeping well am I blah 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 and it all kind of came down to my body is literally growing a fucking bone that takes a lot of energy <laughs> it takes a lot of energy to to gather the resources needed and send them to the right location and then for the body to put everything in its place to literally grow a bone um, this is not healing a skin wound. This is healing a bone wound. It takes a lot more energy. Um, so I kind of went, you know what? It makes sense that it took me a month to feel okay. But this time round, they drilled a hole in the bone, um, and put in the, uh, titanium implant, right? But that, because the way, the way that they work an implant, they don't like dig out a hole and then put it in there with all the bones and make you regrow the bone around it again. They, they take out as little existing material as they possibly can to squeeze it in there real tight. And then it just kind of heals and it, it attaches itself to the titanium basically. So, um, it's been less than two weeks. It'll be two weeks tomorrow since I had the surgery and... I'm, I'm fine. I'm so glad it didn't take a month. Uh, it took about a week and a half and I was solid. Less than a week and a half. About a week later, I was feeling pretty good, but still a little sort of like, eh, whatever. But um, about a week and a half afterwards, I was, I was solid. So like two weeks later and I'm totally fine which I'm really happy about. My surgeon also did mention, because I asked him directly, I said, um, in terms of recovery times and things like that, how is this one going to compare to last one? And he said, you know, last time, last, um, from, from my experience with all these patients that I've worked with, um, the vast, vast, vast majority of them say that the second surgery is so much easier than the first one. I was like, oh, thank God for that. And he was right. He was absolutely right. Um, he's a, he's a bloody good surgeon and he's a, uh, very experienced and um so yeah I was I was pretty happy with that um I still like yesterday I had a pretty decent nap but I I think that was more to do with the amount of physical activity that I did like I went for a real long walk um I've missed one 
went for a really long walk and then sat down in the sun for a while. I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Twitter, you might see I've posted a photo of the uh, the picnic Jas and I had in, in the gardens in Brisbane City. Oh god, it was awesome. All these places I haven't been to in ages because I don't really go into the city much anymore because there's not really any reason to. Um, working from home and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot cheaper not visiting the city as well. Uh, and so I hit up a couple of my favorite places that I haven't been to in forever uh, and grabbed some, ta some, some stuff to go from there. And then we went and threw down a blanket in the gardens and, and sat down and stuffed our faces. It was great. But the combination of like the sun and, and the, the walking and all that kind of stuff, I think it just kind of zonked me. Um, so yeah, but, um, no, I'm, I'm doing really well, which I'm really happy about. Uh, okay. Push that button. There we go. Better. Did that not work? There we go. Thank you for the ball to load up. Um, here you go, just eight more max donations. I had all four wisdom teeth out, dental or not. It's rough. Yeah, that's all four out is, is a big go as well, though. Like, that's a... I just had one, like, and it wasn't even a wisdom tooth. Um... But yeah, I just did a couple of short streams. Like I had, I took two streams because the surgery was on a Monday. So I took Monday off, took Wednesday off. And then Friday I did a short stream, just a really little one. It was like two hours and then three hours on Sunday and then back to back to six hours on Monday. And I was feeling like I could do it. So I did. I had said previously that if I was feeling a bit zonked, then I'd cut it a bit short, um, but I was okay. So yeah, I kind of went for it. I think it's really important, like, to factor in the fact that I really enjoy content creation. I really enjoy streaming. Uh, it is, it's one of my favorite things to do kind of thing. Um, the, the, the social media management side of things and stuff I do struggle with a little bit. Um, cause I find that I work much better just having conversations with people while I play a video game, you know, like that's, that's where, that's where I'm at. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it, it definitely, like, the, the streaming and being able to see you guys, or talk to you guys, can't see you, obviously, but all that kind of stuff really helped kind of get my spirits up to recover faster, so, yeah. Why haven't you added it yet? Because it, it's not, no one's actually made it a thing. That was the thing. I thought we had, I thought we had done it, but we didn't, and no one, no one requested it as a redemption, so it didn't happen. Uh... This is Uncle Giant, thanks to Blue Microphones and their Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition, which was gifted to me ever so generously. Um, so have you been good? Yes, it's been fantastic. I My focus level is like, isn't it? It's so cool, my body did that, and I'm just, yeah, so happy about that. Picnic, hi, it was great. It was really delicious. shall answer to Blackmore after I've had my fun. Hi, the Sunwell. What is it you wish? Is it? Oh! Kevin! Thank you for your recent with time gaming as well. My gosh. Much appreciated. Be sorry, um... Well, Terran lies just west of here. Since time is of the essence. Let's ride.
There we go. Okay, everything going on all at once. Phenomenal, fantastic. It's done. Good. Haha. <laughs> um, let me. There we go. It should be functional now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fungal giant, basically. Yep. Yep. It should be off now, though. <laughs> Sorry, Fire. I missed the message before it was done. Uh, I was just about to say, should we just do the thing? And he did it already. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. He's pretty good at that. Well, that was not a sound I expected when I got <laughs> That would be my uh, blue microphone, Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone. It has a whole lot of World of Warcraft themed uh, voice effects that you can trigger. That one is known as Fungal Giant. Um, you can type exclamation voice to see a list of everything that you can request with your embers. Um, but it's only up for redemption. You can only do it like once an hour because it's, um, it's that. <laughs> it makes things, it makes communicating quite a bit difficult. I hope you're doing well though, Lozen. Thank you so much for the resub. 16 months, my god. And Grubin with the 12 months and we've got 2 minutes and 45 seconds to trigger a hype train. Just FYI. And all the contributions to the pet collecting stream. Seems like people want me to play the WoW Pokemans. Is thank the baby Jesus good. Take puppy for a walk, enjoy, be safe, have fun. Oh my god, my eyes are watering like crazy and my lashes feel like they're coming unstuck. <clears throat> that clip with you saying the deets of the Michael and the voice effect be a good reel, just saying. I mean, like, if you've done the clip. If you've done the clip. I tend to, because going through clips is such a, like, it's a job. <laughs> um, I tend to go through them at the end of the month. Like when I'm planning my socials for the next month, I go through and do all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, if it's there, if it's there and it's a good clip, it's well-timed, cropped at the start and end nicely and all that kind of stuff, then I absolutely. It's good fun. Good fun. But yeah, I do, I do quite like, there, there have been a couple of, um, by the sun well. Ah! Oh, Doop! With the resub! At tier 2 as well for 14 months. And Tony with a Prime Gaming sub for 8 By months. The sun well. Goodness gracious, thank you guys so much for your support. And we have a hype train. Do you want to earn some hype train emotes? Have you unlocked them all? I know I certainly haven't. I'm pretty sure you can unlock a hype train emote. Um. Good Lord, I have so many hype training modes. Jesus Christ. Um, Black the people who, so the people who contribute to the hype train unlock emotes. I'm pretty sure the minimum you can contribute is a hundred bits if you want to unlock an emote. I think. Please somebody correct me if I'm wrong because I don't want to mislead people into spending money that like isn't enough to unlock something or whatever, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 100, but it could be 500 and I'm not 100% sure. Stream Raiders, battle time. Do the thing. Ah, uh, exactly. On it, yas. Sam is amazing at, at doing clips, just by the way. I uh, decided to upgrade to tier 2, been around here a while, wanted to get the chair before it changed. Very fair. Very fair. Ah, Rel! We do find out this way. Thank you so much for the cheer. Much, and it does, look, it does. It says Rel has used 100 bits. And that'll get you your, uh... So there's hype train badges as well. If you can see, Dupe has a Dupe and Zam have purple ones. That means that they were previously hype train conductors. See you later. If you are one of the hype train conductors for this train, you'll get a gold one, and it'll stay gold until there's another hype train, in which and then it'll turn purple. Um, but you can get the hype train. You can get the hype train conductor badge by either gifting the most subs for the train or cheering the most bits for the train. There are two badges, one for bits and one for subs. FYI, in case you're interested. If you're not, that's totally okay. But without the information, you can't make your mind up, can you? 1612 cast for me now. Mia, yeah, when you're gonna summon it, she's will do probably drop a call in Discord. Ah. 
It's very kind of you. Uh, Bjorn, Aelin, and Zam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Oh, it's the skin chest time. I actually still need all of these skins, so fingers crossed I'll get one. Make sure you place your units to be able to unlock a skin from this event. Follow that link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and then drag and drop your units to the battlefield in order to have a chance at a skin. Oh. Oh, I wasn't paying attention and thrall died. Good. Let's try this again. Wait, is it... Uh. Uh. There we go. Lotar, friend. Hello. What is it you wish? Safe travels. There we go. Okay, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah just wind back time, it's fine. Whatevs. Whatevs. Rita's life hangs in the balance. Surely you care for her. Surely you oh, wish to save shoulders, her. Owie. I think I can maybe fit one more run in after this one and then we'll change dungeons. Sitting at oh sitting at 52. I might stop it there and go for a new one actually. Uh you should you had turn back time. Yep. I know, right? So it is, there's another one might think from whatever, in case you want the- Aw, thank you, Sam. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> Ping! Ping! I like that noise. Hype train success! Oh, I got a level one hype train emote. Amazing. There we go. Ah, uh, so how long till we hear about whether PAX will be a thing again? PAX has been announced and tickets are on sale. Three day badges are seventy percent sold out. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a. Th it's totally a thing. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. Um. Because it, it was announced and tickets went on sale like over the whole surgery period. It's, it's happening. PAX is going ahead. It's the 7th till the 9th of October this year. It's a Friday to Sunday, always is. Um, I got two, look, I got two, two, uh, appearances from that one. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, and I've, I believe at this point that the three day badges are 70% sold out, but they said 70% a few days ago. So if you are intending to get a three-day badge, you are going to want to do that ASAP. They do sell out very quickly. Um, it'll be two weeks since, uh, I think I actually bought them surgery day. I think I kind of came about on, at one point on, on the Monday and was like, oh, badges are out, shit. Or it was like the next day or the day after that or something. So they've been on sale for a couple of weeks now. And because, firstly, this is the third, the first one back after two years off, so third time's a charm, people are going to be hella keen to go. And because of COVID restrictions, they can't have as many people in the expo hall as they used to be able to have. So the number of badges total that will be on sale is going to be lower. So those two things combined, you're going to want to get on it. Um, it's 170 for a three-day ticket. Um, I've got mine, Jas has got his, I will be there, unless it's cancelled. I don't think, honestly though, I don't think it's going to be cancelled. Um, I think the only thing that might happen is that they might restrict movement between states, but given uh, the high vaccination rates in Australia, which is fantastic, all that kind of stuff, I, I don't see them cancelling this. I, I just don't. Um, so I would definitely advise getting those tickets if you want them. Once the three days sell out, you can still purchase a Friday ticket, a Saturday ticket, and a Sunday ticket separately. It'll end up costing you about an extra 30 bucks, I think. 
um, because you get a discount for buying a three-day badge. Uh, yeah, they're 65 per day or 170 all up. So what's that? 65 by three. It's 195. So it's $25 more expensive to buy the three separately. Um, once the three days sell out, people tend to go panic stations and buy out their three days worth of tickets. So the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday usually ends up selling out pretty quickly after the three days sell out. If you are fine with that, if you're fine with just going on one day or the other or whatever, then that's totally okay. You'll still have obviously Friday or Sunday as an option, but if you are super keen on being there for all three days, like if this is your first packs, for example, and you want to explore everything and you want to see all the panels and stuff, um, panels, if you are looking to only buy a ticket once panels are announced, you should have a luck. They usually don't announce panels until the week of um, they might have a couple of big ones that they might tease um, beforehand. Uh, there's always a late night panel on Saturday that runs real late, like till 11 p.m. And it's like an adults only panel. And it's usually really good entertainment value, but it's only on a Saturday. Um, but beyond that, you won't know what the panels are going to be until like a week or two before it happening. So if you're wanting to hold out and then buy a ticket based on what the panels are, you're only going to be able to get a Friday or a Sunday at that point. And even at that stage, they might be sold out. Um, uh, so yeah, those are, those are kind of like my, I'm, this is not me trying to scare you into getting a ticket. This is just factual basis from the three packs that I've attended. I attended 17, 18 and 19, obviously 20 and 21 were both canceled. Um, if they do happen to cancel packs for whatever reason, you get a full refund. It's, they just straight back onto however you paid for it real quick and easy. Like you don't need, I, last year and the year before, I didn't even have to do anything. They just sent it to me and that was that. So, um, yeah, if that's what you're worried about, don't have to. They, they, they're pretty good at covering that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yes, Lars, you got a conductor badge because you were the first single sub to, to trigger the whole thing. So well done and Rel with yours as well. Uh, did you also get your end tickets that day? Jas did, yes. Jas was, um... 45 minutes late picking me up from the hospital after I was discharged. Uh, well, they didn't officially discharge me until he was there, obviously, but I was ready to go 45 minutes before he rocked up. And they were like, uh, uh, I think we might call your pickup person just to see, you know, what's going on. And um, they're like, you know, he is on his way. Everything will be okay. It's it, like, you know, just, I guess, I guess something's going on. And I'm like, sure, whatever. I think she said, um, like, he, he said he got a call from his boss or something. And I was furious. I'm like, you can call your goddamn boss back. Let them go to voicemail. And then when he actually picked me up, he was like, yep, so that's not what happened. I just didn't want to tell the nurse that I had pulled over to purchase Ed Sheeran tickets. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> So I was not upset in the slightest because we got tickets. Um, you do about first. You did about now and then. The tickets. You did get the tickets. He's shopping online. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. But no, he absolutely did get the tickets, and I was very I, like that would have been like one of very few things I was willing to to be to be delayed for. But that's yeah, it's all good. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get rid of that and pop that in. And we're gonna wait for it to recalculate. Oh sh shit! Okay. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Um, all right, so I'm going to ruins of Ankaraj on the Paladin. So that's not really something I can make a lack out of. I don't think. Uh, love the moments of I'm so cross with you for like time. I love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is always gonna happen. No, don't worry, Rel. We'll see you next time. Or see you later today. I'm not a paladin. I'm absolutely not a paladin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I can't really do a lack for ruins, so I'm gonna just run that as quickly as I can, and then uh, we'll see how we go. I hope that I don't have to do another. I hope I can just do one. Um, one run. Look at that goddamn shield. Look at that shield. Um, hopefully I get enough to drop in this one run that it's good. Oh my god, I gosh, I bloody love it. <laughs> Always two there are, it is the way. Enjoy your luck, Rel. Ooh, I'm... I'm hungry. Where's that shield from? 
Good question. I'll find out when I log in. I'll let you know what it's transmogged to, and then you can search it. Um, but first I'm gonna go grab a snack, because all of a sudden I'm starving. BRB! Run away, little girl! Run away! I have a nut bar. A sweet potato mash. Truth guard. It looks like it is the artifact, legion artifact. Um. This one. It's got a few different appearances, but that's what I'm using. I don't know how you unlock that specific one, though, sorry. Um, you have to go to your class order hall to find out, but that also means it'll be um, Paladin only. Ruins. Ruins of Ankaraj. Actually, I should be able to just go this way. How are you finding new chair? Interesting. It's, um, like, I kind of just thought, oh, they'll be pretty similar. Obviously, uh, this one is the, um, the pleather stuff compared to fabric. So that's a bit of a difference, but it's a lot softer than I thought it'd be. Because I was, I was honestly, to, to be perfectly honest, I was a bit nervous about the pleather thing. Uh, I haven't found it to be as sticky as I thought it would be. There is still a little, like if I am warm, uh, the backs of my thighs do stick to it a little bit, um, but not nearly as much as I thought it would because it is quite like soft touch. Um, the, uh, how do I explain this? The bit on the side, you know on the side how it kind of goes up and then like that, um, it seems a bit more forward than my fabric chair was. So every so often when I'm like going sideways or if I'm crossing my legs, my leg will actually fit into the groove at the back. <laughs> so it's a little bit kind of like, oh, right, okay, that's there. Whoops. Uh, but the the lumbar support on my old chair 
never stayed up. It always sank straight back down to the bottom. This one actually stays up, so it stays in the appropriate position for me. And uh, the shape of the head is a little bit different, so the cushion sits in a different place, but that's more appropriate for my body shape and my body type as well. So honestly, really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. Uh, not that I'm unhappy with my old chair. Definitely not. It was phenomenal. It lasted me really bloody well. It's still totally 100% functional. Um, AK Racing build them good. Like they're, they're well built and they just, they last. Um, this will be a lot easier to keep clean as well though. I have, I have noticed that the bright green, like the neon green, especially down on the sides of the, the seat, were not so bright green anymore because <laughs> it was just dirty through use. I had it for like nearly six years, you know? Um, so yeah, this one will be a lot easier to keep clean, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, enjoying it quite a bit. Definitely recommend. It's an overture is the is the style if that makes sense overture it's got it embroidered on the front of the the seat like where my knees sit it says overture and like white embroidery it's kind of cool i love that mm. Give me a second, I have to, I have a permanent marker out in the kitchen, but it's not working anymore. So I need to just prevent doxing. Give me a minute. <laughs> I totally forgot, we picked it up yesterday. Um, Cause I got a, a card for a missed delivery yesterday as well, but it uh, ended up being a deck of tarot cards from my mum, which is really lovely. Um, and we also checked the PO box. I'd completely forgotten up until you reminded me. I've had a very busy day. Today has been full on. Super productive, but super bloody busy. Super bloody busy. Uh, so this is from Dupe and Dono. And now that I'm definitely not going to dox you. Where are my scissors? Ah, totally forgot about that. Um, it was a good colour though. I agree, Kaz. Hello. It is a good colour. Um, I didn't actually originally choose the green for my old chair. Um, it was bought to match my PC because my PC has green lights in it because my PC is Oracle from the old fifth, the old comics from DC. Um, this. Okay. Online. Print and create. Which is this. And Dunno, if Shiba can get us the higher quality ones, we can get these printed for $2 each. Oh, it's 
a magnet. Oh, I get it. Oh, that is super cool. Um, what resolution do you have? What resolution did you use for this one? Do you know? Because I'm not sure, because the, um, I have my, my logo I have in super, 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 super high res, but the emotes I don't. They're, they're a, a lower res image to start with because they don't have to be bigger. Um, that's super cool. Um, office chairs mistake as we both gamers. Yeah, look, office chairs are lovely and all, but um, when you're spending so much time in them, yeah, it really makes a huge difference. Um, hello, Chaos. Most notions. Ooh. How's everyone doing very well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. A bit of spring cleaning, wonderful. It's always a good feeling, getting rid of a whole lot of shit that you don't need anymore. Um, to my room like a wounded bull because of you do. <laughs> oh dear. Go, go campaigning, yes. Screenshots from Discord, so potato quality, wonderful. Okay, full size emotes, yeah, 500 by 500 with 300 dpi. They, yeah, they'll be a lot, a lot better than what these have got. But, um, yeah, I think they should be fine. I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? And that's to run a test. Much better clean it. Yeah, absolutely. The only issue is the only issue is releasing um releasing higher res bits and pieces of my my stuff like my branded stuff yeah if it becomes a thing where people make their own merch you, do you see where like it, it becomes problematic Hmm, which is annoying, but yeah, because it's it's like the whole you know we talk about um uh like so if if those full size images get out there and people start making their own stuff and then people decide to start like making it for other people and then they start charging for making it for other people even if they're not making a profit it becomes something that I then have to put a stop to because I have to protect my brand. Otherwise, if somewhere down the track, someone actually tries to imitate me entirely, I don't know why they'd want to, but hey, they might, then I'll face a much more difficult battle trying to get them to stop because they can point and say, well, they let this person do it and that was fine. Um, yeah. Some people, three people, oh my gosh, we're so close, Seeker. So close to the bat battle, pet battle collecting stream for May. Oh god, it'd be so good to actually bump up my ranking on DFA. I thought so those would be good for giveaways. Ah, that is a very good idea. And only two bucks, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. All right, that might be a... Thank you. Thank you so much for, for testing this out. That's really awesome. It is such a pity that uh, that what's it doesn't do magnets. Like it just like that seems like such an easy. Everyone has a fridge of some. Everyone has a magnetic surface. Why not make stuff that can stick to? It? I guess they use stickers instead of that or whatever. But like that is super cool. Come on, make me hit two K. Oh, Shiba, you'll get there. You'll get it to drop. I promise. Shape by hand, yeah, yeah. Some full size, uh, or if you can, it's more comfortable for you. Um, I'm not sure we need to. I'm not sure we need to. Um, I can for giveaways and stuff. I think it's a phenomenal idea. I could 
probably like I've got the, I've got them, so I can send them. So that's that's all good. Um, it'd probably be a better idea to keep it to like if I want someone to have them, then I can send them. Um, and that way you can we can just like draw. That's where the line is, sort of thing. So it uh, makes it a little easier to. Um, what's it? Yeah, look, I'll have a think about some stuff. Zam did say 4K. Yeah, but Zam can be a meanie pants sometimes. Do you not have fridges? That's exactly what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it. Hey, hello, coin. How you going? I'm gonna go to if she wants to do it. Did that reference? Good. Glad. Wonderful. Awesome. All right. Noted. Uh, that's really cool. That's super funky. And the fridge would be pretty cool. Yeah. It only, like, they'd only end up being, like, that kind of size. But, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't want to show people what it is. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Sorry. Um, good lord. So, Dupe and Dunno did up a set of, th it's magnets. It's magnets. And so that's just their screenshots from Discord of the, of the, um, emotes. Um, the, the reason we were talking about DPI is you might be able to tell that it just, they're just a bit blurry, um, in terms of print quality. It's not super awesome. Um, like the, the, the quality of the item is great, but the quality of the images is thresh. Um, but there's for good reason, their screenshots from Discord blown up. Um, <laughs> so we could absolutely like that is, and yeah, it was, it was like a test run, a, a prototype of, um, and that's from, that's from Kmart. It's a photo sized print that's magnetized. Well, it's stuck onto a magnet, uh, and two bucks. So that's not bad at all. And that's absolutely something I could do as a, as a fun little giveaway thing. Uh, stick it on your car. Yeah, I need to get onto those hydrates, hey? Imagine that in bigger orders, it'd get cheaper too. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Another hydrate! Yeah, I know. I've got quite a few of them sitting in queue. I, I should really... I should really do that. I've been doing so much ruins lately because I've been trying to get fears like to 100% and the last thing she fucking needs is a zone drop. So I've been I've been doing this like a lot lately. So kind of like nine images on the one six by four. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Well the other option is like what I can do uh, is put together if because I've got the two, uh, because I've got the five hundred by five hundred images for most of them, I think there's a couple that I've got as smaller ones, but they're not Shiba emotes. They're they're old emotes, um, and I could do up a six by four in GIMP, so I know exactly how many I'd be fitting and all that kind of stuff. I could do up a whole actual image like that and then have that image with all of them, and then yep, does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, that would probably end up working quite well. <clears throat> I don't know if you would have put them on the car. It was a bit of an ooh moment. Totally makes sense. Just used asterisk times three. Sorry, dupe. <laughs> Paint.net. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I use GIMP for all of my um, bits and bobs, all of my graphics. Like, so like the this stuff, this is all, that's all GIMP. Um, uh, I've been redesigning a couple of bits and pieces and I've yeah just again done it all in GIMP. I like I'm not super good with it, but I know enough to get a semi-professional looking duva. Um what really upsets me uh it was it was you dupe who suggested the dot thing on throne, wasn't it? Am I remembering that correctly? It was not Oh no, it was not effective. Right, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
Doofy's linking is not effective. It, it, it doesn't do anything. It has no effect. Yeah, the dot thing. The cards, yeah, yeah, yeah. The stickers and the cards, the NFC business card shit uh, that doesn't deliver to Australia, that only delivers to the US currently. Yeah. So Officeworks have one called Tapt. T-A-P-T. There's no stickers, but it's a card. Um, and the issue I have with it is that they have a custom one. So you can buy, you can buy a stock standard one, I think it's like $64.95, or you can buy a customized one that Officeworks will print in store for $84.95. So only 20 extra bucks to customize it. And I'm like, ah, uh, yes, because that's obviously the way to go. Definitely. But you have to customize it using Canva. Officeworks has a Canva link. Like, so when you go to purchase it, it directs you straight through to Canva where you have to use that to design your card. And that's the only option you have. Only Canva. More links, dupe. <laughs> .io worked on Friday. Uh, it depends. If they know it's a if they know it's a website, it'll yeah, it, it Twitch actually kind of reads it to see if it's a website. Like if you try to put a gif in, it it'll let that through fine like .gif. Um, but because there are there are some that are .io's that are links and some that are .io's that are just accidents, it seems to be able to tell. Um yeah, Raider IO is allowed through. But yeah, it's um some of them Mod magic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. It is also mod magic. Mods can get past the, the link protector thing. Um, but yeah, so you have to use Canva to design. And not just, not just do you have to use Canva. You can't make a design in Canva elsewhere and then go through the Officeworks thing and upload that design. You have to design it live. And that pisses, and you can't save it or anything. And that pisses me off. What am I doing? No, I'm uh service chest. A mod thing, I think. Yes. Yeah, it is a mod thing. Mods can get around it. Oh. We did a lose again. We need more, we need more uh people. We need more units. My units for skin chest. Come on, I clicked you. Let's go. More pylons, yep. But yeah, so I'm I'm thinking I might be able to find myself some time to do myself up uh, a tapped from office works before packs. Would you pretty please stop poking me because you hurt like a lot. A lot, a lot. But yeah, so uh, place your units, follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, drag and drop your units to the battlefield, please and thank you. We need more units in order to be able to defeat the, uh, and get the skin chest. Um. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, so I'm thinking I might pick that up, um, a couple months before PAX. Because I, I do remember handing out a ton of business cards the last couple times I've been to PAX, but, um, all my business cards are now wrong <laughs> and it costs so much to get them actually printed up and stuff and like all that shit and it's just it's another piece of paper to be thrown away like it's so unenvironmentally friendly um so yeah i'm thinking the electronic one is going to be the way to go and if there aren't too many people with electronic ones it might cause people to remember me more because it's like oh that's right she was that chick with that funky business card tappy thing do you know what i mean like it, it could work in my favor as well <clears throat> oh no hand out your tap card bags and no absolutely not Absolutely not. I was, I was hoping that they'd make one that would have like a slot cut in it so you could put it on a lanyard so you could just kind of lean over and tap it and then have it, do you know what I mean? Because then it'd work as like a name card, as like a name badge as well. But it doesn't look like that's the thing that they offer, unfortunately. 
Yeah, for no reason, go look at boss mods. Uh, okay, give me a second. <laughs> that is adorable. Why do you keep doing work without being paid for it? Stop it. <laughs> That's super cute. That is super, super cute. For no reason at all. For works of fridge magnets as business cards. That's kind of cool. Because it's fun. Okay. All right. As long as you're having fun. Like, that's... That's really important to me, that you're enjoying it. But still, like, good lord. Ah, oh, no, inventory full. Get drill and make your own hole. My problem with that, Kaz, is what if, like, how do I know where not to drill for the NFC? I, I, I don't. Like, I don't, like, anywhere I could drill could potentially break the electronic connection and make it not work anymore, and then that's 84.95 flushed down the toilet. <laughs> A non-handoutable business card that does nothing fancy, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that'd, that'd be rough. That'd be rough. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. May your feet find good trails. But that's okay. What I can do is get a little plastic, you know, the plastic um, protectors that have the hole for the lanyard. So I can, I can do it that way. Um, less clean, less pretty looking, but yeah, we could hot glue the lanyard onto it. Oh my fucking god! And what if the heat melts something that it needs? But no, I've got um I've got a couple of those plastic pockets with lanyard holes in it from uh, Be Lucky and Sons. Every time they've given me a uh, an influencer pass to get free games and stuff, um, they've given me a new one, so I can just pull the stuff out of one of those and and stick the card in. Uh, does it fit in an ID card holder? It's it's business card sized, so it fits in an ID card thingy. Yeah, but it should do. Um, that is what that size is, right? I think so. God, it's been a while since I've <laughs> dealt with them. Good lord. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. Like if they, if the packs car, if the packs tickets came with like a plastic pockety thing, then I'd stick it in there. But they don't. They just come as a, a plastic card that has no electronic properties, uh, that has a hole in it for your lanyard. But um, and they hand out free lanyards just before, like as you're going in to get your ID checked and everything. Um, they have like big clear buckets full of lanyards um but i'm hoping that i can pick up some some like some lanyards that are like maybe i don't know i don't think i don't think what's it does i don't think spring does lanyards that'd be really cool because i would really love to do like the you know the bird logo and then like logitech and blue and you know all the little logos all my sponsors right that'd be freaking awesome but i don't think they do them also i'm not actually sure if i'm allowed to use them in that way, now that I think about it. <clears throat> I have to confirm. Of course I would confirm before doing it. I'm not an idiot. I don't want to, like, lose out on this stuff, but, uh... I don't think that they do lanyards. I think it's just too small printable area and they can't make it easy. When I was in Canberra, I saw a stream of a guy who had an app he could NFC his deets to us. He couldn't get it to work after a few minutes of mucking around. Aww. That's really sad. I hope my- I hope the- the tap stuff doesn't work like that. Is it- it, it was an app though, right? Not an actual physical piece of stuff. Yeah, no lanyard. No lanyard with spring. That's okay. <clears throat> there are new colours and stuff available for the shirts, though, um, that I've uploaded. Ah! Oh, Mum and stepdad bought Fear shirts. They bought Fear merch. Mum bought in, in purple, and and Fear stepdad bought in, uh, like, dark grey, like, charcoal grey. And, oh my god, the purple looks amazing. It is such a bright, like, the contrast with the purple and the yellow and the orange of the bird, it's gorgeous. It looks so amazing. Like, legit, so incredible. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. 
I mean, I'm thinking I might have to pick up a couple because I feel like I feel like I shouldn't be wearing anything other than my merch at PAX. <laughs> um, you're bumping frames with everyone trying to get it to. Oh god. Surely that's something you test before you go to the networking event, right? Like. Poor, poor guy. I hope he didn't pay for it. Uh, you remember budget? You've got the purple version? Oh, that's right, you do too, and it's so cool, isn't it? The colours just work so bloody well. Can I swear to model the shirts? They have. They already have. And they've sent it to me. I'm just, I'm not going to post it publicly because I don't have the permission to do so. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be taking like so many photos and stuff at PAX and like every time any any like if I end up getting photos with any of you like selfies with you guys there is actually absolutely going to be the question am I allowed to post this um <laughs> and if 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 it's yes then I'll I'll put it in a special folder on my phone so I know which ones I can and which ones I can't because um that's what we do consent is important I think I'm still in combat with the eggs. This happens like every time. Ooh, I'm swimming. Yep, there we go. So if you take half a second too long to kill Buru, then it doesn't work. Did I get any new? Oh, I did get some new. Some new transmog. It's a couple more trash packs that I'll kill just in case of trash drops. Um, and then we'll update the data and see where we're going. These eyelashes are causing me such a hassle. I think I might have to just rip them off. Because we're not even two hours in and it's just burning like crazy. Um. That's really funny. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. That's all of that. So let's... Grab this and see okay cool that's updated uh am i going back to fucking heels red good wonderful Can I actually see where this is poking me? No, I cannot. Why would I be able to do that? That would be intelligent. Alrighty. Got a couple of hydrates to get through, so let's do that couple, she says. <laughs> bottle. No, 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 no. So who's ready for another round of uh, Old Hills, Red Foot Hills? Um, What's it lack? 
<clears throat> mash. Love sweet potato mash. So good. There we go. Invitations sent in case you would like to join. I'm going to start heading over that way now. Don't forget troops, indeed. Place those units on the battlefield for stream raiders. Exclamation battle will get you a link in chat. Make the background for sure. Great learning mechanics. I really wish for a disable RP option. Agreed. Agreed. It would like. I, I feel like the dungeon would take like a third of the time if we could skip the RP. Oh no, wait, it's downstairs. to Hygel Summit. <laughs> Bugger off, I'm going to his bed. <clears throat> Dungeon difficulty on heroic. Start with heroic and then work your way through normals if you need to. You probably will. Don't forget the quest if you're looking for transmog because there is a piece of transmog from there if you haven't already done it. No one's interested. Shock, horror. Shock, horror. Everyone has a difficulty roll if you do. Yeah, look. A who's row is a little bit difficult, yeah. It's not exactly English. <laughs> Sounds trollish. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. <clears throat> okay. Off I go because no one wants to do this with me. Understandably so. <laughs> Understandably so. That way though it'll tell me when I'm getting close to an hour. <clears throat> Join. Of course, of course. Totally understandable.
<laughs> oh dear. Hello, Les. How are you going today? Welcome back. Not so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How are you? I'm doing really well, actually. Um, I've been super duper productive, which I'm very happy about because I haven't been for a long time. I'm still literally months behind on everything to do with streaming and stuff, but um, I'm getting there, which is better than it was last week or the week before, etc. So I'm, uh, yeah, being thankful for what I can do and, and all that kind of stuff, which is great. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see. Bad? Yeah, me too. It's it's been it's been a rough go this year so far. Um, I've had like a lot of stuff that I simply cannot control happen, and uh, yeah. So I'm. Uh, it feels good to be finally getting back into the driver's seat. I, I feel like I've just kind of been sitting in the back seat and letting the car drive itself, but. Um, I'm finally actually kind of stepping up and making things happen, which feels really good. Yes! Now for now, no worries, Elroy, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah, look, it happens, it's, you know... Not much we can do about it, it's all about- the only thing we can control is how we respond to it, hey? That's, um... That's what I've been trying to focus on, so, yeah! Quick, someone donate 1k, there we go! It's done! We are going to have a pet battle collection stream in May. Fingers crossed I'll be able to climb up the rankings somewhat on Data for Azeroth. Actually, where am I? For, um... Where am I for pets on DFA? Because there's the pet score, like the total, like the pet score, and I'm 18th for that. But then there's number of pets. Oh, and I'm 22nd for that. Good. Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. So good, hopefully I'll be able to grab some more and climb those rankings. Yeah. I need 11 more pets to climb one rank spot to get to 21st. 11 more pets. That's not too bad. That's, oh yeah, we're in April. Correct. We are at the very start of April though, so... There is that. But tomorrow we will have a new community challenge goal. Keep an eye out for that. times but yeah so I need 11 to, to climb to 21st Get these flames out before they spread to the rest then I'd need Hurry, damn you. 13 more on top of that so 24 more to get to 20th but then only another three to get to 18th but yeah like it's a huh we'll see we'll see how many more we can get We'll do the best we can, won't we? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Les. I'm so sorry. Hey, Murray, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. By the sun well. Dora, 
Harry! Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your resub. Much appreciated. Four months. Goodness gracious, thank you so much. Pain in a piece, yeah. Especially look, when it comes to pain and stuff as well, yeah. It's it, just because it's better for them doesn't make it easy for us though, hey. Lotar, friend. Um what is it you wish? Yeah. I hope you've got, like, some, pr like, uh, I'm not sure, like, I've not, I've not, um, I mean, I've, I've lost pets, but I haven't be I haven't had to put them down, like, while I was there or whatever, like, um, I know that mum had to get, um, one of our pets put down, but I was living out of home by that point and all that kind of stuff, I'm, so I'm not sure how exactly it, uh, works, but, um, if the vet's given you any kind of contacts for some, like, support, like, professional support and stuff, um, I definitely recommend doing that because it's it's not easy and you don't have to go through it alone. Um, yeah, even if it's just a session to kind of just sit and cry and, and talk uh, about how much... How much she meant to you and all that kind of stuff, it, it really, like, it can help. It can help bring some, you know, a little bit of closure and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, I'm so sorry. Can, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that as a definitive statement, Nano, but, um, it, it can definitely be to that extent for some people. But I, I wouldn't say that as a blanket statement. Um, so tell her remember if I'm really hot, so eating, can't sleep. Yeah, you, you need, I, please do talk to a professional because you know that that's not healthy and you also, like, I know that you know in your brain, knowing in your brain and knowing in your heart are two very different things. But no, I know that you know in your brain that you're not going to be able to move forward unless you take care of your body, but I know that your heart might prevent you from doing that kind of stuff anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, just please do get some help because it's it's super important that you support your body through your process of grieving. Really, really important. A rider approaches. We, we, we talk about supporting friends like emotionally and, and spiritually and stuff like that through the process of grieving by being there for them and talking it out and all that kind of stuff. You but didn't really think you physically would escape, is just did as you? important. You and your so, allies yeah, shall be, answer the black sure after I've had can. my fun. Do what you can. Even if it's just sipping at a bloody protein shake or something, you know, just anything that you can stomach. Try to get some kind of nutrition and stuff because you know, we care about you. You are cremated. That's beautiful. Let her go. Let's ride. I'm glad they. I'm glad you're able to do that. I can imagine it's probably a somewhat of a help to be able to do that rather than just you know having to leave and then that's that. Otherwise, you're very welcome. Good morning, Crud. Welcome back. Yeah, absolutely. Way to put it, did have a little bit to eat today, no appetite, lost two and a half kilos this week. Yeah, that's really, really, really not healthy. Um, yeah, please do, please do, do what you can. But yeah, um, I've found in times that I've experienced grief and I, I was unable to kind of get to that point as well. Um, of course, you know, just because it worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work for anybody else. But yeah, protein shakes were a big thing. Um, they just kind of helped put something in my stomach and then I found once I forced myself to have, even if I felt nauseous doing it because I didn't feel hungry and so I, I felt a bit nauseous for forcing the food or the, the protein shake whatever into my stomach, um, after a couple of days my body kind of clicked like, oh right that's what we're meant to be doing, crap. And then I got really, really, really hungry. <laughs> Like, really hungry just a, a few days after I was forcing myself to have stuff. Um, it, it is, it's surprising how quickly your body can recognize, ah, shit, oops, we did a oopsie. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, not to make fun of the situation at all, but yeah, definitely take care of all aspects of who you are, because you are important. Um... 
It was vastly different, yeah. Yeah. You're very welcome. Of course, you're very, very welcome. Doing fun the stream helps. So I appreciate your kind and support for your chat. Of course. Of course. It costs me mental health, health help plans, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like failing everything else, like Beyond Blue is always there. Um, there, the only reason I mentioned that the vet might have said something is because there's a chance, I, I, I don't know, again, I haven't really been in this situation, but there might be some kind of specialist person who, who deals with losing pets and, and some, because through the vet, obviously, um, so that might be a more specific help, but failing that, yeah, like, absolute worst case, Beyond Blue is always there, always available, always free. So, that's, um, that's a good thing. Very welcome. Uh, which part of AT Dad are you doing at the moment? Uh, this is a shaman, and I'm doing Old Hillsbrad Foothills. Um, friend. Uh, otherwise known as Escape from Durnhold, or Caverns of Time, Escape from Durnhold Keep, um, is the official name of the dungeon, but it's Old Hillsbrad. Uh, I haven't mentioned it, might ask me to go in to pick up rashes. Yeah, of course. And yeah, if, if they don't, they, there's a very good chance that they don't have like a specific kind of dealy, um, and yeah, if, if they don't, yeah, Beyond Blue is always available as well. Um, not that, of course, we're not here for you, just that, um, talking to someone who, who's professional and who has the, the training and the background support and all that kind of stuff, um, might be more effective, uh, is, yeah. Um, and it also, you know, if, if you've got people in chat who have, uh, recently experienced something similar and, and then that's, you know, a trigger for them and stuff like that. It Yeah, it can be a little more beneficial to people if they do know what's out there. And yeah, Beyond Blue is Australian, so in case anyone's not from Australia who's listening, um, there will be stuff available where you are. Um, there, there is in almost every country on Earth, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but if you need help finding a, a helpline, a free helpline for a particular country. We do have a mental health channel Black in Discord, and you can ask there, and I am certain that I myself and the community will do the best that we can to find something for you from your country that you can call uh, or get in contact with in some other way. But yeah. Um... Good to have those kind of connections. Good day to you. Screenger, hello, Barry. How are you going? Come outside and face your I saw that I saw your photo with the panels, with the the nano leaf panels. So cute. So cute. Someone to help me out. It's awesome. Grand. Yep. Super cute. Super cute. And I'm looking forward to catch ups on Tuesday. Gotta take these nails off. Ah, oh, I got a skin! Fantastic! Got one of the three skins. Take off these nails that I've had on for like a month and, and do something new. Uh, Farron, Cade, V, Puddle, and Loza, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Onwards we go. Actually, no, I wanna go to the top one because I haven't seen that boss yet. Troublesome friends must yeah, die. didn't you guys wanted me to do something on like wait during the catch up so I could like show you what I was oh. just that. Uh, this one. There we go. Um, social is a major advantage. I just love the box, crystal keepsake. And some hair clippers and ink print. That's really sweet. That's that's awesome that they offer that kind of a service. That's really good. It's like a judge a junkie boss. Yas. You have a six hundred million to spend it. Oh, of course. But I mean, like, you know, six hundred dollars it'll last literally forever. If you ask me, that's a good investment. <laughs> you know, six hundred dollars for an experience that lasts twenty minutes, maybe. You know, depends on what it is. But six hundred dollars for something that will literally last longer than you will. That's, that's, it's a bloody good investment. Alright, uh, so I'm finished with Heroic. Oh, I need to wait and turn in the quest. 
Um. Loktar, friend. What is it you wish? Of course. That's what was your mount make up today? Uh, it was the Great Brown Kodo. Sheba guessed it after I much after much ado. She was very, very angry about guessing it. Your favorite died last night? No, it's it's been almost a month since I've died it, actually. I've got uh, a bit of regrowth happening. Um I need to buy some more dye because I've run out. Uh, but it's, I'm almost due to re it again. It's held on really bloody well this time. I don't know what I did, I don't know what we did differently, but something, something is, like, going well. <laughs> Maybe I've just used it enough now that it's like, oh well, I guess we won't go anywhere. Um... Uh, should look so vibrant, right? It's like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm really happy with it. It's nice to have to re it, not because it's faded to hell, but because I've got too much regrowth, you know? Like, that's a really nice place to be in. So keep saying it's okay. A bit big. Um, yeah, there's, um... There are a few different ways that you can do, like, remembrance, things like that, but, um... I'm pretty sure Les did say that in the $600 package there was something about that. Uh, a crystal keepsake. I'm not sure if it's a necklace, but yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. Alrighty. Out we go, and we're changed to normal. We head back in again. Uh, stupid lashes stabbing. Ah, uh, normal. In we go. Really read into the detail. Yeah, can imagine. I'm sure you probably get some kind of a brochure bit somewhere. Just a sort of shaped stand thing with something inside it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Cool. Shoot, I didn't take it. Ah, gotcha. Fair enough. Um, maybe they might have details, if you're interested in the details before you actually get the stuff, they might have the details on their website or something. Um, but yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, I'm missing nine of the purposes. Ah, well done, Crud. Congratulations. You're doing real well. Uh, I've only got a couple so far, but that's alright. I'll get there. I'll get there. Might do some uh, some farming streams. Get a big group together and, and farm up the Genesis Motes and stuff for a bit. I've got time. I'll get there. Dun, 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 dun. After then, it's onto pets. Yeah, absolutely. All of that completionist stuff. It does feel good though, when you like cross all the things off the list, you know. Sent nothing there. Fair enough. Uh, maybe they don't want to, like, f have a, a focus on uh, end of life. Rather focus on uh, what they can do before that, which makes sense. That's right. Um, from what you what you mentioned, it sounds like a lovely package, and I'm sure that you'll have a lot of 
little bits and pieces that you can hold on to to remember her by. What's for dinner? Uh, oh, that's not dinner. That's just, I was really, really hungry. Like my stomach was growling. So I pulled out, I had a, I had a nut bar. You know, it's like nuts and like peanuts and honey and dipped in chocolate, whatever. Um, like the bottom half dipped in chocolate, like a muesli bar, but without the oats because it's just filler. Uh, and uh, what I have there is a container of um, sweet potato mash that's left over because we made a lot, <laughs> accidentally made like a ton of mashed sweet potato for my lunches this week. Um, first time in like a month that I've actually, that, that Jess and I have actually done meal prep. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm sure that the, uh, the, the good food will help just continue to boost my energy levels. Cause I've, I've been feeling pretty good. Like tomorrow is two weeks since surgery, uh, which, so I'm a lot better doing a lot better than I did last time around, which is to be expected. Um, and I, I like I can like I'm I'm getting more productive and I'm getting more stuff done and I just want to keep that going. I just want to keep that rolling. So I think having the healthy food throughout the week is going to be really really good as well. Um, we made that the the nightshade free curry again. Oh, it's so good. We added an extra can of um of coconut milk this time though because it wasn't saucy enough last time. If that makes sense, it was great. It was really really tasty. It wasn't dry, but it just didn't have a, enough sauce. It didn't like soak through everything properly um and yeah so i i feel like having a full week of good food that's all been pre-prepped and all that kind of stuff is going to be even better uh and for my energy levels and all that kind of stuff so fingers crossed we'll see how we go um but for dinner for dinner tonight we grabbed from woolies uh chashu pork um, I think it's the one that's just a big i don't i'm not i can't remember but it's um like it's it's pork and it's in a char siu marinade, um, which is barbecue pork, like the red barbecue stuff, if you know, yeah. Um, and you bake it in the oven, and then when you pull it out, it's got a sachet, like an extra sachet of sauce that you kind of coat everything in. And last time we had it, it fell apart. It came as this big hunk, and we're like, how the hell are we going to carve this? And I went to carve it, and I touched it with the knife, and the whole just bleh. So, like it just fell apart. It was so soft and tender and so juicy. So um, we're gonna have that with some uh, with some veggies and and a little bit of salad and stuff. So it's gonna be really tasty. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm, yum. Love a good marinade. Make or break a good like it can make or break a cut of meat. Like if you've got like a semi decent cut of meat that's just not that great, cook it by itself. It could be okay. It could be nutritious. But if you cook it with a good marinade, oh, it just lifts it to another level. It's so good. So, so good. Anywho, I had a wow itch the other day, so I renewed my sub. Yet to play, though. I'm jealous as fuck. Oh, of the KFC. Oh, we had, um, uh, yesterday, Jas and I went into Brisbane City and bought some things from each of, like, our favorite cafes and restaurants and stuff, and then took them into the Botanic Gardens and had a picnic. And one of the things we got was fried chicken. So not KFC, not KFC, but there's a place in Brisbane City called Nene Chicken. I'm pretty sure Nene is means chicken, so I think it's just chicken chicken, <laughs> which always makes me giggle. Um, but we got a box of like of fried chicken from them, and oh god, it was just so goddamn good. And they serve it with like a little thing of coleslaw and a little thing of like pickled something. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious and like a thing of like sweet sweet mustard it's not like it's not honey mustard but it's something i don't know it's fucking amazing um so yeah we had sushi and fried chicken and mrs fields cookies and uh custard bread from bread top and of course gongcha bubble tea of course so yeah it oh god it was really nice like wandering around and visiting all the places i haven't been to in a really long time and then like finding a spot under a tree in the gardens and putting out the blanket and just sitting down and stuffing our faces and then just kind of lying there full of food <laughs> reading the april fool's wow patch notes <laughs> it was really lovely and then i got home and napped because apparently that was exhausting Ah oh dear, catch up mechanics. You've been thinking about yeah, there's so many catch up mechanics in Shadowlands. It's amazing, so fast. 
Oh, excuse me. Hello, Duster. Never made a Horde character. I've rolled an Undead Priest on TBC. Fantastic. I hope you enjoy yourself. Ooh, yum. Enjoy. Awesome boxy you can get. It's easy and all recipes sent to you. It's called every plate. Yeah, there are so many like that. Um, there, there's a ton like that. The problem is they're hella expensive. Like, hella expensive. Um, I can't afford them. Um, you know, it, it might be only a few dollars per, per serve or whatever, but I can do dinner for 50 cents a head. So, yeah. uh, and on top of that, I am trying to move back towards being more AIP. Like, all the food I have this week, all the food that I've prepped that's, like, in the fridge waiting for me, I breakfast and lunch and dinners, longer. everything we have is AIP. And those kind of meal prep services and stuff there'll be 101 different substitutions that I'd have to make and I'd end up not using half the food they send and spending extra money on food to replace it and it's just not worth it in any way. Uh, for some people it is super worth it and that's awesome for them, but for me it's just not something I can do. Uh, enjoy your Lurk Murray and Dupe as well, both of y'all. Yeah, I am glad that those services are there for people who need them um, or who want them or like them or whatever. Uh, because, you know, anything that's going to make eating healthy easier is, is a good thing. Draw. You didn't really think you would escape, did you? Especially with you and just how many shall health issues Blackmore come from not eating healthily. Had my fun. Like, it's, oh, it's such Guards. a big thing. <clears throat> Lothar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well. Terran Mill lies just west of here. Since time is of the essence. Let's ride. I have earned my freedom. Uh, you'll be just tonight. I'm like cheat night. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, look, having a cheat meal every so often is definitely like. You gotta have soul food too, you know? It's great if you can find healthy meals that you really love and that make you feel those warm fuzzies inside, but sometimes you need something a little bit cheeky. And that's totally okay. Totally okay. The problem begins to happen when you're having unhealthy stuff three meals a day and then a ton of sugary drinks and stuff as well, like all the time, constantly. It just, it just, your body can't function properly. And when your body can't function properly, everything starts going wrong. Um, yeah, it's, um, just kind of, you know, do the best we can, as often as we can. Fucking lashes keep stabbing me. Half of this dungeon is running around. Doing nothing. I just want my transmog. Just to be my transmog. <laughs> Lothar, friend. What is it you wish? <laughs> oh, gosh. It was so long ago. Nearly three years ago. Some of the old quotes that come up just blow my mind, hey? Hmm. <laughs> oh, half it standing around waiting for talking to end. You're not wrong, Kaz. You're not wrong at all. Mm-mm. 
Free for all. I hate that. I have earned my freedom. I am a slave no longer. <laughs> Stream absolutely. You need something? Safe travels. Come outside and face your face. Who or what was that? Oh, great camera angle for you. Good job. <laughs> Surely you no. care for her. Surely you wish to save her. Okay, so the loot table's not actually that bad. It's just... Oh, no, hang on. Right, that's... All classes. There we go. The loot table's terrible. Good. Yeah. Which, like, the magnet... Yeah, it's awesome. It's a really great idea as well. And it's something fairly easy to do as well, which is really good. So, um... Definitely gonna keep that one up my sleeve. Maybe I can set aside some money in the packs budget to uh, to get a bunch of stuff like printed up, and I can hand things out to people. You know, like I mean, people have badges and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe magnets are cooler. Enough, enough. I will erase your very <laughs> no. no, the master will. Not me. Well done, Dunno. Well done. Oh, I got nothing. Good lord. This this dungeon doesn't like me very much. Um spending some money in this economy. Look, I know, right? I can like if I'm spending money on like badges or magnets or stuff like that, I can claim that on tax because it's business related expenditure. But like Hello, Lucky. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Doing very well. Alright, out we go. Can I smell something cooking, Jess? Or am I um, having a stroke or something? Passing still nothing. Oh, Shiva. You'll get there. It'll drop. You're gonna have the record of the family. That's that's what's happening. But you can pass some stuff. Yay! We coming from a stream uh, as always. As always, food. Yes, good. So I can smell food. Wonderful. Excuse me. I think K's ended up being like 2000 and something from memory. But I can't quite remember. Oh, I need to empty my bags. <laughs> Hasn't that been guessed already, by the way? It has. It was the Great Brown Kodo. And it was guessed by Shibasu. Good fortune to our friends. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Mm, press him to one at all. Uh, it was really funny though, because really, really early on, one of the like one of Shiba's guesses was Brown Kodo. And then it took like another 
40, 35, 38 minutes until he was like, wait, is it the great brown Kodo? It was very funny. Everybody laughed. <laughs> Sheba hates me. It's fine. Sheba already hated me, so it's okay. Nothing has changed. Very golden. Okay. Grab our incendiary bombs. And off we go to Dernhold Keep. I have a stretch. And a posture check. What a couple of chair streams here, so I should probably use them at some point too. I hope you're all having a really super chill Sunday afternoon, or morning, depending on where you are. One thirty a.m. on Sunday. So you're up late or up early? Hello, Darth. Ah! Oh, Crud! Five oh, tier so one well. subs. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. So generous of you. Wanna hear some of the shining mugs dropping? It's great, fantastic, Mori. Hi, the sun. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in the sub bomb. Be sure to thank Crud if you're feeling comfortable talking in chat. Hi, the sun well. So we should go to bed early for a change. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? 9.36 a.m. Brilliant. Hi, the uh, sun well. 6.36 p.m. on Sunday here in Brisbane. Up late, Darth. Makes sense. Being up at, like, early, having to get up at 1.30 in the morning would, um, Hi, would make me a very well. unhappy camper. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I would be pissed. Better pissed. This way. Where's the bucket? Forget. I'm so bad at this dungeon. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. 5609%. I wonder where it's going to send me next. I get this sneaking suspicion it's going to send me to a raid. But I could be wrong. The other option, of course, is that it tries to send me back here, but on the hunter. <laughs> Uh, in which case I'll just log into the hunter and um, update the data because it'll be wrong. Ding! Oh, nice. Just over 100. So the dings only happen when I have a green piece drop that's that will go for more than 100 gold. So I'm getting plenty of greens, but they're just low value. So that's, a, that's one that's just over 100. So that's nice. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. The lights go purple when we get a new follower. It's good fun. I like it a lot. Gosh, we're getting so close to like to 9k. What the hell? Whew, that's huge. I feel like I should do something to celebrate 10k. Like, that's a pretty big milestone. What add-on does that ding? That is loot appraiser. And if you want to join in, we do loot appraiser challenges where a whole bunch of people can do the same dungeon at the same time in their own, like, by themselves, but it hooks them all up through the Battle.net friends list. So any faction, any region can all do a challenge together and um, kind of compete to see who can get the most drops. Of the most valuable drops. It's really quite fun. I've been, I've tried to set up a couple today, but so far the only dungeon that the thing's letting me do is Old Hillsbrad, and I don't think anyone wants to do Old Hillsbrad. 
So the ding comes from Ludapraiser, but then the Ludapraiser challenge is a different add-on that will let you play with us kind of thing, if that makes any sort of sense. Uh, I've seen a few runs, looks fun, but where to find time? When I stream on a Sunday, make yourself some time on a Sunday to join us. You there, fetch water quickly. Get these flames up before they spread to the rest of the keys. I mean to put an end Hurry, to damn you free. permanently. I only need one more item from that boss, transmog wise, and it will not drop. It just won't drop. Special mark. Ah, uh, there used to be one, I guess. There we go. Yep, there you go. It's working now. I fixed it. Yeah, we just didn't do them for such a long time. I think I took it off the list. Wow, 437. That's not bad. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well then. Let's go. Let's go indeed. This day is long overdue. Out of my way! <laughs> I am truly in your debt, strangers. On throw uh, your butts for the very, very loud voice line. You didn't really think you would escape, did you? You and your allies shall answer to Blackmore. After I've had my fun. Guards! Guards! <clears throat> Nothing from that one either. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Welcome to Hill better give me something. <laughs> Since God. time is of the essence. <laughs> Time for battle. Let's ride. Mighty crossbow, six hundred and fourteen gold. Not bad. Now I'm gonna actually get it to sell for that much. Is the slowest horse in the game, I know, right? It's so bad. It's quite the effort. That's adorable. Not this game, yes! Stream Raiders!
<laughs> oh dear, dude. Get a win! Oh, I just noticed we have exactly 250 subscribers. V, Smith, Zam, Caden, Aelin, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. We have exactly 250 subs right now. That's super cool. Ah, boss time! Twitch Chrome bug? Mm. Yep. Just a second. Thrall's running ahead. I didn't want him to die and get squished and stuff. Uh, okay. I need to turn in a couple of these to see if there's another quest. And there is! Event tokens in. Delightful. Got my daily drop done. Tokens, snipers. Level up and get assists. Alright, so strong against snipers. That one, but that's on cooldown. Aladdin, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Hmm. So apart from the Paladin emote, are there any other emotes that people like really want from the channel? From me, particularly. Because we do have a few slots left. Granted, a lot of them are t tier 2 or 3. And bits, bit emotes. Fiamma Chia. Is that... Is there a, too much crossover with Fiamma Hype? Share with new hair colour. Being worked on. Also, do you want the new chair to replace the old chair? Or to be two separate emotes. <clears throat> it depends on the design, I guess. They'd be very, very similar. I will not waste this chance. Because it is still chair. But no new new shape and stuff, so. It's a thing. It'd be slightly different, but still very similar. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, but you mean the cheer, right? Gotcha. How are you? See you oh, later. Come outside and face your face. Who or what was that? Aretha's life hangs in the balance. Surely you care. No. Surely you wish to save her. There you are. I had hoped to accomplish this. Mm, oh, buddy, for sure. I suppose. True. Was Your future must be that lot of bills. <laughs> and so, you and your troublesome friends must die.
Oh, thank God. At least I got one new thing this entire run. <sighs> Alright, I'm not doing another run because I'm up to 52. So... Where are we going next? I don't think that's correct. Um, it says we're going to Ruins of Ankaraj on the Hunter, but I don't, I don't think that's right. But I went through and updated all of these before stream, so I'm a little bit confused as to why some of these are wrong. Titanium implants that you might want to remember. Um, well, the, the implants all the way back here, so it's not really something I can show off as such. Oh, who doesn't have any little fear adjusting reading glasses? Stay a while and listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like this. This is nice. Even though my datas are wrong. It says ruins is at 34.21. Forty-five, four, five. Now it's 34.21 again. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah, it updates a little funny sometimes. Uh, okay, so that's the quest. A bunch of those zone drops that I can't hide because there's actual ones I need up the top. Nah, 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 nah. Well, at least that works. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we're gonna go do ruins then. <laughs> We've got Fiamma Drool. a slightly different design the newer ones because it was a different artist mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> well done Zam
Perky lashes is still gonna do damage, I think. I'll figure it out later. So 34.21% is my lowest percentage. That's pretty good. My overall total is 65.93. I'm almost at 66%. Yeah, no, probably not, unfortunately. I think you're right. That's okay. An epic Fiamma rogue. Thank you, Zam, for showing off my amazing stream reader skins. Oh, excuse me. Two K attempts. Milestone Shiba, well done. Have you got all the fishing achievements now? Did you get all the No, I just still have it in here. Yeah. Like, I did. I barely ate any. Thank you very much. I was like, why is it not in the fridge? Where'd it go? Because I took it with me. <laughs> no angry. angry. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. No angry. angry. No, no angry. Seething hatred. Sheba. <laughs> You'll be fine. It'll all be worth it when it drops. I'm glad I can go get a new lure from Vash to fish up for the, um, uh, for the what's it transmog and stuff. That was a good change. Good decision. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be worse. Although the drop rate for the pond nettle was rarer as well, so. I just hope like this and go buy the goop. I know, but you can do it. I believe in you. I have faith in you. <laughs> buy into the sunk cost fallacy. Grind up that goop. The walls have been breached. Sandreva wrist guards? No. I feel so unaccomplished. No, I, I think it gets to a point where people just don't give a shit anymore and they'll just happily buy it. But like... Look, if, if you honestly feel like you want to purchase it, then do it. Go for it, you know? But, I don't know. It's, um... I'm, I'm stubborn. I'm too stubborn to buy it. Like, I was, I was too stubborn to buy it, obviously. I'm not gonna fish up another one, though. To sell. Fuck that. Is the cost roughly? Uh, it varies wildly server to server. You'd need to check your TSM.
110k. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's like more than twice as much as it was on my server when I was fishing. So it doesn't ults to max fishing. There you go. Yeah, I tend to only max professions on my main. And like, obviously I've got like a set of tunes, so I have each profession once. Uh, and those I'll max, but that like, I won't max secondaries on alts. But, you know, we just play differently and there's nothing wrong with that. I am now friendly with Scenarian Circle. Oh, another follow. One step closer to 9k. Thank you very much. Every time the room turns purple, I'm like, ooh, somebody likes me. Hello, Googs. How are you going today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Grind that rep. I know, right? Well, I need it for the, um, the temple class sets, those, those transmog pieces, you actually need the rep for those, so there is a purpose to getting this rep, which is nice. <clears throat> Foob? Foob! Look at Foob! Ooh! Yas, thank you. Oh, that looks so good. Why is there sweet potato on the handles of my knives and fork? There's sweet potato on the handle of my knife and fork. Yes. Why? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. I clean these off. Thank you very much for the food, Jess. What kind of bubble tea are we having today? Oh no. Uh, okay, thank you. Good to hear. Hello, Apathy. Hey, Frisbee. Have a question for everyone. What the hell do I farm for gold now? Do I just stick with the Progenitor Essence uh, Essentia or something else? Um, honestly, I've never farmed gold in current content stuff, so I can't really answer that particular question for you, but I make my gold through the garrisons from all of the journal. Um, I get the war paints and I make the cards and I flip them and I vendor them. Um, I've got a million on Alliance side and three million on Horde. Um, and I bought Bruto, the Bloodfang Widow, um, two half a million mounts, the um, three frogs that cost a million all up, etc. etc. Like, um, I make plenty just doing that. Uh, but like that, some people don't feel like that's enough for them, um, and that's okay. Totally, because it is it is like a slow grind, uh, a slow burn for for garrison gold making. Uh, and I do have a lot of alts, so it goes a lot faster for me than it does for other people. So I get that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't really do much current content gold making. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure Hikons does. Uh, H-I-K-O-N-S. Uh, another Twitch streamer. Um, I know... Uh, Persephone does, um, loot appraiser challenges and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if she does, like, current content gold making. Uh. I think those are the two gold makers that I'm, like, actually, like, f friends with. Um. I, I mean, obviously there are hundreds of, of gold making streamers and stuff like that, but, um, those are the two that I'm actually well acquainted with who are lovely lovely people so um yeah they, they are who i would recommend but i'm not sure if purse does i know hikons does i'm pretty sure hikons does <laughs> uh, i think purse does mostly old school stuff like i do like going back and doing old content is that rose pork no i uh, uh chashu pork um i count back after many years it's great i'm stoked ah oh, fantastic wonderful and if Sorry, I'm confused. Uh, what's the dinner? Uh, Chashu pork, mashed sweet potato, and uh, kale and baby spinach that have been sautéed. Delicious and delightful. Oh crap. Okay. Hi, bags are full. Uh, <laughs> oops. 
Spag ball, delicious. Many lucky dudes you like. Spag ball's a good call. I have many, many wares. May your feet find good trails. <laughs> Many farewell. I have many lucky dudes you like. May your feet find good trails. Okay. Oh, I missed a sludge. A slime. I didn't get anything from Moam, did I? Only three more bosses that can drop something for me. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Otherwise I'll have to run it on a different hunter. I've got four hunters, so it's not a problem, but it is a little bit annoying. Just a touch. Yours. I'm pretty sure I don't miss any. I think there's only the two left, but I don't want to miss any of them. Come on, Assyrian. Some stuff. Sands of the desert, rise and block out the sun. Oh, thank goodness. Crossbow of imminent doom. That's a, ooh, actually, that's kind of pretty. That's really quite nice, especially for a vanilla model, like, good lord. Unless they've upgraded that? Have they already done that, maybe? There you go, that should mean I don't have to do it on another hunter. It's nice. <laughs> no worries, rest well, we'll see you next time. Totally fair, Shiba. Understandable.
Okay, how many how many did it take you in the end? I forgot. What my dreams? <clears throat> Nothing from IMS. Double tipping now. Fair. Jas kindly redeemed a text command for us, so now we've got exclamation goop to remind us of how long it took me. <laughs> oh. That doesn't exactly help you though, okay. <clears throat> God, I love that cozy emote. It's just so cute. Thirty-five, twenty-three. There you go. Twenty. How many what's it? Thirty-five, twenty-three. Okay. Many. Mm. Distraction. Hey. Distraction. Is it delicious? Shift it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> the pork. Anything other than the pork. Go on then. No. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's just really tasty, you know? I know it is. Why do you think I wanted to take some of yours? Because <laughs> I... mine's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Delicious. And I blamed chat. Yep, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Yes, it is bubble tea from Bubble Tea Club. It is an original milk tea with coconut lychee jelly and it is super, super delicious. Uh, what's her take on the Smith slap? They were both in the wrong. I uh, love that already take screenings. Oh, me too, Kate. My screenshot folder is enormous. Um, I've started, like, whenever I have spare time, <laughs> I've been going through and renaming the screenshots to be what it is a screenshot of, so that if people ask me a question about a specific, I can find it a lot easier. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. I have so many screenshots, so many screenshots. Smart move, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not super necessary to, to be able to have that kind of easy access to them or whatever, but I just, I feel like because people do ask me the, those kind of questions, like how many attempts did it take you for X? Um, yeah, I think it's kind of, it just, it makes it a little bit easier from a, um, from a content creation perspective. Like, if I had a website, which I don't, but if I had a website, I would probably put, like, I'd have a, like, a rarity section where I just had all the, the screenshots of the, you know, you got after X number of attempts. Um, and people could, like, scrap have it all in alphabetical order and people could just, like, scroll through and see what they yeah but i don't have a website so i'm not gonna do that i feel like maintaining a website would just be so much effort on top of everything already the only the only reason i'd have a website is to host my pitch deck like if i had if i was large enough to be entertaining sponsors and stuff on a regular basis having a website where i had like a, a 60 second sort of business pitch, you know, the elevator pitch, and and my, you know, my description of myself, my headshot, my my social numbers that maybe they'd auto-update so that, you know, easier to kind of grab the pitch deck or whatever with updated numbers and stuff. That kind of thing I could see myself doing, but I don't think I'm anywhere close to big enough to need to do that just yet. Um, but, yeah. Fun things to think about. Ah, uh, yeah, both of dicks. Totally gonna rename the group one now. Yas. Spare time. I know, right? What What is this concept? What is this concept? <clears throat> However, that being said, um, I have been having some discussions with Jas on how we can rebound. Because I only work part-time, right? It kind of... And, and I pay a little bit less rent than he does. Not, like, it's not massively unbalanced, I don't think. Actually, it might be. I don't remember exactly. Um, but 
because I only work part time, the assumption has kind of been that um, I do the housework as my kind of other side of my work work, right? But now that I spend so much time with stream and now that it's actually growing into something in that, um, we've kind of had a discussion about me winding back on some of the houseworky type stuff and him picking up on a little bit of that responsibility because we've kind of realized that his leisure time compared to my leisure time is massively unbalanced. Not anybody's fault. It's just happened over time. Um, and it is starting to affect me, like mental health wise and stuff. So, um, we're going to shift some things around so that, um, <laughs> are you kidding? We're going to another raid. Um, so that I might actually be able to get an hour or two to myself every so often rather than spending that time doing stuff that he could be helping me with sort of thing. But um, we're just gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. Because I don't want to just shove everything off onto him either. That's not fair. It's gotta be balanced. We've got to teamwork. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Dunno, Oz and Alien, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. So we're going to Serpent Shrine Cabin on the Paladin. Boss fight complete. We're going to go through here for the skin and then down through here for the token chest. We'll miss the gold chest, but I don't think I worry. I don't I don't think I'm concerned about that. Um. <clears throat> uh, see ya, Kakya. Thank you so much for your placements. Much appreciated. Uh, I think finding balance in any domestic relationship is challenging. I agree. I agree. Um, so, like, Jas has access to my Asana, like, my to-do list. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of put... I'm going to make my stream stuff a priority and make the, the houseworky stuff a lower priority so that if, if I start stream and I've done all of this stuff but the housework part isn't done yet... Jas can knock it out real quick before he does his leisure time. Um, because all of the big cleaning jobs we have on we do on the weekends anyway. So it's just little things throughout the throughout the week. So it shouldn't affect it too much, but it shouldn't affect Jas too much, but it might make a big difference to me. So a small change for him causing a big change for me, that could really like that could be huge, right? <clears throat> okay, um, SSC. Uh, have you seen the R place on Reddit this year? I have. Well, I did when it, uh, like eight or so hours after it had launched. Uh, I haven't really checked up on it much since then because I figure, like, it, I feel like it's just going to be the same subs or the same country flags fighting over each other and stuff, but I'm not imagining they're going to be too many massive, um, Uh, like spills until like right before it closes. I do like seeing the um uh like the the gif of it all becoming over the three days once it's finished like once the whole thing's done it's really cool to see it all sort of happen it's also a really super cool concept watching people come together to to create something coordinate and stuff SSC. Some drops. Fuck. Okay. 
This is gonna be great. Uh, do I need anything from Lurker Below? Do I have fishing? I do need stuff from Lurker Below. I don't have fishing. Where's the fishing trainer? Look round. Might as well grab it while I'm here before I head out. Talk to me. Will I need Outland fishing? Probably. I'll grab it anyway. Oh, it's all—it's ten copper a pop. Fuck it. <laughs> right back. <clears throat> did I fix the sheet? I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Um, I don't see any NAs. Uh, I've updated everything. I went through and did all 12 updates before I went live. So if there, if you can see any funky what's it's, um, then, then there's something wrong. But no, I'm pretty sure it's golden. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you so much. Oh, Chatrath is here. God, Chatrath is so old, it's downstairs. That makes my heart a little bit sad. I remember doing loops of Shatrath on my slow flying mount because I couldn't afford faster flying. I didn't have the gold for it. Like, good lord, I can't believe that was like 15 years ago. 13 years ago. <clears throat> Shit makes you feel old, eh? I hope you're doing well, Jack. Hope you're having a fantastic day slash evening. Glad you had a good sleep then. That's fantastic news. There are some really interesting quotes in there, like, good lord. Good lord. <clears throat> I think I burned myself out on keys this week, though! That does sound like something that you would do. Um... Jas managed to time a 14 streets. And he was laughing about how in the hell he was going to get his guildies to consent to doing the 15 streets with him. <laughs> I found that quite entertaining. Hmm. I'm probably gonna need to get cracking on um on TSM, uh, KSM myself. Oh shit! Actually, I need to empty my bags. <clears throat> Too bad we have three range that aren't squishy. Hmm. But yeah, um. I think maybe on uh Or well, maybe next weekend I might have to start cracking on some keys. 400. Oh Jesus, wow. 
Well done. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels <clears throat> like you. Well done. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Oh, excuse me. I have many lucky do's uh, you like. Get rid of me. I do apologize. <laughs> many deals for a friend of the Grummels <laughs> like you. I have many, many wares. Okay, is that? Oh my god. Did that drop today? That antenna of invigoration, that's the last, that's the BOE I need on Fia to 100% ruins. How did I not see that that dropped? Oh my god. Oh, I am so happy about that. That is phenomenal. I've been, like, when I'm off stream, I don't do dungeons and raids in the order that the thing's telling me to, like I do on stream, right? Um, I tend to do it, like, I, I'm working my way and trying to 100% everything on fear, and then, but, like, if it's a raid, I'll go through and do it on as many tunes as I can to try to get what she needs, if that makes sense. So if it's cloth gear, if it's, if it's mage gear, I'll do it on all five of my mages. If it's cloth gear, I'll do it on all the priests and warlocks, but if it's a zone drop, I'll do it on literally everything. And that's the BOE that she needs, and that's it, 100% done. That's so good. good fortune to our so what's that now? That'll be Molten Core done, Anixia's Lair done, Blackwing Lair done, Ruins of Ankarage done. And Temple of Ankarage is sitting, I need five more drops and that'll be done. Like, holy cow. That's so good. Oh, that feels awesome. That makes me really happy. Sorry. Whew, okay. I'm glad you all care about this so much, just like I do. <laughs> Red and fire mage buff. Yeah, just told me. Just told me about the fire mage buffs. It was like I was like, yeah, okay. What did they do? Like, how did they buff us? And he's like, oh, you get, you know, the tier two is like a two additional seconds on. I'm like, wait, to four seconds. And like, oh, and fire and fireballs being buffed by ten percent. I'm like, I'm sorry, excuse me, what? <laughs> that's huge. Like, that's actually a really good. Like, that's yeah. That's the kind of buff where you know you must have been doing shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right, Jack? 100%! What the hell? How good is that? I fear 100% needed, yeah. Look, I, they wouldn't do that kind of stuff unless it was needed. I, I, I know that much, but like... Hmm... Maybe I've been blast. I skimmed the notes. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Fire something. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have three patterns in here that are all bop. Oh no, one of them's not bop. That's cool. So I could send that to Alexia, which is where I actually try to learn these patterns. Um, and a few, a few tokens. Cool. All right. Menu emote. Oh, fear, 100%, like, 100%. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get that. Like, anyway, yeah, that makes sense. Because that's one hell of a celebration. Hitting 100% on a dungeon, or especially a raid, that's heckin' huge. That's that's so big. Bong, 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 bong. I love the noise that it makes. Oh, my God. That makes me quite happy. It's Fireball, Fire Blast, and Pyro. Ball by 20, but holy Jesus. So Fire Mage really did suck. Uh, <laughs> those kind of buffs, that's not something you get if you're doing average stuff. Like, that's what you get when you're feeling hardcore. Wow, okay, noted. To so know. <clears throat> to know. I cannot allow you to interfere. Nothing. Nothing from Hydras. Good start. <laughs> <clears throat> a 
from bottom to a second from bottom. You can make a clip to retract your April 1st statement. With my April 1st statement. I mean, I was never actually re-rolling to Demon Hunter, let's be honest. And I didn't know whether or not, like, so I didn't, actually, no, I think I did know that Fire Mage was near the bottom of the charts for this week. But I think that's because we're, we're, we're just one of those, like, okay, so Wowhead releases charts every week of how different classes are performing. Uh, and they aggregate that data from logs, like from raid logs and stuff like that, right? For, I, I know a lot of you, I know this already, but uh, for those of you who don't, they release a chart every week that has like DPS from highest DPS down to lowest DPS, and it's aggregated from the data from the raid that week on Heroic, not on Mythic, so it's not your top players. You tried, They're trying to get middle of the pack kind of players, right? Um, to try to get more accurate data for your average player. Um, the issue with this is every single week's data is going to be wildly different as more and more people get their tier bonuses and stuff. Some classes' tier bonuses are nice to have, like they're just, they're good, they make it the, the spec flow or whatever. But some classes, their tier 2 and especially tier 4, are game changers in terms of DPS. And so one week they're going to be on the bottom, and then the next week, once a whole ton of people get tier 2, they jump up to like third place or something ridiculous. So those... Like, that data is good and interesting, but it is only, like, the data is only very specifically useful. Um, but people just take it as gospel. Like, oh, if you're at the bottom, that may, must mean your class is shit. When that's not at all how it works. It's just like, um, Jas was showing me. One, uh, there was a, a particular blood decay who in a 22 key, I think it was a 22 key, pulls 70k DPS as a tank. 70k DPS. And there were calls for blood DKs to be nerfed because that's a ridiculous amount of DPS. And it is. There's a ridiculous amount of DPS. The problem is this is the best player in the fucking world. The best blood DK in the world has been able to line... Oops. Has been able to line things up with their group in such a manner that they have managed to push to 70k for a moment and then grab a screenshot. That doesn't mean that your average player is going to be capable of doing this in any way, shape or form. So if you nerf the whole class based on the top, 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 top most player, everyone else who plays the class will now feel shit because they can't reach that. So that, that top player is now middle of the pack, but all the people who were middle of the pack are now end of the pack, bottom of the pack. Crap. <laughs> like, you can't do buffs and nerfs based upon the best players in the world. You can't. And that's why Blizzard doesn't take action on these things. They take it, they've got all this data, all the data that we aggregate using add ons and shit. They have it native. They get that data just by hitting a report button in their own bloody, like, software. And the middle of the pack players, the averages, that's where they base their buffs and nerfs on. Not bloody anywhere else <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> you know it doesn't suck paladins uh, they did that's why they got buffed <laughs> bm hunter and aflock buffs next calling it fair excuse me 46k survival hunters were pulling 70 to 100k oh dear so like I'm playing Destro Lock and I do the most damage in my raids and Destro is the bottom spec. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's also very much around the skill of the individual player and also whether or not they enjoy the spec that they're playing. If you're playing a spec that you just don't have fun playing, you're not going to do very well with it because you're not enjoying it and so you're not as engaged, you're not paying attention, etc, etc. Not not necessarily on purpose, but it does affect your play. Like <laughs> Hey, I got a I got a new thing from from Lurker, so that's nice. I have one one new upgrade. Uh, my favorite bit of data that's easily misconstrued, uh oh, is violence rates and ice cream sales. When ice cream sales are super high, rates of violence are also super high. On the surface, they appear related. Yeah, yeah, it's um, what is it? Correlation does not uh, correlation does not mean causation. 
just because the data seems to move together or or the inverse, like, you know, like inverse of each other, just because they seem to move together does not mean that one causes the other. Correlation does not mean causation. Um, and yeah, that's, that's a, it's a big, 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 big thing with data. Um, but the general public seem to either forget that or not want to hear it when their class is not doing so well and they're seeing someone pull 70k. <laughs> See, whereas Guardian Druid was pulling 30k across the whole Anduin fight. That's why it's four set got nerfed. Uh, equal causality. Yep. <sighs> data is just amazing. I love data. I, I freaking love data. But you need to use data. You need to use that data correctly. That's the big, the big, big, big thing. Is you have to do it properly. Data is a wonderful tool. Just like all tools, it can be used incorrectly. Shit's tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's okay. I love that emote. And I honestly love that you guys love data like I do. Like, regardless of whether you you have like the same level of understanding and then, you know, your education that you've had, whether or not you can analyze it like I can and all that kind of, like it does, regardless of all of that, so many of you guys seem to be data nerds like me. And I just, I love that, you know, it's great. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> What is your rep with the enlightened? Uh, I believe the the official term is crap. <laughs> I'm I'm not where I should be. I I've between like you know we we had the floods and so neither of us could log on for a while. Um, so we missed a whole bunch of dailies and stuff. And then um, with my surgery and things, I just I haven't been able to do dailies or world quests or anything like that. So my my level is just crap. I I can't tell you exactly what it is because I'm not on fear, so I can't check. Um, you might be able to check on like my armory page or something if it's like that important to you or like simple armory maybe might show it um but i i already have that one that's okay oh no wait no i don't it's wor ah brilliant i can send that to my leather worker it's not bop that's awesome source um but yeah it's not it's not where it, it's not good <laughs> it's not good i'm very behind on rep uh, which is funny because rep is usually the first thing i work on with a new patch or expansion or whatever, but um, I just haven't had a chance this time around, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'll get there eventually. I uh, you have to remind me of that. Oh no, you got Thunder Fury today. Ah, oh, well done, Ollie. Congratulations. Congratulations. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure I got really lucky with having the, the bindings drop. Um, I, I'm fairly certain at one point I had the I had the bindings drop and I went, oh cool. I'll have to hold on to that so that I can do so that I can go get Thunder Fury. And then I went to put it in the bank and I was like, hang on, I haven't put it in the bank yet. What's this doing here? Oh shit! It turns out I already had the other bindings from God knows when. Um and it was they were just sitting in my bank. So I had both and I'm like, cool, let's get it cracking. <laughs> so I, I went and made it on my mage. Um but yeah. Oh it's good fun. That's good fun. Oh, did they go. Thank you, you're very welcome. Um, so that was Leotheras, and I got Girdle of the Invulnerable. Did I get... I didn't get any gloves. So I'll hide, I'll hide that, so I can't use the gloves. Cool. Oh well. Made it on a hunter. Brilliant. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, Zam. Oh, I, I mean, I only said the first word, not not the whole spiel, but uh, yes, yes, indeed. <clears throat> oh 
my god. Ha! Ah! Kill! Not on the right character, but that's alright. I will can't use that item. Oh, I need Outland tailoring. <laughs> that's really funny. That's alright. I'll go. I'll go figure that out later. Guards, attention! We have Who's this? Carathras? Yeah. Brilliant. No leggings. Journeyman's backpack. Um, yes. Coat Zero. There you go. <laughs> A bot blacksmithing pattern. God damn it. Ah, oh, well. <clears throat> I'm not a blacksmith on this tune. Good morning, Murray. How are you going? Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, good lord. That one's blacksmithing, but it's not Bop, so I I can it's BOE, so I can send that over. That's good. I am quite happy about all of these patterns dropping. This is this is nice. Grim. Nothing, but I did get um another boots of the long road button. Good. See if wrong button. Uh I wonder what was that originally? Um, it was, it was fuck it. Like, the, the quote was literally just fuck it. And then I deleted that when I was setting it up to actually use it properly. Um, and they're like, and they're like, oh, why is there no quotes? And I said, well, I deleted the fuck it quote. And so someone made that a quote. So, <laughs> so there you go. That's, that's how that happened. Um, how are you today? I'm doing really, really well. I had a fantastic day off yesterday. Like, just really lovely. Uh, and this morning, good lord, such productivity. We did, like, Jas and I just totally obliterated most of my to-do list, which, oh god, it feels so good. It's like a weight off my shoulders, which is really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to starting my week fresh tomorrow with, like, you know, actually back to some sense of normality, which is really nice. I've got all the meal prep and stuff done, so I've got food breakfast and lunch for the whole week done i'm just yeah i'm i'm in a really good space at the moment um so yeah i'm doing really well thank you for asking i hope that your morning coffee is delicious and exactly what you need very productive oh hell yeah like super productive super productive uh, i'm i might actually have to send some uh mail with katie shortly because my bags are about to be full and I still have Vash to kill. Start doing that. Start doing- oh meal prep? God it, it makes such a difference. It makes such a difference. Um, I'm not sure where you are these days location wise um, but because uh, I, I can never remember where you- you- I keep thinking you're in New South Wales, but that might be because, so, the reason I've pronounced your name wrong is because there's a suburb called Murray, um, <laughs> which is spelt, I'm pretty sure, the same way that you spell your username. Um, you're still in the UK? Gotcha. Um, so, I keep feeling like, I keep thinking you're in New South Wales because of that kind of, that connection. Brains are weird and stupid. Um, there's a, cause I was gonna say, I was gonna tell you where I got my meal prep containers. Cause they're like, they're, they're about this sort of big and it's like one section and then two smaller sections. So you can kind of split it up between breakfast, lunch, snacks, that kind of thing. However, you know, whichever large meal you just usually have versus smaller things. Um, but I don't know that they ship to the UK. 
<laughs> so they're called juggle box um in case they do all one word starts with a j with a double g in the middle um but yeah if like if they do ship to you then maybe that's an option but they do a couple of different styles like some of them are just like two different sections and the ones i've got a three and then yeah but they're really good quite durable and they're all dishwasher safe which of course is just wonderful because i don't like hand look i avoid hand washing as much as i can uh is my son's name in finnish ah there you go my mom just sent me some cheesy news oh there you go look at that okay maybe that's Maybe I heard that and maybe that's how I've got the connection in my brain. Um, but yeah, that's where I got mine from and they're really good. I, I really like, um, the, I, I think they're a good size in terms of portion sizes. Um, the, you know, the whole dishwasher safe thing, quite durable. I have had one that I've had for a long time. Uh, one of the corners snapped off, but it's still like, everything still makes connection with all the clippy bits. Um, and we don't tend to put liquids in them, so I don't know how how the snapped corner affects the uh, watertight thing. Um, but yeah, everything's... Where are the ads? Can I just do this without the tainted core? No? Okay. Buggy you then. Oh, that's right. They don't give you a tainted core unless it's an actual tainted elemental, do they? Hey. Oh, I see splodges. I believe I didn't manage to kill her fast enough. <laughs> she getting buffed. These are spawning really slowly. <laughs> mm, Bay. Ah, Nick Hara now. Gotcha. Bay okay, was a lovely place. I used to go there as a kid. Barge. You there. <sighs> I miss Twitch things. God, it was so much fun. Twitch Sings. Twitch Sings was a game that Twitch developed in conjunction with Harmonix, uh, who are the ones who do like the dancing games and stuff like that. 
Um, it was basically a karaoke, but it was integrated with Twitch. So you could stream from the game, like from Twitch Sings. And you also had, um, like you could get, if you had a list of favorite songs in the game, you could set up a poll, but it was built into the game so that um, your viewers could vote on what song they wanted you to sing out of a random selection of your favorites. And then uh, it would automatically jump to that song and, and get you to sing it. But they also had um, like integrations in that, like if you resubbed during a song or you cheered during a song and you had a Twitch Sings account yourself and an avatar, it would like, cause it had like a crowd of like amorphous whatever's just kind of bouncing around while you were up, while your avatar was on stage. But if you had jumped in and sung a song offline and created your own avatar, and then you were watching me and you cheered or resubbed, the camera would go off me for a minute and look at you and your avatar cheering in the crowd while while it was like, you know, such and such resubbed or whatever. It would like all the little integration things were just really lovely. And I oh, it was just so much fun. Like I'm not I'm not a great vocalist, but I had a lot of fun. Like a lot, a lot of fun. Um, but it's it's no long. It's no longer. Uh, right, we have a Helm of the Vanquished Champion. Which means I should be able to grab myself a new appearance. Perfect. I didn't get a second one though, so I can't go and buy the Merciless Gladiator stuff, but I can do that later. Twitch Things was great. Karaoke. Fucking phenomenal. But they shut it down after only a couple of years of it being a thing. Uh, I have a feeling it was because of licensing and DMCA's and all that kind of stuff, but, um, yeah, it just, it was sad. Are you ready to mm, delicious K, sounds amazing. Okay. Run complete. Let's see where we're going next, shall we? We're going to SSC on the Shaman. That's really funny. kids we were was like my god it was so good wasn't it like punched you in the feels but like in such a good way I don't know I really enjoyed it <laughs> yeah there's a very stuff before you sell it back and I won't sell it back and it has the little star in the corner if it's something I need but not on this tune and then the X for, for ones that I can use. Yeah, I, I've got that set up so I can't. Like, it, it, I, yeah. <laughs> I'd need to be extremely dead on my feet to miss that. Um, but yeah, I've got to do, I've got to do some bad cleanup. I haven't done any garrison crafting for about a month because of everything that's been going on. I've been trying to catch up on everything else. And I, so I've just said, you know what? Garrisons are not that important. I have enough gold for now. I will deal with that shit later. It's starting to get to the point where I need to deal with that shit. <laughs> Zombie, Pulse, Aelin, Seeker, and Cade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. This does me. Battle. Place your units. Click the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. Drag and drop your units to the battlefield. And join us. Join us. Oh. <clears throat> Serpent Shrine Cavern. There you go. Wait. Why am I a warrior? No, no. Shaman. Good damn. I'm paying so much attention. 
from an up instead of going down. That's really funny. Yes, join the Fee Army. Sixty five point nine four percent overall completion. My god, was that last year? Holy cow. Oh my god, I thought that was like a couple weeks ago. Oh my god. That's... That's wacky. Holy cow. Plays me mine. <laughs> That's kind of cute though. Oh God, illusions? How? Illusion's not showing up on the Paladin. I'm so confused. Are they Shaman only? Is Frostbrand- Illusion. Oh, it is Shaman what only. What are you hiding? Yeah, it's a Shaman in the thing I didn't read. Class is Shaman. Oops. But I do need fishing uh, for the lack of low. What's up? Just, just it's causing family balked or coins getting fixed at some point. Um, I so I started getting cracking on those emails, and I did have an email back from Streamlabs, so I've sent them off what they've asked for. Um, now I'm just waiting for another response. They should still be working, according to them, obviously. Um, they've asked for screenshots of my uh, settings and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I've given them that. So fingers crossed, we'll have an answer soon. But no, they they are supposed to be working. Um. Are supposed to be working. Let me go see that company. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad you like them, Kay. So glad you like them. The matching. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, they emailed me back a very long time ago, uh, <laughs> but I have been busy. So, <laughs> so, but yeah, I have finally gotten around to responding uh, to them. So fingers crossed, they'll not ignore me. Um, like I probably deserve. Mm. Easily half the way. Oh wow, that's awesome. It'll be interesting to see how like it goes with your neck and stuff after a while. Mm. Supposed to be working definitely dodging that currently. Fair, fair. Husband end up buying G733s after seeing me seeing you have them. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I am I am so lucky to be able to pick and choose between the two headsets I have. You know, like I'm gonna have to I'm I'm just I'm gonna have to like rotate through them because they're just they're so both they're they're both so awesome and I can't decide which one I like both of them have such different applications as well. I mean obviously they both of them I can use while streaming, but they both have really good benefits. Like it yeah. Oh look I won! I won, I'm gonna tell for a bit I'm getting dead to work done, but can't wait till after then, fair. Totally fair. Oh dear. I'm so glad you like them, Kay. That makes me really, really happy.
Mm, Dinner smells done. Back later. Absolutely. See you soon. Give me some next expect. Now say correct. All right. Wednesday will be two weeks. Um, and while we're on that topic, just a very gentle reminder to everybody that um, we are a spoiler-free channel, and that includes leaks. Thank you for abiding by the rules of the channel. We appreciate you. <clears throat> okay, let's dive on in to SSC again, except on a different tune. Oh, I have Jack. I have. It's all right. Um, the the mods are on it, and uh, I I too am on it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm way ahead here. Way ahead here. Uh, hello, Jabba. How are you going today? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Don't talk about Bruno. No, no, we do not. <laughs> but yeah, look, it's it is what it is. Um, yeah, about two and a half weeks to go until. Uh, the announcement is made. It's going to be at like 3 a.m. Australia time. So I'm not going to be sleeping well that day. So expect that Wednesday's stream to be a little chill. Uh, it is Noble Garden, that stream, anyway. Um, we're going to be farming some chocolate eggs. <laughs> so it should be fairly chill regardless, but I'm going to be pretty dead. Because I will not have slept very well. Uh, but yeah, no, it'll be, it'll be good. I feel sorry for Jass at work, though. So that'll be, that'll be fun. We don't talk about Bruno until we talk about Bruno. Correct. Correct. And uh, I would definitely recommend on that day, if you're not uh, if you're not batshit like me, and you're not gonna be up at 3 a.m. watching the announcement, totally understandable, but I would highly recommend watching it before you come to stream that day. Because there will be no holds barred. Um it it, it will no longer be spoilers. And so anything that, that they have spoken about in that trailer or, or the announcement or whatever the hell they're going to release will be fair game to be discussed. Uh, so I would highly recommend watching it the day it's released. Uh, no doubt there will be a link to it in the Discord in probably several different channels. <laughs> so it won't be difficult for you to find, but I would definitely recommend watching it before you come to stream just to cover your butt, you know, just so that you don't... Uh, get in here and like, wait, what? And then everything's out of context and yeah. Hello, Matt. How are you going? Welcome back. Has Bruno done to deserve being shunned in this way? I have no idea. I haven't seen Encanto. But, um, <laughs> it's a meme apparently. We just, we don't talk about Bruno. Uh, new channel picture up from Stream Raiders. Ah, fantastic! Long time we have played from Vanilla. Haven't played in a year or so. Totally fair. Well, I'm so glad you found us, Jabba. I hope you enjoy your time with us. Um, and you're more than welcome. Like, if uh, this is obviously this is old content, but when we are doing current content, if there's something you're like, wait, what the hell is that? Feel free to ask, because uh, we are more than happy to uh, to have a, a chit chat about changes that you may have missed in your in your time not playing. Uh, I will warn you that through my six years of streaming WoW, well, um, I have lost count of how many people that have resubbed or have started playing entirely and have blamed me for it. So just a warning, <laughs> just in case you, you may find you develop an itch, um, but you know, whether or not, like, we, we don't, there's absolutely no judgment whether or not you decide to play, there's, yeah. We're just happy to have some more smiling faces, hopefully smiling. Stay a uh, while and that, listen. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, you're back. Welcome back, Liz. Hope your meatball sub was delicious. We work when the announcement happens. Fair. Fair enough. I should be asleep. I shan't be, but I should be. 
Songs and movies about Bruno, the main character's uncle, and the tune is catchy AF. I, f- I figured as much. I figured as much. But it has also become about a kind of, like, it's it's become a meme for anything that people don't want to talk about. They just kind of, yep. Yeah. So that doesn't look like a paladin. It is a shaman. It is a shaman. I feel like if you're clicking on ATT stream, it's already too late for you. Well, no, but Jabba said that they found us through stream raiders. So, like, I feel like that's a little different. I feel like it's a little different. It's good. Didn't have much, though. That's okay. Hey, that's a start, you know? No harm in that. A little bit's good. A little bit's good. Great to see Aussie WoW streamers. It, like, the community is bigger than it may appear, you know? But it's also, it can be really tricky, especially, like, so many WoW streams are hugely focused on Mythic Plus and, and raiding and all that kind of stuff, which there is nothing wrong with that. I, too, enjoy Mythic Plus and I enjoy raiding and all that kind of stuff. But there's not so much on the side of, like, old content completions except for obviously like there's wow classic but like collecting and completionist and, and all that kind of stuff that's where i that's where i'm really drawn like getting as much transmog as i can and collecting all the mounts and and all like leveling all the pets and and i have 50 characters um as we called it uh, fear's 50 50 challenge 50 50s 50 50s challenge because i have 50 is the limit on the account Level 52, so 50 50s. Yep. It, yeah. Love is in the air. I wanted a heartbreaker. I didn't get a heartbreaker. It's fine. I'll get it next year. I'm bloody better. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of, there, there's not a whole lot of attention on that side of the game. But I feel like that's where, especially when you're looking at casual players who maybe they find raiding or mythic plus a little bit intimidating or they feel like they don't have the time to get geared up enough to do that kind of content and to be able to pull their own weight which is under- understandable you know the barrier to entry can be quite high but this is something that literally anybody can do as long as they have a character that is of a decent level um so yeah i enjoy it it's a lot of fun different but fun so um Ooh, I got I got two rings and a new piece of transmog. Wonderful. Uh, so I hope you enjoy uh, watching and maybe participating in the future if you decide to resub. But no, no pressure, no pressure at all. Um, straight over my head. You're in Perth. There you go. Fifties. There you go. Make it. I know. I know, no heartbreaker for fear. It broke my heart. It broke my heart. But that's fine. Next year. Because I'm that kind of... I'm that kind of batshit. 50 characters every day. Took me around three hours a day to do the 50 attempts, approximately. (laughs) Yep. It was, it was a journey. <laughs> but I took all of you along with me. And, and look, I think, I think most of us had a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Hands up if you're looking forward to the Heartbreaker runs in 2023. <laughs> like, for realsies. <laughs> Hands up if you're looking forward to daily fear streams for two goddamn weeks. Um, so what's the little white triangle thing underneath the emotes now? I think that's new. What little white triangle thing? Ah, oh, you're tier two now, dupe. You can edit them. You can alter them in, a, in particular ways. If you click that, it will allow you to put like a filter on them or something. I'm like, what little white triangle? But then I realized you've just gone up a tier. Um, so that's how, that's what it is. You get bonus things, not just additional emotes, but you get to put funny filters on them and stuff. Uh, sure, why not? What server are you playing on? Uh, my Horde tunes are Saofang, my Alliance tunes are Amanthal. <laughs> Indeed, Tony, shakes fist at Sky. Hold you, Hi, so so well. And soon on YouTube, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Jabba, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the fear, Nadi. Much appreciated. I'm glad I've left an impression. Well, I'm assuming I have left an impression. I'm glad it was a good one. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and generosity. 
Um, but yeah, I am, I'm, uh, currently uploading the 10th and the 11th, and I've got the 12th edited, ready to render tonight of February. I'm very far behind on, in terms of dates. Um, but eventually I'll catch up because I don't stream seven days a week. So if I can do two renders for every one stream sort of thing, roughly, I should be able to catch up on, on YouTube uploads. But we'll, we'll see. No promises. I'll do my, I'm doing my best. Doing my best. Um, looking forward, we'll watch some. Not going to be running lots myself. Totally fair. I completely understand. Like, after doing, literally, <laughs> 15 days of three hours a day, I understand why you would not do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it again myself. But I'm I'm that kind of that kind of person. Okay, so that was Leotheris, and I needed gloves of the Vanquisher. And I've got two of them. Vanquish Defender. So I can you wait. Why does this Oh Vanquish Champion crap. I see Vanquished and I th I think it's a Vank token. Like I I'm look. It's fine. Okay, that's not what I needed. Whatever. Leotheros is done. Um. Most of your tunes on Kale Stras. There you go. I used to be on Kale. I've been on most of the uh, Oceanic servers at some point during my 15 years of playing WoW. Well. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, considering I now have 30 tunes that are 50 plus on Saurfang and 20 tunes that are 50 plus on Arman Thul. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon because it would cost me literally thousands of dollars to move them all. <laughs> no. So there you go. See it now. Brilliant. Yes, there you go. Perfect. But yeah, so you can you can turn any of the emotes black and white. And tier three gets another couple of edits that they can make as well. Plus, of course, access to additional emotes. Is this your normal stream time? It is. If you have a look uh, underneath the channel, if you, where it says like Fiamma, like my name, if you click that, there it'll turn it to a different thing and there'll be like a schedule tab. If you click on the schedule, it will show you all of my upcoming streams for the entirety of April converted to your time zone. So nice and easy there uh, in terms of having to try to figure out when I go live. But it has everything for the whole of April. I plan my streams out a month in advance. Uh, just because I know it makes it a little easier for, for people to kind of come to the ones that they want to or, or, you know, plan around it if they need to, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, everything's there and it's always, always there for you. Um, you can check it out whenever you desire. Um, of 10 Brisbane time. Yes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. What if people as a pal get your tunes moved in combat so you have no cost? Look, potentially, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to. Besides, they're, like, if I'm going to ask them for free stuff, which I have done a couple of times. Um, look, I'm not going to lie here. I have asked my contact at Blizzard for free stuff on occasion. For example, hey, I'm celebrating my six year anniversary soon. Would there be a chance of me grabbing some keys to use for giveaways? <laughs> like that is something that I have asked them before. Um, and so I would rather, like, if I'm going to get free stuff from Blizzard, I would rather it be the kind of stuff that will actually benefit my, my stream and my community and stuff like that, rather than free transfers that don't really affect me in any way. Um, I don't really do anything that requires me to be on servers with people. I don't, I don't mythic raid, um... And I don't need to be in a guild to, like, I use my guild as, as a bank, you know, um, that I can share stuff across all my tunes and stuff. So, yeah, transferring is not not on the, the thingamajig. <laughs> Caps. What about the moment? Ah, oh, right. Cool. Well, there you go. When, when you're not on mobile, um, yeah, the schedule is always done, like, a month in advance. So if you're ever wondering what's coming up, you can always check that. Lord of the Deep. Thank you. Uh, lowercase b for blizzard they'll know don't tap between screens and not check when gaming <laughs> are you kidding me three necks three necklaces off the
Did I get leggings? I did get conk le uh, champion. Okay, so I can use those and get another thing. There we go. I didn't notice that I'd managed to do that. Oops. Uh, look to me to Of course, of course. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. Two till eight perth time. Ah, convenient. If you're working an office job, I can keep you company via your earbuds until you finish. I used to do that. I used to, um, like, I work from home now, but when I was in an office job before, I'd pop my earbuds in because uh, the Twitch app on phone has audio only mode. So it will turn the video off entirely, saving you a crap load of data. Um, and you'll have access to chat still, and you'll be able to hear them, but you just can't see anything. Um, and so I used to use that a lot. Like, I'd turn on audio only mode and then put my phone face down somewhere so they wouldn't see that I was, like, listening. Yep. Um, and, uh, and listen to a couple of my favorite streamers while I was working many, many moons ago. I guess I don't need to do that. Because I work from home. And no one bothers me anyway. Hey. I have run out of backspace. I have run out of bad space. How many drops am I going to get from Vash? Three might be enough. Probably not, but we'll try. No point in leveling dungeon bags. I at least collected items. Yeah, look. <clears throat> there are quite a few of my classes that I need. Um, like, uh, group finder stuff from. So that'll be tricky. Lich King. Uh, logged on the other month. Felt so lost. Yeah, a lot of, ooh. Oh, one moment, please. That was me. Also me. Ugh, mouse is dying. Um, oh shit, that's not meant to happen. a little um, cable organizer thing attached to my desk and it just completely came unstuck. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, I, I will get there eventually. Um, Alright, two minutes of Lich King thanks to Blue Microphones, Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition Microphone. Not only does it look gorgeous on the outside instead of dots, you've got runes for the uh, the volume level and things like that. The base is inscribed with more runes. It's freaking beautiful. It's a work of art. Uh, it's also heavy enough to uh, severely damage somebody. Um, it comes inbuilt with a bunch of effects. There, the Yeti X does have a whole bunch of uh, voice effects as stock standard, but the World of Warcraft Edition one comes with a whole bunch of separate voice effects that are modeled after characters and creatures from World of Warcraft. There are a couple of Burning Crusade ones that they added with the launch of TBC Classic. Um, this one, this wonderful voice, is the Lich King. There you go. Um, second and third account as well. We've had this discussion, Sam. I will get a second account when I can stream full time and still afford to have a second account, money wise. If you want that to happen, y'all better follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, I, I am aware that that is not a direct correlation, but it certainly helps. Growing my social media following will directly influence how much I can make from sponsorships, which will improve my chances of becoming a full time streamer. So that is how you do it. Friends and family, that is how you do it. The time is now. Okay. You never one shot her. Um, apparently I missed you eating honey on stream. You did. It was very painful. It stung. Like, but it didn't sting just like kind of. It, it stung to the point of burning. I had a burning sensation in my throat. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Definitely recommend dissolving it in tea or hot water or something. Don't just eat honey and expect it to help your throat. 
It burns. Ah, oh, Lord. Such an evil laugh. It is. I should be offended that y'all are calling me creepy, but I know it's just the worst. But yeah. Definitely try and grow that Instagram following. I'm so close to 1,000 followers. Like, 1,000 is... The, the, like, the beginning benchmark of where I should be in order to be able to get sponsorships through Instagram. Um, obviously I need to keep growing from there. Oh, my back's a fool. Um, the, like, the golden, the, the golden mark is 10k, which obviously, like, I don't even have 10,000 followers on Twitch, let alone Instagram. But, um, we've got to start somewhere. And um, the first big milestone is, is 1k. First big milestone is 1k. Can we get a you are not prepared? Like that? Oh look, turns out. The wrong voice though. It doesn't have an Illidan one. It does have demon though. There is demon. Which is I guess close enough to Illy. Need a mental break in March, waiting for a new film to come out when I went into neglect mode. But I'm back now. Welcome back. I'm glad to have you here. I, um... I just kind of gave up on March, honestly. Uh, between, like, the Brisbane floods at the start and then surgery halfway through and all that kind of stuff. It just... I felt like I was never going to get anything done, so I just kind of didn't. Shit, the time out. Oh no, it jumped. Um, so, but now it's April, uh, and I, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to write off March, I'm going to accept that I'm not going to catch up on March, bugger it, let's, let's re, recenter ourselves and let's do April. Uh, and here I am, and I've started posting again to all the social media platforms, um, where we're going all right <laughs> with all of that. Uh, I've just got to keep it up. I've just got to keep it up. And hope that, um the the universe allows me to just kind of have a break from everything going wrong because it's been I've, I've it's been pretty hectic the start of this year has just been a total <sighs> it's just been completely like all over the shop um so yeah yeah Come on, poison bolts. There we go. Increases damage dealt by 530. Still barely touches my health though. Is this ATT or LAC? Um, we've been doing stuff that encompasses both, but at the moment, because it's a raid, it's just uh, uh, just ATT. Um, but the moment that it tells me to go into a dungeon, I'll be turning it into a LAC. It just hasn't told me to go into a dungeon for a little while, unfortunately. Got my last tainted elemental. There's the core. It's the pillar. And Vash is squished. Cold lash boots get. Sorry, cobra lash boots get. Uh, nothing else is an upgrade. Just deleting stuff out of my bag so I can put... Pick up the gear. 
Cause my bags are full. There. Done. Grab my daughter. Let's see where I'm supposed to go next. Supposed to go to AQ again on the shaman there. It's all the raids today. It's not wanting to give me any dungeons, which I mean, okay, but like still. All right, Bod, Draz, Jabba, Bjorn, Oz, Rel, Zam, and Seeker, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boo, AQ, boo. Yeah, look, it's, uh, mm. Mm. I'm kind of surprised that Ruins is so low, given how much I've been running it on so many different tunes lately. Although I guess I haven't gotten all the way down to the, like, the male wearers. It's mostly been cloth and leather. Um, so that makes sense. Uh, I've been working on Torghast Mog today. I noticed the existence of pole arms have not been offered to my monk for some reason. I've opted for Paladin. Up three pieces of our oh, fantastic eyes. Well done. Go you. Congratulations. That's awesome. At least I don't have to switch tunes, I guess. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice. Okay, so that's a quest. Close that. Amber idols. Close that. So there is there is a BOE, which I don't have in anyone's bags. This is this is what I love about ATT, and then also like um. I don't know if it's TSM or Alterholic or what, but being able to hover over that and see, does anyone actually accidentally have that BOE in their bags? <laughs> nope, brilliant. Um, cool. Onwards. I'm going to take you literally because of the damn scarabs. <sighs> I know, right? Holy shit. Once they all get their rep up enough and I can hand in those quests, it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Um, Encourage, so I need to go k k k caverns of time. Look, though maybe TSM also does it. I think they both do it and I have one of them disabled from doing it because my tooltips were too goddamn busy. I mean, not that they're not busy already. Um, <laughs> not that they're not busy anyway, but I had, wait, no, I need to go to uh, BFA so I can take the port to Silithus. God, I'm a numpty. Um, yeah. But I mean, running the running the raid and getting the rep means I can turn in the scarab. I've got so many scarabs in my guild bank right now. Like, did you see that? Oh, Tim does it too, I think. Do you have great seal seal support unlocked on that tune? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have it on all of them at this point. If not, it's a real quick unlock. Um, so where's like the scarabs? 206 stone scarabs in the guild bank. Yeah, I have, a, I have a few. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna offload, like once I've done all those quests across all 12 tunes, I'm gonna offload so many onto the auction house. It's gonna be disgusting. I'm gonna return real quick. Um, I need to make use of the facilities. And I have two chair streams, so I'll be right back. Run away, little girl! Run away!
one thing about new chair. I put a whole lot of effort into moving the chair and it goes flying across the room. And I'm like, what? Because the old chair, because I've had it for, you know, six years, um, or close to six years, the wheels have quite a collection of fair hair in them. So the wheels don't work quite as well. These wheels, different, new, unclogged. So I can just kind of nudge and go flying rather than having to like across the carpet. All but yeah, <laughs> it. I've I've nearly thrown myself from the chair a couple times in the last couple of days. Uh, <laughs> um, I need to do rep grounds on a few tunes of the pieces I don't have from AQ tier. Yep, yep. I am missing most of AQ tier. Well, the only ones I have are mage. I'm pretty sure because no one else has the rep yet. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Ah, uh, it's a cool chair. Is the chair new? It is. It is. Um, just after surgery, there was a partner event that I wasn't able to attend, but I had a ticket for it. Um, and they did like a door prize drawing and I won a chair. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, um, uh, mm -hmm. yep. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased by this. Um, so there was a quest. Am I already on that quest? Oh, I'm not. Shit, I should get on that quest. Um, Hammer of the Gathering Storm. Who is this from? Warden Haro. Um, Sideways New Shirt has a bit of an attitude. Sideward glances. Mm hmm. New Shirt matches your shirt. Yas. It doesn't, like. Right. It was pointed out earlier in stream. It's like, oh, of course Twitch sent you a purple chair. It's Twitch. Of course it's purple. Like that, and that, I'm like, right, of course. That makes perfect sense. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Correct. How old is the chair? Uh, it arrived on Thursday and I built it on Friday. Yeah, that, that new. <laughs> That's how new. Uh, it is an AK Racing Overture. Overture chair. Oh, shit. Inventory's full. <laughs> Of course my infantry's full. I didn't empty it from last time. Goodness gracious me. We were once every two months of hair. Yeah, I just I just can't. Um every time I've tried to, it's been uh, a total like a uh, total waste of time. I, do, I can't do, my hair is so long, it gets super tangled around everything and anything. It would literally take me several hours of cutting away at it. Like it's just, it, oh, it's just not worth. Um, but now new chair, so I don't need to, woo. You piss off, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm gonna do stuff, okay? Um, that's soulbound and it's leather working. I don't have leather working on this tune, so I can get rid of that. It's food. That's a grey, but it. I need it for the topaz. What's it? But I have two of them, so I can get rid of the other one. The other one. There it is. Conquero or Soulbound Jewel Crafting. Many farewells. Many, many wares. 
Alright, and then there's two and look at that. That. Those are the only two that I can. <laughs> Many deals for a friend. Sweet! Someone. Onward! Like you. Been hearing it. It's sick. I know, right, Les? Like. Oh, it was just, it was really nice. Like, it was re it was actually quite entertaining. So the thing was on Thursday, um, the, the like, Twitch event that I couldn't attend. It was on a Thursday. And Thursday was when I really started getting the, like, I had a bunch of ulcers and stuff that developed after surgery as a result of the anesthe anesthesia, the um, laryngoscope they put down to, to put stuff. Yep. Um, it bumped a couple of my uh, mucous membranes a little hard and it resulted in ulcers all through my throat, um, which was super unpleasant. Uh, and that all really, like it, it developed mostly, uh, like came to a head on Thursday. Um, and that was when the event was. And so I kind of, I, I stay, I couldn't sleep properly on Thursday night because I was in so much pain. Um, and then Friday morning, I was sort of like going in and out of consciousness, just in pain, but I'd taken painkillers, so I was kind of okay, but then not. And the painkillers I took were super strong, like really strong painkillers. The ones I had from surgery, because those were the ones that I had and I needed sleep. Um, and so I kind of woke up halfway Friday morning and I had an email saying like, hey Fiamma, reaching out because of your, you know, reaching out to grab your shipping details for your prize, your AK racing over to a chair. And I'm like, my what? And I, I genuinely put it down to being, to dreaming and to having like painkiller dreams. I thought I was hallucinating. And so I was just kind of like, oh, I, I will deal with you later. Uh, and so then, you know, woke up, called the dentist on Friday morning to be like, hey, so I'm dying, what's going on? Um, they gave me a whole bunch of advice and then I had a bit more rest. Uh, and then by the time I was actually kind of lucid and coherent and whatnot, I checked my emails again and there it was. And I was like, that wasn't a hallucination. I won a chair. I won a $469 chair. WTF. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent them my shipping details. Um, I, I yeah, I was I was so dead. I was so dead. But thankful. Baby chair, maybe break to the face. It's balanced by fortuitous happening. Correct, correct. It's kind of like I I just everything has just been so like what the hell for for quite a while. Like the whole start of the year. It was, you know, all the leveling and the stress about making it in time, running straight into Lovers in the Air, and then midway through Lovers in the Air, my mum came to visit, which was amazing, but I was just so dead, streaming three hours minimum every single day, um, and all that kind of stuff. And then I clearly pushed myself too hard because I developed a throat infection, um, and so I was sick for a good couple of days and couldn't stream. And then just as I was starting to actually recover from that, the floods happened, we had no power for a week, both levels of the basement parking in our building were flooded and the waterfront was like 10 meters from our apartments, which is not where it should have been. Uh, <laughs> and everything was just fucking terrifying. Um, and then we get power back and, and then it's all getting ready for surgery and it just like, it has not, stopped all year it has not stopped um and so now i'm looking forward to a boring april <laughs> i am i'm really really looking forward to a boring april it's it's time it's time uh but yeah it kind of like you know the the surgery went really really well but i got the like i got the the stuff with the uh, ulcers and stuff but then you know also won that giveaway and it just everything was all all the ups and the, all the downs and just everything just everything but it's okay uh, I didn't get anything from the captains that I needed
what, what has happened has happened and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, what I can do now is focus on getting everything back on track. Focus on growing that Instagram following. We're so close to a thousand followers. So close. Um, yeah, just... Building up my presence to a point that I might actually get noticed by a couple brands. Maybe they'll want to work with me and pay me and stuff. Yeah, look, maybe there'll be a couple of exciting opportunities on the horizon. Patience, time will tell. I did have a few, because I hadn't checked my emails in a good couple of weeks, I had a few very interesting emails um, that I've responded to and I'm awaiting details about so they could be interesting they could also not be uh it really depends on like their their t's and c's you know like what they actually want me to do this is the thing a lot of oh, a lot of emails that come through are like we have this awesome opportunity but blah, 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 but they don't actually tell you what exactly they might give you a general gist of what they who they work for but they won't tell you like what they want from you or how much they'll pay you for that or any, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of designed to get you really invested in the idea before you actually know whether or not it's going to be worth your time. I get it. I, I totally get that. Um, but yeah, so there's a, there's a couple of things coming up that could be interesting, but I have to get more information on them. The thing people, yes, please do, please do. I'm posting even more. I'm posting, I'm posting very frequently and uh, trying to build that. What's it? Let's see how we go. Uh, when do you find that out? Are you able, when you do find that out, are you safely able to back it? Oh yeah, of course. So um, the way things usually work is you're not locked in to do anything until a contract is signed. Even then when a contract is signed, there's usually exit clauses for both parties. So I can exit given X, Y, and Z condition, and they can exit given X, Y, and Z condition. Um, if any money has changed hands or any product has changed hands, and then they decide like one, one party or the other, me or them decides to cancel it, um, if they've sent me something, I have to send it back at my own postage uh, cost. If they usually, this is this is not a blanket thing, like, but from most of the contracts that I've read, if they send me product and I back out, I have to pay, like, I have to pay postage to send it back to them. Um, and if they back out, usually the product will go back to them, but they'll pay postage, like, they'll send me a postage thingy or whatever. Um, there are some contracts that I've read where if they back out with l l fewer than X amount of days before I'm supposed to do the thing, then I don't have to do the thing anymore, but I get to keep whatever they've sent me um, because of just the hassle and everything, all the, the screw around, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if money has changed hands, it needs to be paid back, like refunded, um, usually. Uh, and again, like if it's if it's like they want me to do some big event thing and I've had to pay towards doing stuff and then they back out last minute, then I'll usually end up being able to keep a percentage of it to cover my expenses that I've already spent, like that kind of stuff. Um, but most of the time, like what I'm talking about with all that kind of stuff, like it's, oh, you know, we want you to do, um, you know, we, we want to we want to pay you. It's going to be awesome. You're going to play this amazing game that we've made and, and we're going to pay you to stream it. It's like, okay, cool. Like... What's what's the go? It's like, oh, okay. Well, you're gonna you're gonna play it for six hours, and we're gonna send you a key, and we're gonna pay you. And I'm like, okay, sure. This still sounds good. The game looks great. How much are you gonna pay me? Oh, we're gonna pay you fifty bucks. No. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, depending on the game, that might be a great deal. Like if it's something I've been really wanting to play anyway, and it's a one hundred dollar game then maybe I'd take that, depending on what it was, but maybe I wouldn't. But that kind of stuff wouldn't, like, until something is signed, that's kind of 
and I wouldn't sign any, like they wouldn't send me a contract without them, like the money would be listed in the contract. You don't find that stuff out after you've signed something. That's silly. Um, and don't ever, like if any of you ever get into this kind of, well, not even into influencer bullshit, but like any kind of deal, you know, or, like do not have any questions remaining before you sign that piece of paper. <laughs> Because if something's not clear or if something's not laid out in the contract very, very clearly, then that means they can change it whenever they desire. Because you haven't agreed, and they haven't agreed, to a specific dollar sign or whatever, you know? So yeah, it's, um, yeah, you can, you can absolutely back out at any time. There have been things that I've agreed to and I've had to back out like a week prior or something because something's come up or, or my situation's changed or whatever. And that's totally like, that's, that's fine. Most, most of the stuff I've done hasn't involved contracts and payment because I'm small. I, I'm, I'm smaller. Most of what I've done has been, we will give you a key and you can stream it. Um, or we will send you something and you will post on social media kind of thing uh like so it's it's that kind of stuff um and most of that has been logitech and with logitech i had an overarching affiliate agreement that i signed so anything that i get from them is covered by that that the that thingamajig and if they ever want to change that agreement they can send me a new one and if i don't agree with the new agreement then I can back out of the affiliate arrangement entirely. Um, but yeah, it's uh, and it covers all sorts of stuff. Like when you receive stuff from us, you'll make a you'll make a social media post. Uh, when you make that social media post, you will include X hashtags and Y account tags. Um, when you make these, you are give you are giving us the right to use those images in our own promotional material, um, like. That's it. Like the, you know, uh, them sending me a keyboard, me taking a photo of that keyboard and posting it on my socials. They can use that image however they want. Um, obviously, within reason. They can't go and like edit it to hell and all that kind of stuff. But they can use that and tag me in it, like in their newsletters or on their website or whatever they want to do. Um, that's part of, and my payment for that is the keyboard, um, which I'm fine with because their keyboards are hella expensive. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's all those kind of um, little bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, it's basically if you're ever approached to do influencer stuff, if you have a question, ask it. If you have a question, ask it. There are no no exceptions to that rule. Um, if you have a question ask it. If they refuse to answer it, then take that information as you will, kind of thing. Um, if they don't know the answer and they have to go check up for you, that's totally reasonable. But if they're, if they're pressured, like if they're like, hey, have you signed that thing yet? And you're like, well, I'm still waiting on that answer to my question. Um, you know, that's starting to get questionable there. But um, yeah, it's it's always, you've got you to learn how to protect yourself, especially if you don't have, like, I don't have representation. I don't have an agent or anything like that. It's just me. So I need to make sure that people aren't going to take advantage of me thinking, oh, she's just, she's just a, a, an influencer getting started. She doesn't know how all this works. We can, we can get more out of her for less for us. Because um, that's not, that's not okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fun and interesting. Uh, or interpret it a different way. Yep, absolutely. If you're getting, like, if there's, an, if there's a contract that you feel like is going to be worth, like, a lot of money, like, this is a big thing, um, and, and you want to make sure you do it right, you get a lawyer to look at it. There are a specific type of lawyer called a contract lawyer, and it's their entire job to read contracts and interpret them. Turn the legalese into English. Uh, and let you know what the what the actual expectations are of you in plain English. If you sign this, this is what you have to do, and this is what they have to do. Please note, they don't have to do that or this, but they do have to do the other, like that kind of thing. Uh, and it's well worth, uh, especially if it's something that's more valuable and something or, or like a long-term agreement as well. Like if it's just one, like 
one-off thing, you know, we'll send you this and you do that, then that's one thing. But if you're looking at like a six month or a 12 month agreement, really you want to take a real close look at it and see what exactly it is that you're committing to for a whole damn year. Because that is a long time, especially if they have any sorts of clauses in there about anti-competitiveness, um, like uh, anti-competition. So, you know, if you, if you hook up with this peripheral company, you cannot represent any other peripheral company for X amount of time after this has ceased kind of thing. Um, like a lot of, uh, a lot of things will say, uh, you can't represent another same industry in the three months prior or the three months after. So that's six months, that's half a year where you cannot accept any other sponsorship require any other sponsorship deals from anyone else in that particular industry. So you've got to think about, is that, is that really worth it? Um, are you looking at getting into bed with a different person from that particular industry? That kind of, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. Read shit and really think about what it is that it's preventing you from doing as well. And that, you've got to factor that into your cost as well. Like your price, like sure. Okay. It might be, it, let's say you have a sponsored stream for an MMO and they're going to pay you. 600 bucks for a six hour stream. That's great. But if you can't play any other MMOs for a month either side, that's two months that you can't play any other MMOs. Is it worth it? What kind of, like, if you can't, so let's say it's WoW, right? Let's say, let's say you do a, um, and this is, this is me just pulling examples out of the air. Uh, Blizzard's, the contracts that I've signed with Blizzard have never stated anything about not being allowed to play other games of the same genre either side. This is just an example because you guys know I play WoW. So let's say Blizzard says to me, you know, we want you to do a sponsor stream, 600 bucks for, for six hours. Great. Awesome. hundred bucks an hour, including tax and including super, of course. Fuck yeah. Let's take it. You can't play any other MMOs either side for a month. So that's two months where I can't play... Final Fantasy. I can't play RuneScape. I can't play uh, uh, Guild Wars. I can't play etc etc. So if you are usually someone who plays variety and you play, you dabble, you play a bit of Final Fantasy and a bit of RuneScape and a bit of Guild Wars and a bit of all this other stuff here and there and you, you dabble in a bunch of MMOs, is it worth the lost, the potential lost income from those two months worth of other MMOs for that one stream. Maybe it is. Depends on the individual. Maybe it is. But for others, maybe it isn't. So you gotta you really gotta take into account like a lot of stuff. You know, my my wow streams have my highest view count by a long shot. So if if someone said, hey, we want you to play Elden Ring. Actually, that's a really bad example because it's got massive viewer numbers at the moment. Uh, we want you to play Valorant for a stream. That one stream, my view count is going to be trash. My viewers are going to drop. Because I have fewer people watching, it may mean I'm not going to get subs that I might usually get or cheers or donations or people might not buy merch. People might not buy Stream Raiders skins. So what is my lost income not playing WoW that stream? That needs to be factored into how much you charge. Rates are complicated as fuck. <laughs> it's f like, it can be really fun figuring that out. Like I recently put together a quote for a big contract, like shitloads of deliverables over a six month period. No, it wasn't even six months. It was eight, eight or nine months. What are we in? April. It was like eight, it was like nine months worth of deliverables. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I had to figure out what I would charge per thing per month, not just how much I'd charge per stream, but how much would I charge for having a panel? How much would I charge for having them in the in the little thingy up here, the, the logo rotatey thing? How much would I charge for having a chatbot message every half an hour? Like all of this, like how much does all of that charge? Like how much does all that go for? It's really hard, really, really difficult. 
and you got to not fall into the trap of undervaluing un undervaluing yourself good lord i can't speak i was doing all right for a bit there and then my tongue just was like nah you know what i'm done um this fear small no we didn't have a redemption for that one uh spiel yes keep using it regardless have you done any posts with the keyboards yeah i have yep absolutely the fact that you haven't noticed means that it was means that it was close enough to my normal posts that it didn't come across like a sponsored post or like an ad which is perfect the fact that it just kind of went past on your feed as oh yeah fia's just posting again that's exactly what she usually posts that's that's perfection that is exactly what it should look like that's what they want because when when people see things standing out as an ad quite often they kind of go mm. Maybe they're just being paid to say this. Do I really want to, like, yeah. Oh my god, Kaz, that's perfect. Holy cow. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, pressure to sign something by a job sign-up person creeping around the social housing block backed out of it when I saw their eagerness, even though I didn't have or know my TFN. That's weird. Why would someone try to recruit you to a job without knowing anything about you? Were they an MLM? Emulation. I know I'm not a contract lawyer or employment lawyer, but yeah. Wait, do you mean play them on stream? Yeah. They'll know. It's already an Elden Ring anyway. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. The reason you can't go back and negotiate that with them, right? Counter offers and all. Um, you can. You absolutely can. It's, um, so negotiations... You, obviously you never show your whole hand you like you if you've got a range that you want to like you say okay well a stream i would do for between this and this like that's you know four and six hundred dollars that's that's kind of my range for a I, it's not mine like <laughs> i'm just pulling that we were talking about a 600 for a six hour stream right so let's say you would be willing to do a six hour stream for anywhere between four and six hundred you go in with six because then when they try to negotiate you down you can kind of meet in the middle halfway somewhere and then it's still probably going to be within your range. If you go six and their budget is like 100, they're just not going to keep going. They're going to go, sorry, that's way out of our range. Like that's way out of, way out of our budget. And you're not going to want to drop down to 100 anyway because the lowest you're willing to go is four. So if they're not going to even come in somewhere at three to start the negotiation, then you don't want, like that's, you, you don't want that anyway. Um, but going in with your upper end of your range is usually going to get you landing within your range to at the, at the end but you just you don't tell them what your range is obviously because then they'll try to lowball you at the very bottom of your range i didn't get a sig excuse me i did not get a single fucking transmog piece not one not one single one. Oh lord i'm gonna have to do another shaman god damn it okay that's fine that's fine. Sane, Alit, uh, Draz, Zam, Gooses, and Alien, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. But yeah, you can negotiate pretty much anything, but there are always going to be non-negotiables. Like, every company is going to be like, no, you, this is, we need this as part of our deliverables. This is something that you need to do. Um, and that's fine. If you're not willing to do that, then you're not going to be compatible with that company. And that's okay. Not every person, not every influencer is suited to work for every company. Um, I, I've had four or five at this point companies approach me to sell their coffee. No. <laughs> Every single time I've gone back to them and I've said, look, you know, your brand seems really cool. I love your packaging and all that kind of stuff. I love that you're Australian owned, etc., etc." I don't drink coffee. I like, I don't drink coffee. My housemate doesn't drink coffee. I don't really feel comfortable selling a product that I wouldn't ever use myself. It just doesn't feel right to me. And usually they come back to me and go, yeah, fair. We wouldn't, like, that's not right for us Let either. So we want you to be able sources. to drink it and have it on stream and blah, blah, blah. Because no. that's part of their deliverables is you having a cup of coffee on stream, talking about the coffee you're drinking. Um, and I couldn't do that. And so it's, it's not the right partnership for me. Um, I always go back to them though and say, if you ever develop a tea line, let me know. Um, they usually have a giggle at that. But um, yeah, it's not everyone is going to be suited to like not every, there's you know pairings that just don't work. Um, 
but yeah, pretty much every like you can you can try negotiating on anything on any point. Um, just some of it's not going to work. Some of it's never going to work, um, and that's okay. That's okay. Like wow, in this economy, if it was in Deathloop too. Um, it was native post native advertising is something that Mark marking has been looking and driving for a long huh uh isn't it? oh native as in the post that I made is yeah it, it feels it just blends in the, with the rest of your stuff it's it's on brand it fits and that's when like when you have posts like that you know you've got a good like the, the the connection between the the influencer and the the company is right because it's part of their regular content anyway. Yep. Um, part of some dodgy company sign up I read about. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. Never ever 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 sign anything you're being pressured to sign without reading it supremely thoroughly. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. I've read and seen that reference style. Present your dreams and hopes price. Uh, when it gets lowered, it comes down to your preconceived range. Yeah. Well, basically, you just you shoot for the stars and land on the moon. Um. Fun to hear some insights on influencer stuff. Oh, good, Zem. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Like, I know that not a lot of this stuff applies to super lots of people that are in chat at the moment, but, like, if it helps someone, then great. If someone finds it interesting, then great. But, like, this is this is the big thing. I ask you guys to support me. This is exactly what, like, I, I don't ask you for money. I don't ask you to sub, I don't ask you to donate, I don't ask you to cheer, none of that kind of stuff. I do ask you to support me though. I ask you to go follow me on Instagram. I ask you to follow me on social media. I ask you to tell your friends about me and, and share the stream and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I'm asking for your support. And I think it's useful to kind of say to you, like it's it's useful to get a bit of back, in, back end information as to why I'm asking that, like, you know, this is how it's going to help me. In no uncertain terms, this is how it will help me. Um, and I think that that's kind of... Maybe that might encourage more people to help if they realise, like, oh, shit, okay, yeah, 20 seconds that I take to go click a follow button is a lot more influential than I thought it would be because of all this new information she's just dropped on me so like maybe i should go do that you know it's yeah i mean i can only hope right i, can only hope. I know how to negotiate i've played football manager <laughs> love it jack i love that so much fear talks yes um bubble tea yes delicious i'm here just looking of course les talking back around makes me feel like i have company brilliant i'm so glad to hear that it's wonderful. Uh, going AFK after the pinky, not a problem. Spills back on Insta. Yep, there it is in December last year. I liked it. There you go. Funny, isn't it? And you, like, you didn't realize that that was a sponsored post, hey? I mean, I, okay. I wasn't paid cash to post that. This was my payment. <laughs> this is how I was paid for that post. Literally. <laughs> Let me demonstrate to you. It's not quite fanning myself with a water cash, but it like, it's it's very similar. Very similar. Uh, so nuts and bolts of what you do and what I do and what it means, exactly, exactly. And if you guys have any questions, like let me know, let me know. I have, I have been told that I should do a, um, uh, like, GGWP style series of short form videos about this kind of stuff, about my experience in streaming and, and all that kind of thing. And I've been told I should charge for it. <laughs> I, I've been told that I should have like a Patreon or some other like income source where, you know, every, every couple weeks or every week or so, uh, I drop a little short form video, like tips and tricks on, on how to, to do stuff and whatnot. And um, I think the most difficult part of that for me would be not then giving that same goddamn information for free on stream. <laughs> because I just talk too much. I can't help myself. 
Oh, shit. But, you know, we were talking about, like, the, um, the, like, time management and all that kind of stuff. Like, that would also kind of come in under the same sort of stuff. Um, but I don't know how I'd do that without accidentally giving it away for free on stream as well. <laughs> <laughs> Although I could, I guess, give, like, much less in-depth little snippets here and there and being like, you know, I actually have a video about this on my Patreon. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, look, part of me would feel dirty for doing that, but then another part of me is like, bitch, you want to go full time? This is how you go full time. <laughs> you need to cover your bills. You have to pay your bills somehow. <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. It's where is the line between a money grab and uh, and a, a genuine attempt to pay one's bills. I, I I don't know where that line is. And that that really scares me. I don't ever I don't want to become there there are a lot of creators out there who it's really obvious that they're they're hungry. They're money hungry. They they monetize everything that they can possibly do. I'm not just talking about on Twitch. I'm talking about literally any any platform where you can create content. There are people out there where every single post is an attempt to get money from people, from, from wherever it happens to be. Um, and it's really obvious. And then there are other creators that just genuinely feel like they love what they do. And then every so often they drop something and make fucking bank. And I don't know, like, I don't know where the line is between between the two like they're obviously they're very obviously different but like you know it oh this shit's hard it's it's so, so hard it's so hard anyway um i'm fine everything's fine uh going afk for me years Lots of bolts. Yes. Also, like the information about the background stuff is very interesting. Imo, I find it really interesting too. And like, I may have pretty limited experience with this stuff. Like, I've I've been streaming for six years, but I've only actually been like doing it to this level for an, only for a couple, you know. So it's it's like. But then again, there are other people who are at the level that I'm at, and they've been doing it for two months because they happen to go viral. So like. Maybe I, I do have the right knowledge, do you know what I mean? It's it's like, mm. the other part of it is who the hell am I to tell other people how to do shit? <laughs> like the imposter syndrome, it's real. It's a thing. Um, ah, oh, yes. Thank God, My num the number has gone up. I don't have to do it again on another shaman after I finish this clear. Good. Um, yes, question for you. What do you think of new heads up that made the difficult decision to stop supporting the Twitch desktop app on April 30th? Um, yeah, I think that's a really good decision on their end, because who the fuck even uses the desktop app anymore after Curse changed over to Overwolf? Um, and they have to have a whole ass team working, uh, that's like, you know, several people's worth of salaries and stuff working on this app that nobody is using. That money is far better spent elsewhere. I think it's a fantastic decision. So yes. Mm, here's a keyboard. Which keyboard is that? It's a 915. G915. My my brain sort of broke for a second there. But it's great because I have the receiver for it, the wireless receiver, and it's got the model number written on it. So <laughs> every so often when I have a brain fart, I can see it. It's right there. It's nice. Ah! Another one. Okay, so this is clearly the lucky shaman. What was that? Gavel of Karaji Authority. Authorita. Spark my authorita. Anyway, uh, <laughs> never mind me. Um, or a coffee. Yeah, I've not really had much experience with coffee. Um, obviously, if I was going to go into doing some kind of, you know, um, thing with a, a small subscription, like small as in like a small amount of money per month for a subscription to do like little extra bits of content on the side and something. Uh, I would, there are so many different, did I just get a second one? I bloody well did. Um, I can, 
I would do research into there's so many platforms out there that do it these days. Patreon is absolutely not the only one, but it is kind of the the biggest one with brand recognition. Um, so yeah, I definitely have a look through a bunch of things. Um, I could do it on OnlyFans. <laughs> really funny because everyone would assume it's porn and it's not um <laughs> sorry it really entertains me um but no uh there are a ton of different platforms out there that offer you know show your fans extra stuff for a small monthly stipend um so yeah i'd, I'd do research if i was going to go into something like that but um figure out which one's going to be best for me, you know, which one's going to have, like, the lowest fees and the easiest sharing and, like, one that would be more developed towards video than, than text because, like, I'm not so good at writing out paragraphs of stuff, but I can produce it real well in a video. I can just... And I'm good at the conversational sort of style of stuff, trying to make it more formal in text. I, I come across as a tryhard. Like, we were talking about my, my inability to creatively write um, a little while back, and it's it's so true. I just, I can't do it. Um, uh, reminded me of how a movie a person was paid with, like, a rare and priceless painting or rug. Um, yeah, payment in kind. is It's it's trading. Like, it's absolutely a thing. Um, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to influencer posting and stuff, like send I will send you a product and you will make a post for it because like it might be product worth 500 bucks but it costs them 50 to make so do you think that they're going to want to pay you 200 cash or send you a 500 dollar piece of equipment that costs them 50 bucks I get more benefit because instead of getting 200 dollars cash I'm getting $500 worth of equipment that I would otherwise have had to pay $500 for. Or, I and, and it costs them less to send it to me as well. So they get a massively heavy discount on their price, but I get more value out of it rather than, do you know what I mean? So sometimes that's more appropriate. Sometimes. On the other hand, Logitech currently has an invoice from me for a service that I recently provided that you guys will find out about shortly. So it's not always just product. You know? My normally fans, correct. Correct. I'm gonna make one item and then be like, check it on my coffee. If you feel okay, it works. If you feel bad, then with the worst way. Yeah, fair. That could be interesting. Maybe over the, maybe over the course of the month, I'll I'll start making notes of questions that people ask me about streaming and stuff like that, and like see if I can get them into a short form video. You know, something that's under three minutes, um, and then test it out, see how we go. I'm so pretty sure you've heard a cameo. How do you think I met Deborah Wilson? <laughs> it was through cameo. Um, so for those of you who don't know, um, Deborah Wilson is the amazing phenomenal prolific voice artist who is the voice of Draka in World of Warcraft as well as the voice of Baby Murloc. Yeah I know she's she's just amazing she's just so so freaking cool uh, and as a gift as a gift to me Rump one of our moderators here um paid for a cameo from Deborah. it was after you might you guys might remember for BlizzCon line that one year um we had a sponsored stream and we had we streamed it live and that was one of the panels that we watched and and she was on that and she was oh just everything that came out of her mouth just vibed and i i connected with that and i was like yes and so rump found her on cameo and bought paid paid for a cameo um paid for a recording and, and told him all of, told her all about me and my stuff and all that kind of stuff and so she filmed and i still have it i've got a recording of it on on my hard drive because i would never get rid of that um, and then from that, she also gave Rump and I her bloody email address. And so I corresponded with her and she's in, she's been on stream a couple times with us. And that all came through Cameo. She's just, my God, she's amazing. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, so it like, yeah, that all came through Cameo. And Rump, Rump is amazing. We love Rump. 
Um, don't know why I gave celebrities a capital C there. It's okay. Uh, maybe because like in in the brain it was like capital C for cameo and it sort of carried on. Uh, maybe you can do the tips videos through IG Reels, except they're free. The whole thing is that like as a person who has a particular skill, I sh I deserve to be paid for that skill. Is is what is kind of happening here. Like that's that's the kind of thought process that's happening. Um, is that I've done the research and I've learned this stuff and I have this experience and if people wanted to learn from me beyond little snippets, then there is the potential that I deserve to be paid for that service. And so how could I do that that isn't going to be like, I'm, I'm not talking ridiculously expensive. I'm not talking about sitting down with somebody for an hour and going over their analytics and providing them a personalized service or anything like that. Although that would, like, I don't know, look. <laughs> I don't, I, st I don't think that I'm at that kind of level that I could do that for people, to be perfectly honest. But um, uh, in terms of like tips and tricks and like my, my generalized advice and stuff like that, maybe I do deserve to be paid a couple bucks a month from a handful of people to get access to that knowledge. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, IG Reels is, is free. <laughs> um, fear right now. Salaries, office, food, tech support. Yep, everything. I didn't know Twitch had a desktop app. There you go. See, look. <laughs> they did. It used to be um, for for the WoW players. Well, most WoW players would probably still have it installed unless you've actually purposely gone and gotten rid of it. Because um, when CurseForge CurseForge sold off to Twitch. And so the Twitch desktop app was also used to maintain your add-ons. And then they sold it to Overwolf um, after a couple of years. And so it's no longer part of the Twitch desktop app. But yeah, it's a, like, it basically just has, it, it's a program where you can watch Twitch. It has, I'm pretty sure it has a couple of features that make it a little easier um, to use than the browser, but it still pulls all the like the, the video the, the live stream and stuff it pulls that from the internet so it's not like you can watch things offline or anything like that but it did have some other i think it had some other kind of interesting features where you could see like a timetable with all of your like if people had their schedules updated you could see stuff i don't know i have that on my phone though which is really odd um when i go through like if i swipe right to like on my first page of apps if i sw swipe right and i get like my my uh summary for the day or whatever it is it has like the weather and my bank account balance and all that kind of shit it also has their uh like a schedule that shows all the people i follow and their upcoming streams like who who's going to be live in the next 12 hours sort of thing which is kind of funky oh, i don't think fear would like coffee she'd prefer ta yes look Let's just freak the artists and on porn stuff. Oh, absolutely they do, because they're trying to break out of the whole we do porn thing. But they approached me to become an OnlyFans partner a couple months ago. And when I said, that sounds interesting, uh, I'd love to have a chat to you. Here are some questions. They refused, flat refused to answer any of my questions via email and insisted that I needed to book a video call with them in order to discuss any of it. And I said, okay, well, I'm not available to do that, nor do I feel comfortable doing that. Like, considering that you are an app known for porn and known for, you know, like, would you not take the comfort of female creators seriously? Uh, but nope, they insisted. And then once I went back and said, look, this isn't, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to get in a voice call with you. I'm not going to get in a video call with you either. Can you please just even give me a general touch answer on any of my questions and they ghosted me so only fans will never make any money off me not if they're going to treat creators like that fuck off ah uh, there you go um i have no problem taking sex workers money um actually a good idea i'm making small education videos monetizing but time is the thing you don't have yeah yeah that's the thing that's why if I could do it in three minutes, if I could do like a three minute spiel and not have to edit it too much, just like chop the, the ends off and then upload it, that'd be fine. But um, yeah, it's, look, it maybe it's, maybe it's something that I can put in the maybe pile for once I've caught up, once things are running a little smoother. Getting more people to my socials. Yeah, that's the thing. And then, yeah, every so often you like post a little bit of a teaser to the Instagram reels and say, for more, follow my... 
Insert platform here. Mm, oh, there's NK pet charms. Jesus, Jack. Well done. Well done. Um, so the globe person is a uh, some interesting question. Is Deborah? Yes. Question is like, uh, do you do voices? How did you start in that? Yeah, it's it can be quite intimidating. Hey, like it's definitely a thing. Oh look, more transmog. Yay. Ah, uh, you're not at the stage where you could map out the Twitch channel video call sounds like place with a pressure. Exactly, and nothing would be recorded. No, no, no text chain. No email chain to confirm or deny what I've been offered or asked of or, or anything, and that's why I wasn't comfortable doing it. Uh, and but they just completely steamrolled over that and said nope. So you know, apparently it's a requirement that uh, you be willing to subject yourself to that if you want to partner up with them. But you know. Ooh. Ooh. That's a BOE I don't have. Delicious. Sweet. But yeah, so um, I, I tend to, like, people who say, yeah, feel free to schedule a call. I'm like, nah, I'm good with just emailing. Um, like, maybe I'll have a call with them later on down the track, for sure. But, um, yeah, absolutely not as a first point of contact. It's, it's not happening. Um, it, yeah, if they refuse to have, like, an email conversation, it just, it feels like they're trying to do the hard sell, the car salesman thing. I always get super skeptical of any kind of deal where they insist on a voice call right off the bat without any, like, little bits of info. Like, if they, if they get, like, if I send them a thing with questions and they come back and say, yeah, sure, here are all the answers to your questions, also, you know, to discuss this further, I'd love to jump on a voice chat with you. Like, that I feel more comfortable with because at least they've kind of given me what I've asked for off the bat, so they don't seem- do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna email some text for matches respect everyone's time more. Yeah, yeah, look, I agree. I think it can- it can get to a point if you're just kind of, uh, if you're trying to clear up little details and stuff, like going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and to get the little details sorted out, that can get like a bit tedious if it's all via email. Um, but yeah, in terms of like, in terms of that kind of, yeah. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> that being said, um, I am supposed to have a video call on Monday with a person <laughs> That's a very interesting proposition. Um, but, uh, yeah. See that predatory MLM pressure cell? It's the pressure cell thing that it feels like for me, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. But at least, like, if it's a video call, you know, stuff can be set up to record. Um, and... I always, no matter what, no matter what situation I'm in, whether it's stream stuff or personal stuff or work, like day job stuff, if I ever have a phone call about anything, I always email straight back to them to say, hey, just to confirm what we spoke about during our, you know, video call, voice call, whatever, and then like bullet point everything that was agreed upon. And that way, if I have any misunderstandings, they can correct it straight away. Like, straight away. Because they can see right there, oh, that is actually not what I meant. And they can come back and say, like, you know, just regarding point number three, that's not, you know, I, I you know, whatever, I apologize if that's how it, it came across, but in actual fact, this is what we're offering. And so if I go, oh, oh, that is different. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Or, oh, okay, that is different. That changes a lot of things and I'm no longer interested. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, it, yeah, it gives everyone an opportunity to clear the air. So, yeah, that's a fun time. Minutes, exactly. Exactly. Although this, this thing on Monday, um, if it goes anywhere, there will absolutely be a contract involved. Uh, so there will not be any room for misinterpretations there unless of course they say yep we're gonna we're gonna pay you gonna pay you three thousand dollars and then i get the contract and it says 300 and i'm gonna be like excuse me but um yeah i, I don't <laughs> yeah look 
we will we will see. Where's the button? That's not the button. Oh, it's under one of these. It's absolutely going to be under one of these. There it is. But yeah, it's um. Oh, I can't I can't update from here anyway. I have to go to the other shaman. Oops, I just realized. 100% so many people in this world have no idea the value of men. Oh, hell yeah, right? Absolutely. Ready minutes of words being said in real time is hard. It is. Currently leaving my job, basically. I has all the notes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, um... Big key to minute taking is um, abbreviations, short words, not full sentences. Like the name of the person and then like keywords about what they said. And then later on you sit down and you build it all out into sentences and then you send it out to whoever. But it can also be really useful. Like a lot of people who take minutes um, record, like they'll have like an audio recording of the whole thing. Um, so that they can go back and double check things that were said and stuff like that to get them right. Especially when it comes to business, like in, in the business world, um, having a recording is, uh, is good. Minutes are great to send out to everybody so that everyone has like a general idea of what happened, especially if someone missed the meeting. Uh, but then having a recording to refer to at a later date is uh, the gold standard. I tried a few times, I wasn't good at it. It's a skill. It can definitely be practiced and learned and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, it is definitely a skill. Good night, Seeker. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for campaigning for our goal. It's all done. Many happies. We we'll have a new one tomorrow. <laughs> Big dog point shorthand notes. A few words to trigger. What was this about? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Excuse me. Let's refresh this a couple times just to get the numbers right. I really hate that you have to refresh it to get it right, but I, I like, kind of get it, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, we're switching to the rogue to do Temple of Ankaraj. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, like boss fights. Dodge the tail, stay out of the fire, kill the whelps. Yep, exactly right. Dragons 101. Hmm. <sighs> wonder if this is actually it should be because I updated it pretty recently and I don't think I haven't run temple on anyone yet not today so how do we kill the citizen a rogue Video, good lord. For those having trouble killing him, I made guides. Yeah, okay, we'll write them down. Actually, I sh ooh. 
if I pop double quick swords on. Blood and um, thunder. I have lust though. on a sin rogue make sure you're standing like directly on top of him debuff is appearing and being refreshed also many add-ons don't allow you to right click off buffs so you may need to type this quick command in so you literally just hit him with a rogue because we're fast enough i hate that when i'm looking for an answer someone made a video yep never able to kill the sinners on my shaman or dk mm, take me I hate that. I'm looking for an answer. Someone made a video. Just scroll through the video to find one setting or thing. Yep. It's like cooking recipes. I just want the list of ingredients and the method. See, videos worked really, really well for me for the Dark Moon races. Knowing exactly where to go. Like, you know, turn left at the tree. It's like, ooh, which tree? Um, so those videos worked really well. But for killing someone, something like Visitus, I'm literally just going to be watching a three minute video where it's like, ha, huh, ha, ha. It's like, what the hell are you doing though? What weapons are you using? What what buffs are you using? Like, that's it. Like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> it's, there are some, there are some things where a video guide is so much better, but there are some things where it is so completely unnecessary and you are literally just driving clicks to your fucking YouTube channel and I hate you. <laughs> Sane, Dunno, Aelin, Dupe, Rel, Zam, Zem, Homer, and Fade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. It's like cooking recipes. I just want the list of ingredients and the method, not the life story of you and your previous five generations. Yes, correct. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can see this recipe was important to you. Can I get to ingredients in the steps, please? Yep. Don't tell me your whole life story and your grandmother's World War II tales. Once skipped all the way through it to find out I had missed it. Yep. It's like, wait, comments? What? Crap. Yep. To have noticed a case in video, just close the window, mess around and find the answer myself. Huh, it looks like Rogue is fine. You just hit it. Which makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I guess that's what we're going to do. I just need quick weapons, which I'm pretty sure I already have. Those, 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 those. What's it? Go. With honor. With honor. Um. These no. Two point six. Two point six. There's one that's quicker. Isn't there? Yeah, one point eight. The daggers. And I can do wield, so that should be enough. Ta -da. Uh, okay, but while I'm here, I need to empty out the rest of my bags. Oh shit. You know what just happened. You know exactly what just happened. God damn it. <laughs> I just sold my purple weapon. Oh well. Oh well. It's my rogue. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll get another one. I haven't done, um, I haven't done Corthia or, uh, ZM on this tune yet, so weapons are fine. I will be totally fine. Um, that's just really embarrassing. <laughs> oh well. Worse things have happened.
Ooh, that's a lockbox. I'm a rogue. Brilliant. Shoulders owie. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, oh, there was a hot one. Oopsie. Alright, cool. Temple, let's go. Use item reclaim for sales. I can, yes. But it's only like once every 30 days, and I don't really want to waste that on an alt weapon that's gonna be like it's a 188 weapon. I'm I'll just I'll just go to do ZM. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um uh, I'm ready to run every time my physical HP is dropping, but what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you have like a like a thing over the top, like, you know, like a voiceover kind of explaining what's going on that they've added later. Yeah. Hey, Major, how are you going? It's all the thing. Oh, there is a cooldown on that. Yeah. I meant item restoration. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. That's okay, though. No, no biggie. I've done worse. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've sold worse. I've also disenchanted shit accidentally. That's great fun. Wait, 3506. That's gonna drop. There we go. 3461. Well, it's supposed to be 3462. But close enough. All of the quests. Look at them all. Do I actually have them? Oh dear. Rogue? Nope. I'm gonna pick up so many quests. Mm -hmm. Um, no context. Huh? Oh, almost out of burrito and now it's falling out the butt. Yep. <sighs> yep, so I had a burrito. We ordered burritos in when I was playing two point. And um and I was eating it slowly, like I grab it and take a couple bites and then put it down. And because I wasn't like, you know, when you when you put down a burrito and release that tension that's holding it together, it starts to disintegrate. And um I, I was down the bottom of my burrito and I was almost finished and I was like I was lamenting the fact that I almost didn't have any more burrito. Um, but it also because of the the press and then release and then press and then release and all that with the burrito, it it had just fallen apart and all of the filling was falling out the butt. All of it. Well, <laughs> so that is that, that is the the context of that quote. Mm. Little nightmares was like a horror puzzle game thing. Wrong way. Um. And uh, we were like, there was some moment where like we stopped and we kind of looked around and as we were standing there, there was this evil woman, this evil like the bad guy, and she's like looking around the, the little the main character around and then she comes back and the big bad guy's gone and I'm like oh good good yeah uh there are a lot of temple dungeons look at this many temples such well oh dear <laughs> I can't believe I sold my goddamn weapon oh I'm an idiot And that's not even the right weapon that I... Mm. I sold both my weapons. Really, really, really good at this. Many, many wares. It's okay. I do have, um... In the meantime, I'm pretty sure I have something that... Yeah, I've got the, the swords up to level 50, so they're at least item level 146, so that's not too bad. Um, that will absolutely tide me over until I um, until I get Corthia and ZM done. That's no biggie. Why is it not, like, why does it want me to wear 39 daggers over 
146 swords. I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh well. Could be worse. Someone that deed the wrong legendary. Yeah, that's. Ouch. That's ouch. Look, we've all done it. We have all done it. Absolutely. You spec will favor daggers, but why? Like. This is, okay, preferred weapon daggers. Ah, oh, okay, so some of the bits actually require daggers. It's old content though, so I don't think it actually cares. Um, I, I don't think I should actually care. It will. I'm just gonna be running through everything and fan of knivesing. So, uh, assassin spells need daggers. Yeah. Yeah, a fan of knives doesn't need daggers, so I'll just pew, 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 as I go through. We'll be good. We'll be good. I think I need to trim down these lashes because they're just hurting. Can't mutilate with swords. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't need to right now, so that'll be fine. Uh, I usually play outlaw, um, so I'm only in. I'm only in. Ass spec. <laughs> Literally, the word is ass ass in. Um, but I'm only in it because of fan and knives because it makes farming this kind of stuff so much faster. So no biggie. It's totally fine. <clears throat> Yay! New transmog. The tour. Could you come back here, maybe? I'll go this way. I have to go pick up all of the quests. <laughs> All that rep as well. Oof. Enjoy your swords then. I will. I will. Thank you. 146 versus I level 39. <laughs> oh, there's a question mark in there. What is that for? My memories. Like, are these weapons? Are they, like, what are these? Ah. Uh... Ah, right. The secrets. Yep. Okay. Rude rep. What brings you here? Death dealer's vest. Why is that not available as a quest? What should I do? Stars guide you. Ah, oh, that's why. Because I had to get to. Yep. Yeah, had to get to the thingy. Cool. So, we have. Can I help you? Death dealer's helm. Except. That one, Death Dealer's Spalders. I really wish you could go back in in the text box, like go back to the previous screen. God, Can that would be you? so handy. Uh, Death Dealer's Hello. Vest. Be careful. Well met. Death Dealer's Leggings. Light bless you. King's honor, friend. Boots. For the alliance. Greetings. And then I have the model champions. That's from the Karaji Lord Insignia. Ubers, isn't it? Which I don't have any more of. Honor, friend. Cool. And then Imperial Karaji Armaments. Those guys are at the end, I'm fairly sure. All of the scarabs! <clears throat> I need rep. Give me rep. I need rep. Rep, rep, rep. I'm hated with, with Brutal Nozdormu. Where will I get with one run, do we reckon? I don't actually remember. So, like, where am I going to get with one run of Temple? Let's be off. Early start tomorrow, not a problem, dupe. Good night, rest well. We will see you next time. I always forget I can mount in here. Makes me really happy. Why is that? Look, the poison's there. Why is that not working? Weird.
damn it. Bloody bot trash drops. <laughs> uh, armaments, regalia, greater scarab copper key, clothes, scarab copper, clothes, all of that. Prophet scaram, we're done. All right. Silithid royalty. So I'm finishing with Cree or Vem. Uh, were you seeing that to tune to be? I guess I was. I was. Glad you recognized slash hopefully enjoyed. <laughs> Did enjoy it? Good. I am pleased. Alright, so we'll take out Princess first, because I don't need that. Alright. Uh, let's take out Cree next. Zavibru? Yay! Awesome, so I don't have to kill them last again. That's done. Finito. Awesome. Um, off to Battleguard Satura. See my vest, see my vest made from real gorilla chest. Yep, exactly. <laughs> By the sun. See well. us as text lines like I see as a video of a person. You only see text. Yep. Yep. Uh, chime the second I get here. That's the good shit. Yes, Jay. Hello. Obviously, you're the good luck charm for today. There you go. You are you are the good luck influence over the stream. So you can't go until I finish now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You are under no obligation. I really should go straight back up there and give them this. Actually, I'm gonna. Because then another one could drop. Um, screw my brain for a bit. Yeah, so like I have no idea what any of you look like. Uh, okay, look, that's a lie. I know what some of you look like because I've seen photos of some of you, but... Um, I know how very little of you look. I don't know how many of you sound. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> like, yeah, literally the shape that I know of you, Nano, is a, a big block at the start and then a bit that's all the same and then a bit that drops down and then a bit that goes up and then a bit that's all the same and then a bit that goes up. Also, you're yellow. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that is the extent of what I know about you. Like, it's how it's it's trippy, isn't it? You have a great day, like, girl. you guys, if you met me, if you saw me at PAX, you could come up to me and go, Fia, oh my god!" And I would look at you like, "Hi, who are you? <laughs> what? Why are you here? What are you doing?" Uh, <laughs> and then and then you'd be like, "Oh, I'm such and such." And then there'd be about a second and a half of me going, "Right!" And then it'd click, and yeah. It, yeah. So please do remember that if you do approach me at PAX, uh, introduce yourself because I have no clue who the hell you are. <laughs> I know you know who I am and this is not because I'm like big headed or like self obsessed or self absorbed or any of that kind of stuff. It's got nothing to do with that. It's literally, I have no idea who you are beyond the shape and color of your username and even then some of you have usernames that change ev like change color every time you're here which is trippy and a little bit confusing so, <laughs> so like yeah just just approach approach with name please and thank you because then i will not like i will actually know who you are and will be able to greet you appropriately so <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay, for the resub as well. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I actually mentioned that. Social relations in a nutshell. Oh, it's super trippy. It is it is super, super trippy. If he is a real person, not a character being played on TV. Odd concept. I know, right? It's also a super odd concept to me that you guys only know the me that is live. Like... You don't know all these other bits and pieces about me. And, like, do you know, like, it's, it's, mm, the whole thing is fucking weird. Cool, in a way, but also super weird. Stuff? No, yes, stuff, wait. No stuff, shared appearance, lies, lies and slander. There's no 
box in here is there. Oh. Fenchris time! Um, people you meet are either really short or really tall in real life. I'm really short. I'm 5'3". I'm, I'm really short compared to most people. Um, I am I am below average. I'm shorter than the average human. Um, so most people tend to say I'm, I'm really short. Uh, I was like, that's weird. You have to connect to us as text, not just text, but unique. But still, all the informational personality you have for us is still our tech. Yeah, literally. It's, um... It's kind of trippy, hey? Hey, Alanda, how you going? We don't know more about you, only the sliver you show on camera. And I don't know more about you, only the sliver that you deliver via text. Interesting, isn't it? Kind of cool, but also, yeah, really odd. I don't know if you're super evil offline or shed your human form with a zipper and then do other stuff. Or maybe it's a wig. Maybe I'm not actually a redhead. Maybe I'm better at makeup than any of you could ever comprehend. And I'm actually like a zombie or something. <laughs> Ah, uh, new social norms are never going. Well, like, the, the and how interesting it'd be if, like, you know, meeting people at PAX, like, people are going to come up to me, they're going to recognize me, potentially, and be like, oh my god, Fia! And I'd be like, you! Like, I, d <laughs> I don't know who you are. Please inform me, quickly. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it's trippy. It's trippy. Uh, I imagined you was 5'6". Yeah, no. Absolutely not. I am a short. I am a short. If you see any of the- like, there were a bunch of clips and stuff uh, of when Jas and I were doing a cooking stream in the kitchen and you see me standing up next to Jas standing up and the, the size difference between us. Yeah, I am short. So you would almost be like, for feel what stream is and that greeted you. Uh, and what they actually see, I was like, that is trippy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I'm literally, I'm sitting here alone in a room talking at a million miles a minute to what appears to be no one. Like, do you know what I mean? It is, it is very strange. It is very strange. Fancris gave me nothing. Yay. Uh, all right. It's visitor's time. Let's see if I can actually do this quickly as a rogue with nothing but my weapons. Um, I just woke up. Good you days. Love you so far. Fantastic. I know like a wig. Don't think you're a zombie. I haven't mentioned brains once this stream. We do talk about cannibalism a, a bit. Not all the time, but like occasionally. More often than you would think to be normal. Show us how you look in a mirror. I still think you're a vampire. Hang on. Where's the... Oh, I have a... I have a fancy mirror. This is what I do my makeup in. It was my birthday present from Jas, And it... Where's the button? It lights up. Yeah, yeah, but look, that's me. That's me in the mirror. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, it's a super cool mirror because like this is the main bit and then this bit's normal as well, but then these two are like uh, magnified. So yeah, is is kind of funky. And it closes shut, which is very funky. Replaced a very old, very shitty mirror that I bought from like eBay a very long time ago. So like, oh. Most amazing birthday present. It was act like you know you know when it's like it's actually useful and it's something I've been meaning to meaning to get for ages and it's just perfect in every way and it's just yeah I was very very happy with it and it charges via USB as well so no fucking batteries to die. Gotta love it. All right. Um. So on these go, and then we have the endothermic blast. Do. So that, do that, and then we do this. Three, four, five, six. 
six, seven. This will be 20 and he'll freeze and we click that off and go. Your friends will abandon you. It's to crack. Shatter. Perfect. Nothing funky needed. And of course, <laughs> I mean, okay, I got the bindings of command, which I need for for the two of the quests. So that's fine. But no, no transmog. <laughs> there you go. Easy. Rogue is super, super easy. Actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to make that note. Because um, I have a comment that I'm adding to. Uh, edit note. So rogue, endothermic blaster, melee with balanced heart seeker times two. There we go. Cool. All right. Mm, I actually remember now. So she's like, "Hi, no, no, yes, I remember now." And thank you so much. Much more high fidelity in real life. I thought that, but didn't say anything. Yeah, it's um, you will notice things about a streamer IRL that you can't even see on the camera. So like, I'm half expecting anyone who meets me to go, "Oh wow, you really are 32." Like, because <laughs> all those teeny tiny fine lines that you can't see on camera, you'll be able to see. Um, you'll be able to see IRL and stuff, but look, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, mirrors aren't made from silver. She could be a vampire and still reflect. Yes, this is correct. Um, these days you can actually be fine with that. I'm just myself. Anyway, I'm trying to interact with directly here. Can you notice anything except for my physical mannerisms? Well, yeah, but it's still, they only know the part of you that's online. Like, and I, I guarantee you there are stuff, even if you don't realize that you've never shared it online, that there will be parts of you that you just haven't shared online. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, it's, um, you, you can't know a person entirely over the net. You, you just can't. Um, yeah. Voice. Okay. Forest troll. This one. Okay. Forest troll. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you can see on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Sounds good. Sounds nice. Yeah. Well, like, Mario, I don't want to be completely angry unless we let them in general. Yeah, absolutely. You are, you are totally correct. Um, but yeah, as, as a person, like, what you look like, and you're, you're, as you said, you've been in physical mind matters and all that kind of stuff. Um, even if you're like on camera, it's still not entirely the same. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting, that's for sure, when, when Pax gets here. I'm, uh, we will absolutely have a catch up for anyone who's able to make it to Pax Oz. Um, in 2019, I ended up booking. Uh, I think it was 
like someone between 16 and 20, a table at a restaurant, um, for like a pre-game thing, uh, and uh, like a whole almost half of that ended up being like family members of mine who were just like, yeah, I want to come hang out and have food with you. I have a feeling there may be a handful more than that this year, but I mean, considering like we do, we have a core, we definitely have like a core viewership, like a core group of people, um, and those are the people who I would kind of assume would probably want to catch up. And then of those people, how many actually live in Australia? Or slash can travel to Australia for packs. And then of those people, who can afford to? And then of those people, you know what I mean? Like it's like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I will I will not be sad if I I would I would love to meet some of you. But if you guys don't want to meet me, I would not take offense. <laughs> <laughs> or can't. I would also not take offense. Oh dear. But yeah, it's certainly very interesting. It's a bit of sadness, but not offense. Oh uh, no, honestly, there's enough that happens. Like I, I've done three packs now. The first packs, the whole time, I was just like, oh, look at this, let's try that, this is fun. And I was doing a whole lot of just fun, you know, it was, it was a, it was, you know, kid in a candy store type deal. The second time round, I spent about half of it having fun and then half of it like actually networking and making contacts and that kind of stuff. And then the third round, 2019, pretty much the entire time I spent hitting up things that I needed to do for my channel. Like it was a work trip full-on a bloody work trip um every every morning i would be sitting there in the airbnb doing my makeup and and jas would be kind of sitting nearby and kind of going through the, the booklet the, the, the pax pamphlet you know this is what's on today these are the these are the panels that are on which ones of these do we want to go to those two are on at the same time you can't do both which is your preference um etc etc okay how are we going to fit in going to this place and that place were there any any of the pax rising stuff that we missed that you really wanted to check out and just like actually plotting out stuff literally like that. Um, this time, it's gonna be worse. <laughs> this time it's gonna be worse because I know that there are like at least a couple of companies that I have connections with that are gonna be there. So I, I, may, I may end up being on a panel. I may end up working a booth. I may end up like, you know, like all these things kind of, I'm gonna spend time at the Twitch booth. Um, I may end up streaming from the floor at a company's specific booth designed to, you know, rotate through streamers every couple of hours. Kind of like, it's, yeah. Um, it's gonna be even more full on than it was last time. And honestly, I'm kind of here for it. I'm, I'm pretty excited, not gonna lie. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm absolutely gonna plan out my days. There's gonna, I'm gonna have like a schedule and I'm gonna have to stick to it. But you know, that's, it's business. Definitely love to catch up on show and make it packs. Maybe only one day, if anything, of course, of course. If we do like any, any catch up that I do, will be like a lunch thing out on the green. You won't have to have a ticket to be able to get in. You just need to be in Melbourne on the day. So if you end up having a Friday ticket, but we meet up on the Saturday, for example, you won't need to be able to get into the expo hall. Like hell, I'm gonna try to gather people on the goddamn expo hall floor. That's not going to work. <laughs> like I know how this functions. It'll be out on the green somewhere and you'll be able to see me because <laughs> red hair, um, yeah. And like, I'll, you know, post a selfie in the Discord. Like, this is what I'm wearing today. Come find me on the green at this time. Bring your lunch. We'll sit down and have a picnic. Like that kind of, yeah. It'll de it'll be a very chill catch up. Very chill. Uh, I understand the context of these parasocial shindigs, but these indeed are new water cooler spaces to, so to speak, knowing the limits and boundaries and setting realistic expectations are important. Agreed. Wants to go to PAX Oz, can never afford to do so. Yeah, it's about the same with me and TwitchCon, honestly. Um, unless a company literally sponsors me to go out there and pays my way, then I'm probably not going to make it. Um, but 
you know, I have higher priorities in life. So that's kind of, you know, I would rather purchase a home than travel to TwitchCon. That is a more important thing to me. Uh, TwitchCon would be amazing. However, it's not that important to me. Like, it's not as important as setting me myself up for future financial what's it? So, yeah, it's, uh, maybe one day, though. Like, who knows? Who knows? All right, so I did uh, Twin Imps and I got nothing because... For me. <laughs> um, I did get the diadem, though, so that's good. Uh, let's go do Uro. As well as, of course, all the trash. Uh, same expo hall is smelly. Nah, expo hall is just busy as hell. Um, sounds awesome. I'll definitely be able to manage. Yeah, like, I, I want to be able to... I, I, I want to have as many people as possible be able to attend, you know? Um, and, you know, it's, it's absolutely a thing where people can make it to a day or two, but they can't do the rest of it, do you know? And that's just, you know, so go find a, go find a food court in the city, grab some food, bring it with you, come sit down on the green with us sort of thing. Just a casual, really, really chill sort of thing. It means I don't have to book anywhere, it means I don't have to put any down payments or bar tabs or any of that kind of crap anywhere. Um, and yeah, like it's, it means I don't have to manage a goddamn reservation because it's always, it's always me. I'm that person in like every group where I'm the one who ends up booking everything and I just don't want to anymore. I just don't want to because it's just so much of a hassle and everything changes last minute and then it's my responsibility to make all the changes and I just don't like it. So... Yeah, and that way people don't have to RSVP. They don't have to actually make a decision in advance whether or not they want to come. They can just rock up if they so happen to. Do you know, it's just so much easier. Food is ready. Delicious. Good evening, Crom. How are you? Always like how Google's Cthune whispers you menacingly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Cthune's a, a trippy one. Holy shit, I just realized what the time was. Far out. Oh, no. We did a battle. Crap. Um, okay, so that battle is going to start early. <laughs> I just realized what the time was. That battle is going to start when I have finished this run. So make sure you get your your uh, units in when you can. Oh, dear. Oh, legit here because the battle net chill stream indeed. We, we have uh, one hell of a chill stream here. I'm... I love hype streams. I think they're so exciting and awesome and fantastic and all that, but I just could not possibly maintain that level of energy all the time. I do long streams. <laughs> I, I, I mean, look, I don't do marathon streams every time I go live, but four hour, four, four days a week, six hours a stream, they're, they're pretty long. And maintaining that level of energy for six goddamn hours a day, oh boy. Um, that would require like, substances I don't have access to so, <laughs> so yeah just just chill and nice and you know just a fun place to hang out I guess I hope I hope look people seem to have a fun time here and that's that's what's important as long as you lot are enjoying yourselves and as long as I'm still enjoying myself as well that's so like one important thing that a lot of streamers forget is their own enjoyment <laughs> you gotta be having fun you have to Especially when you do it as often as I do. Got to enjoy yourself. But I hope you're having a fantastic day, Hui. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Oh, good, thanks. How's your side of the country? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, the weather was fine this morning when I left the house. I don't know what it's like. It's dark now. But <laughs> I've had a really productive day. I got like everything I needed to get done, done, which is mind-blowing. That doesn't happen to me ever, so I'm really happy um, that I managed to to kind of do that, and I'm hoping I can maintain that get up and go for the, <laughs> for the rest of the week. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, well, I got- I didn't even get the hide! <laughs> How dare you not give me what I need, Uro? Like, what? 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 Just what? All right, let's go see if we can kill Cthulhu before he kills me. I've died on this fight so often lately. It's embarrassing. Uh, I didn't really plan this well, though. Currently work just down the road. The exhibition center would have been free parking. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's okay. 
Maybe, are you like... Jesus. Um, are you on good terms enough with like some of the colleagues that they might lend you the thing? Might lend you the park and pass. Uh, if only you didn't look at the time. I know, right? I just, like, I do every so often. I kind of double check just to see where I'm at. But yeah, look, today has just been so chill and just really good flow with conversation and everything that it's flown. It's absolutely flown by. Uh, just 20 twinking. Fantastic. I have never twinked. I don't think I'm good at, do you do PVP twinking? Or like, is there another you type of twinking these days? Die. All I remember is from back in the day where you'd like hit, hit 19 and then gear yourself to the teeth and then go trounce Warsong Valley. Like, it was Warsong Valley, right? I don't PvP very often. <laughs> Is there another type of twinking these days, though? And now, especially now that you can, like, experience lock yourself, it makes it a lot easier. Um, hello, Fail Hunter. Are you doing all class in all the things? Yes and no. So I am doing a 12 class challenge. However, I've limited my... The, the breadth of the challenge. It's not everything. I'm doing dungeons and raids up to and including Legion. So if you type in exclamation AT dart, so A-T-D-A-R-T stands for all the dungeon and raid things, that'll give you my magic spreadsheet where I'm tracking what my, what my individual challenge is. Like overall, my numbers are trash compared to like Kuhn and people like that. Holy cow, total trash. I'm, I suck. Um, but the whole thing is way, like, way, way too much for me to, like, I, I would get the whole, <gasps> where do I start? Yeah, yeah, what's it called? Analysis paralysis. Too many things to do, and so I just freeze up and do nothing. This way, narrowing it down to a specific window of stuff that I'm trying to go for has helped me, like, actually make progress. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope that's, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. How am I noticing Friday? <gasps> Four weeks till the new job. Crumb, congratulations. Well done. Hello, Scarlet. Welcome back. The same thing the other week. Last day is the day before Easter. Brilliant. Perfect timing. Yeah, possibly. Awesome. 29th is my last. Uh, right, I don't have a... I keep forgetting that I don't actually have a macro for this one. Oops. Oh, here we go. Well, at least Cthulhu's not going to die while I'm down here. That's what happens every- uh, has has happened every other time. Is that I've, like, died while- Like, Cthulhu has died while I was inside here. So, I end up, um... Getting squished. There we go. Delightful. No new transmog. I didn't even get the carapace of the old god. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I do need to pick up a couple of quests in here, though. Um, uh, thank you, Sam. Spreadsheet, yay, did you see? Uh, yep, we're not talking about it, Scarlet, because it's spoilers. Um, Dungeons and Raiders, perfect way to start. Exactly. That's what I, th that's what I thought. Uh, and only limited up to Legion because those are the ones that I can comfortably solo. P like BFA and Shadowlands is kind of tricky. You got to get groups and stuff, but up to, up to Legion, I can mostly do pretty well. So that's what I thought I'd kind of start with. Um, Night Rel, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, okay. So I need... This is Imperial Karaji Armaments. And then Imperial Karaji Regalia. So there you go. I've, I've accepted all of the quests now. But I... <laughs> I'm still hated with Brood. I'm still, still hated. Good. Um, Alright, I'm done. 3717. That's not bad. That's better than... It was. It was at 34.62 and now it's at 37.17. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. I got some drops. Not many, but I got some. And progress is progress. 
And the next thing I'm supposed to do is Architraz on the Paladin. Thank God, this is the end of stream. Uh, <laughs> but next Sunday, next Sunday. Um, so we'll do, we're going to do that battle now because um, we're going to, and I know I have allowed that. It's your stuff is broken. Paladins are no progress. Woo! Exactly. We are... Actually, we might be semi-okay. Semi-okay. <clears throat> oh, I died. So was guys. I tried. It's going to be close. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's not going to be close. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, holy dino. This is gonna be hilarious. It's gonna time out. The timer is going to run out and they're gonna have more enemies alive than we do. And so it's not gonna, they're, they're, they're still gonna win. Maybe? Actually. <laughs> Where is there so little help? Yeah, look, this is hilarious. Oh my god. Why does a flying rogue fly on its side? I'm confused. Look at how, look at how much health it has left as well. Like, my lord. This is hilarious. Holy dino, go get him. Go get him. Holy cow, this is freaking funny. Two minutes, can you do it? Oh, I think you might. Oh no, that's got a lot of health. Ooh, these are all pretty high health. We might, we might have this. This is ridiculous. This is fantastic. <laughs> the the tiniest amount of health left. And does it matter? No. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Holy Dino with the carry. Ah yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Congratulations to Mog, Oz, Draz, Alit, and Sane on all of your bonus shit. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Oh my god. Great way to end the stream. What do you reckon? Um, button push, button push. Come on, push harder. There we go. So, this is what we have for the rest of the month. So today was Exmog hunting on Sunday. Tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday. We have our new list that we are working through. I hope you will join us. Uh, Dark Moon ATT. So um, Wednesday, we have this was a this was a community goal that's been unlocked. Uh, we had it was a Dark Moon fair stream, and it got unlocked. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend Wednesday trying to cross off as many Dark Moon collectibles completionist bits that we can. That's probably not going to all happen on fear. I'm probably going to have to rotate through some alts, do some like dailies, just to buy a little thing here and a little thing there. Um, but we will, we'll see how we go. Um, Friday, we have secret finding another community goal that was successful. Uh, I have three secrets according to ATT left to get. That is the bound shade hound. I have the, su uh, the sun data hatchling sprite, sun data sprite hatch. Sun data hatchling and Jennifer. A 
I don't know which ones we're going to work on, um, but we're going to do some. We got two. Last time we had a secret finding Discord, uh, secret finding Discord. Last time we had a secret finding stream, we crossed two off the list. So we're going to see how we go for this one. I think there are Zygor guides for some, if not all of it. Um, if there's not, uh, there are Wowhead guides. Very easy to find. Uh, and then wrapping back around to next Sunday. Excuse me, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, stream just had a bit of a hiccup. Apologies. Um, next Sunday we'll be wrapping around to Transmog Hunting. Of course, we have a new goal, a new challenge. We, uh, we met the pet collecting challenge today. It was completed. So in May, we will have a pet collecting stream. Next week's goal is a game called TikTok, A Tale for Two. It is a t d totally different game. It is not WoW. It's a puzzle game. It is a puzzle game where th me, the streamer, playing, only gets to see half of what's going on. And Jas gets the other half. And we have to communicate and work together to solve puzzles and further the game. So if that is something that sounds interesting to you, be sure to drop by just at least once per stream, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. You can drop in, drop your 2,000 embers, and then piss off if you want to. Like, you absolutely can do that. You're, of course, welcome to hang around and earn those embers back. Uh, the embers are the channel points underneath the channel, uh, if, you're, if you're wondering. But yeah, so if we meet that goal, that's what Jas and I will do in May. Very exciting. It was suggested by a sub. I think it was Ali. I think Ali suggested that one, and I was like, ooh. So, yep, that's the thing. I've actually gone on Keymailer and requested the key as well from the developers, but I don't think that they'll give me that, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I can ask, right? I can always ask. Oh, I don't think it's clipworthy. Got two skins! Zam, well done. Congratulations. I did not. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being here, nurse. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, and all of the hype from Chrome as well. All right, we're going to find somebody to love. Um, where are we going to go? Let's have a squeeze, shall we? Ah. <clears throat> uh. I think. Yeah, I know where we're going. Mm. Uh oh. Wrong. No noise. Good. Wonderful. This is where we're going. We are going to raid the wonderful, the lovely Dark Mech. Dark is just phenomenal. He's he's such a good guy. Like he's just, I can't. I am, I'm really excited to meet him at PAX. I think he's going. I don't know. I have to. Anyway, he's lovely. Really lovely. Um, good. Uh, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiyama hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked them using your channel points, your embers, totally okay. We can still copy paste the whole message, delete where it says Fiyama hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and drop it into Dark's channel, uh, into Dark's chat when we get there. Uh, give him, give him a hello and, and chuck him a follow. He's genuinely really talented player and a lovely person. Um, so that's a thing. Um, I'm going to see you tomorrow because I raid on, I raid, I stream on Mondays. I'm going to see you tomorrow because I stream on Mondays. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you then. All of love. Bye guys.